Surah 1 of the Holy Quran. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. Surah 1, the opening, Al Fatiha, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the Beneficent, the Merciful, Master of the Day of Judgment. Thee do we serve, and thee do we beseech for help. Keep us on the right path, the path of those upon whom thou hast bestowed favors, not the path of those upon whom thy wrath is brought down, nor of those who go astray. End of Surah 1surah two part one of the holy quran translated by muhammad habib shaker this librivox recording is in the public domain surah two the cow al-baqarah revealed at medina in the name of allah the most beneficent the most merciful alif lam mim this book there is no doubt in it is a guide to those who guard against evil those who believe in the unseen and keep up prayer and spend out of what we have given them, and who believe in that which has been revealed to you and that which was revealed before you, and they are sure of the hereafter. These are on a right course from their Lord, and these it is that shall be successful. Surely those who disbelieve, it being alike to them, whether you warn them or do not warn them, will not believe allah has set a seal upon their hearts and upon their hearing and there is a covering over their eyes and there is a great punishment for them and there are some people who say we believe in allah and the last day and they are not at all believers they desire to deceive allah and those who believe and they deceive only themselves and they do not perceive there is a disease in their hearts, so Allah added to their disease, and they shall have a painful chastisement, because they lied. And when it is said to them, Do not make mischief in the land, they say, We are but peacemakers. Now surely they themselves are the mischief makers, but they do not perceive. And when it is said to them, Believe as the people believe, they say, Shall we believe as the fools believe? Now surely they themselves are the fools, but they do not know. And when they meet those who believe, they say, We believe. And when they are alone with their shaitans, they say, Surely we are with you. We were only mocking. Allah shall pay them back their mockery, and he leaves them alone in their inordinacy, blindly wandering on. These are they who buy error for the right direction, so their bargain shall bring no gain, nor are they the followers of the right direction. Their parable is like the parable of one who kindled a fire, but when it had illumined all around him, Allah took away their light and left them in utter darkness. They do not see, deaf, dumb, and blind, so they will not turn back, or like abundant rain from the cloud in which is utter darkness and thunder and lightning they put their fingers into their ears because of the thunder peal for fear of death and allah encompasses the unbelievers the lightning almost takes away their sight whenever it shines on them they walk in it and when it becomes dark to them they stand still and if allah had pleased he would certainly have taken away their hearing and their sight surely allah has power over all things o men serve your lord who created you and those before you so that you may guard against evil who made the earth a resting place for you and the heaven a canopy and who sends down rain from the cloud then brings forth with it subsistence for you of the fruits therefore do not set up rivals to allah while you know and if you are in doubt as to that which we have revealed to our servant then produce a chapter like it 
and call on your witnesses besides Allah if you are truthful. But if you do it not, and never shall you do it, then be on your guard against the fire, of which men and stones are the fuel. It is prepared for the unbelievers and convey good news to those who believe and do good deeds that they shall have gardens in which rivers flow whenever they shall be given a portion of the fruit thereof they shall say this is what was given to us before and they shall be given the like of it and they shall have pure mates in them and in them they shall abide surely allah is not ashamed to set forth any parable that of a gnat or anything above that then as for those who believe they know that it is the truth from their lord and as for those who disbelieve they say what is it that allah means by this parable he causes many to err by it and many he leads aright by it but he does not cause to err by it any except the transgressors who break the covenant of Allah after its confirmation, and cut asunder what Allah has ordered to be joined, and make mischief in the land. These it is that are the losers. How do you deny Allah, and you were dead, and he gave you life? Again he will cause you to die, and again bring you to life. Then you shall be brought back to him. He it is who created for you all that is in the earth and he directed himself to the heaven so he made them complete seven heavens and he knows all things and when your lord said to the angels i am going to place in the earth a caliph they said what wilt thou place in it such as shall make mischief in it and shed blood and we celebrate thy praise and extol thy holiness he said surely i know what you do not know and he taught adam all the names then presented them to the angels then he said tell me the names of those if you are right they said glory be to thee we have no knowledge but that which thou hast taught us surely thou art the knowing the wise he said o adam inform them of their names then when he had informed them of their names he said did i not say to you that i surely know what is ghaib in the heavens and the earth and that i know what you manifest and what you hide and when we said to the angels make obeisance to adam they did obeisance but iblis did it not he refused and he was proud and he was one of the unbelievers and we said o adam dwell you and your wife in the garden and eat from it a plenteous food wherever you wish and do not approach this tree for then you will be of the unjust but the shaitan made them both fall from it and caused them to depart from that state in which they were and we said get forth some of you being the enemies of others and there is for you in the earth and abode and a provision for a time then adam received some words from his lord so he turned to him mercifully surely he is oft returning to mercy the merciful we said go forth from this state all so surely there will come to you a guidance from me then whoever follows my guidance no fear shall come upon them nor shall they grieve and as to those who disbelieve in and reject my communications they are the inmates of the fire in it they shall abide o children of israel call to mind my favor which i bestowed on you and be faithful to your covenant with me i will fulfill my covenant with you and of me me alone should you be afraid and believe in what i have revealed verifying that which is with you and be not the first to deny it neither take a mean price in exchange for my communications and me me alone should you fear and do not mix up the truth with the falsehood nor hide the truth while you know it and keep up prayer and pay the poor rate and bow down with those who bow down what do you enjoin men to be good 
and neglect your own souls while you read the book have you then no sense and seek assistance through patience and prayer and most surely it is a hard thing except for the humble ones who know that they shall meet their lord and that they shall return to him o children of israel call to mind my favor which i bestowed on you and that i made you excel the nations and be on your guard against a day when one soul shall not avail another in the least neither shall intercession on its behalf be accepted nor shall any compensation be taken from it nor shall they be helped and when we delivered you from pharaoh's people who subjected you to severe torment killing your sons and sparing your women and in this there was a great trial from your lord and when we parted the sea for you so we saved you and drowned the followers of pharaoh and you watched by and when we appointed a time of forty nights with musa then you took the calf for a god after him and you were unjust then we pardoned you after that so that you might give thanks and when we gave musa the book and the distinction that you might walk aright and when musa said to his people o my people you have surely been unjust to yourselves by taking the calf for a god therefore turn to your creator penitently so kill your people that is best for you with your creator so he turned to you mercifully for surely he is oft returning to mercy the merciful and when you said o musa we will not believe in you until we see allah manifestly so the punishment overtook you while you looked on then we raised you up after your death that you may give thanks and we made the clouds to give shade over you and we sent to you men and quails eat of the good things that we have given you and they did not do us any harm but they made their own souls suffer the loss and when we said enter this city then eat from it a plenteous food wherever you wish and enter the gate making obeisance and say forgiveness we will forgive you your wrongs and give more to those who do good to others but those who were unjust change it for a saying other than that which had been spoken to them so we sent upon those who were unjust a pestilence from heaven because they transgressed and when musa prayed for drink for his people we said strike the rock with your staff so there gushed from it twelve springs each tribe knew its drinking place eat and drink of the provisions of allah and do not act corruptly in the land making mischief and when you said o musa we cannot bear with one foot therefore pray lord on our behalf to bring forth for us out of what the earth grows of its herbs and its cucumbers and its garlic and its lentils and its onions he said will you exchange that which is better for that which is worse enter a city so you will have what you ask for and abasement and humiliation were brought down upon them and they became deserving of allah's wrath this was so because they disbelieved in the communications of allah and killed the prophets unjustly this was so because they disobeyed and exceeded the limits surely those who believe and those who are jews and the christians and the sabians whoever believes in allah and the last day and does good they shall have their reward from their lord and there is no fear for them nor shall they grieve and when we took a promise from you and lifted the mountain over you take hold of the law Torah, we have given you with firmness and bear in mind what is in it so that you may guard against evil then you turn back after that so were it not for the grace of allah and his mercy on you you would certainly have been among the losers and certainly you have known those among you who exceeded the limits of the sabbath so we said to them be as apes despised and hated so we made them an example to those who witnessed it and those who came after it and an admonition to those who guard against evil 
and when musa said to his people surely allah commands you that you should sacrifice a cow they said do you ridicule us he said i seek the protection of allah from being one of the ignorant they said call on your lord for our sake to make it plain to us what she is musa said he says surely she is a cow neither advanced in age nor too young of middle age between that and this do therefore what you are commanded they said call on your lord for our sake to make it plain to us what her color is musa said he says surely she is a yellow cow her color is intensely yellow giving delight to the beholders they said call on your lord for our sake to make it plain to us what she is for surely to us the cows are all alike and if allah please we shall surely be guided aright musa said he says surely she is a cow not made submissive that she should plough the land nor does she irrigate the tilth sound without a blemish in her they said now you have brought the truth so they sacrificed her though they had not the mind to do it and when you killed a man then you disagreed with respect to that and allah was to bring forth that which you were going to hide so we said strike the dead body with part of the sacrificed cow thus allah brings the dead to life and he shows you his signs so that you may understand then your hearts hardened after that so that they were like rocks rather worse in hardness and surely there are some rocks from which streams burst forth and surely there are some of them which split asunder so water issues out of them and surely there are some of them which fall down for fear of allah and allah is not at all heedless of what you do do you then hope that they would believe in you and a party from among them indeed used to hear the word of allah then altered it after they had understood it and they know this and when they meet those who believe they say we believe and when they are alone one with another they say do you talk to them of what allah has disclosed to you that they may contend with you by this before your lord do you not then understand do they not know that allah knows what they keep secret and what they make known and there are among them illiterates who know not the book but only lies and they do but conjecture who then to those who write the book with their hands and then say this is from allah so that they may take for it a small price therefore woe to them for what their hands have written and woe to them for what they earn and they say fire shall not touch us but for a few days say have you received a promise from allah then allah will not fail to perform his promise or do you speak against allah what you do not know yea whoever earns evil and his sins beset him on every side these are the inmates of the fire in it they shall abide and as for those who believe and do good deeds these are the dwellers of the garden in it they shall abide and when we made a covenant with the children of israel you shall not serve any but allah and you shall do good to your parents and to the near of kin and to the orphans and the needy and you shall speak to men good words and keep a prayer and pay the poor rate then you turn back except a few of you and now too you turn aside and when we made a covenant with you you shall not shed your blood and you shall not turn your people out of your cities then you gave a promise while you witnessed yet you it is who slay your people and turn a party from among you out of their homes backing each other up against them unlawfully and exceeding the limits and if they should come to you as captives you would ransom them while their very turning out was unlawful for you do you then believe in a part of the book and disbelieve in the other 
what then is the reward of such among you as do this but disgrace in the life of this world and on the day of resurrection they shall be sent back to the most grievous chastisement and allah is not at all heedless of what you do these are they who buy the life of this world for the hereafter so their chastisement shall not be lightened nor shall they be helped and most certainly we gave musa the book and we sent messengers after him one after another and we gave isa the son of maryam clear arguments and strengthened him with the holy spirit what whenever then a messenger came to you with that which your souls did not desire you were insolent so you called some liars and some you slew and they say our hearts are covered nay allah has cursed them on account of their unbelief so little it is that they believe and when there came to them a book from allah verifying that which they have and aforetime they used to pray for victory against those who disbelieve but when there came to them prophet that which they did not recognize they disbelieved in him so allah's curse is on the unbelievers evil is that for which they have sold their souls that they should deny what allah has revealed out of envy that allah should send down of his grace on whomsoever of his servants he pleases so they have made themselves deserving of wrath upon wrath and there is a disgraceful punishment for the unbelievers and when it is said to them believe in what allah has revealed they say we believe in that which was revealed to us and they deny what is besides that while it is the truth verifying that which they have say why then did you kill allah's prophets before if you were indeed believers and most certainly musa came to you with clear arguments then you took the calf for a god in his absence and you were unjust and when we made a covenant with you and raised the mountain over you take hold of what we have given you with firmness and be obedient they said we hear and disobey and they were made to imbibe the love of the calf into their hearts on account of their unbelief say evil is that which your belief bids you if you are believers say if the future abode with allah is especially for you to the exclusion of the people then invoke death if you are truthful and they will never invoke it on account of what their hands have sent before and allah knows the unjust and you will most certainly find them the greediest of men for life greedier than even those who are polytheists every one of them loves that he should be granted a life of a thousand years and his being granted a long life will in no way remove him further off from the chastisement and allah sees what they do say whoever is the enemy of jibreel for surely he revealed it to your heart by allah's command verifying that which is before it and guidance and good news for the believers whoever is the enemy of allah and his angels and his messengers and jibreel and Mikael, so surely allah is the enemy of the unbelievers and certainly we have revealed to you clear communications and none disbelieve in them except the transgressors what whenever they make a covenant a party of them cast it aside nay most of them do not believe and when there came to them a messenger from allah verifying that which they have a party of those who were given the book threw the book of allah behind their backs as if they knew nothing and they followed what the shaitans chanted of sorcery in the reign of suleiman and suleiman was not an unbeliever but the shaitans disbelieved they taught men sorcery and that was sent down to the two angels at babel harut and marut yet these two taught no man until they had said surely we are only a trial therefore do not be a disbeliever even then men learned from these two magic by which they might cause a separation between a man and his wife and they cannot hurt with it 
any one except with Allah's permission, and they learned what harmed them and did not profit them, and certainly they know that he who bought it should have no share of good in the hereafter, and evil was the price for which they sold their souls, had they but known this, and if they had believed and guarded themselves against evil, reward from Allah would certainly have been better, had they but known this. O you who believe, don't say ra'ina and say unzurna and listen, and for the unbelievers there is a painful chastisement. Those who disbelieve from among the followers of the book do not like, nor do the polytheists, that the good should be sent down to you from your Lord, and Allah chooses especially whom he pleases for his mercy, and Allah is the Lord of mighty grace. Whatever communications we abrogate, or cause to be forgotten, we bring one better than it or like it. Do you not know that Allah has power over all things? Do you not know that Allah's is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, and that besides Allah you have no guardian or helper? Rather you wish to put questions to your messenger, as Musa was questioned before, and whoever adopts unbelief instead of faith, he indeed has lost the right direction of the way. Many of the followers of the book wish that they could turn you back into unbelievers after your faith, out of envy from themselves, even after the truth has become manifest to them, but pardon and forgive, so that Allah should bring about his command, surely Allah has power over all things, and keep up prayer, and pay the poor rate, and whatever good you send before for yourselves, you shall find it with Allah. Surely Allah sees what you do. And they say, None shall enter the garden or paradise except he who is a Jew or a Christian. These are their vain desires. Say, Bring your proof if you are truthful. Yes, whoever submits himself entirely to Allah, and he is the doer of good to others, he has his reward from his Lord, and there is no fear for him, nor shall he grieve. And the Jews say, the Christians do not follow anything good, and the Christians say, the Jews do not follow anything good, while they recite the same book. Even thus say those who have no knowledge, like to what they say. So Allah shall judge between them on the day of resurrection in what they differ. And who is more unjust than he who prevents men from the masjids of Allah, that his name should be remembered in them, and strives to ruin them? As for these, it was not proper for them that they should have entered them except in fear. They shall meet with disgrace in this world, and they shall have great chastisement in the hereafter. And Allah's is the east and the west. Therefore, whither you turn, thither is Allah's purpose. Surely Allah is ample giving, knowing. And they say, Allah has taken to himself a son. Glory be to him. Rather, whatever is in the heavens and the earth is his. All are obedient to him. Wonderful originator of the heavens and the earth. And when he decrees an affair, he only says to it, Be, so there it is. And those who have no knowledge say, Why does not Allah speak to us, or a sign come to us? Even thus said those before them, The like of what they say. Their hearts are all alike. Indeed, we have made the communications clear for a people who are sure. Surely we have sent you with the truth as a bearer of good news and as a warner, and you shall not be called upon to answer for the companions of the flaming fire, and the Jews will not be pleased with you, nor the Christians, until you follow their religion. Say, surely Allah's guidance, that is the true guidance. And if you follow their desires after the knowledge that has come to you, you shall have no guardian from Allah nor any helper. Those to whom we have given the book, read it as it ought to be read. These believe in it, and whoever disbelieves in it, these it is that are the losers. O children of Israel, call to mind my favor which I bestowed on you, and that I made you excel the nations. And be on your guard against a day, when no soul shall avail another in the least, neither shall any compensation be accepted from it, 
nor shall intercession profit it, nor shall they be helped. And when his lord tried Ibrahim with certain words, he fulfilled them. He said, Surely I will make you an imam of men. Ibrahim said, And of my offspring, my covenant does not include the unjust, said he. And when we made the house a pilgrimage for men and a place of security, and appoint for yourselves a place of prayer on the standing place of Ibrahim, and we enjoined Ibrahim and Ismail, saying, Purify my house for those who visit it, and those who abide in it for devotion, and those who bow down, and those who prostrate themselves. And when Ibrahim said, My lord, make it a secure town, and provide its people with fruits, such of them as believe in Allah and the last day, he said, And whoever disbelieves, I will grant him enjoyment for a short while. Then I will drive him to the chastisement of the fire, and it is an evil destination. And when Ibrahim and Ismail raised the foundations of the house, our Lord accept from us, surely thou art the hearing, the knowing. Our Lord, and make us both submissive to thee, and raise from our offspring a nation submitting to thee, and show us our ways of devotion, and turn to us mercifully. Surely thou art the oft returning to mercy, the merciful. Our Lord, and raise up in them a messenger from among them, who shall recite to them thy communications, and teach them the book and the wisdom, and purify them. Surely thou art the mighty, the wise. And who forsakes the religion of Ibrahim, but he who makes himself a fool? And most certainly we chose him in this world, and in the hereafter he is most surely among the righteous. When his Lord said to him, Be a Muslim, he said, I submit myself to the Lord of the worlds. And the same did Ibrahim enjoin on his sons, and so did Yaqub. O oh my sons, surely Allah has chosen for you this faith. Therefore die not unless you are Muslims. Nay, were you witnesses when death visited Yaqub, when he said to his sons, What will you serve after me? They said, We will serve your God and the God of your fathers, Ibrahim and Ismail and Ishaq, one Allah only, and to him do we submit. This is a people that have passed away. They shall have what they earned, and you shall have what you earn, and you shall not be called upon to answer for what they did. And they say, Be Jews or Christians, you will be on the right course. Say, Nay, we follow the religion of Ibrahim the Hanif, and he was not one of the polytheists. Say, We believe in Allah and in that which had been revealed to us, and in that which was revealed to Ibrahim and Ismail and Ishaq and Yaqub and the tribes, and in that which was given to Musa and Isa, and in that which was given to the prophets from their Lord. We do not make any distinction between any of them, and to him do we submit. If then they believe as you believe in him, they are indeed on the right course. And if they turn back, then they are only in great opposition. So Allah will suffice you against them, and he is the hearing, the knowing. Receive the baptism of Allah, and who is better than Allah in baptizing, and him do we serve. Say, do you dispute with us about Allah? and he is our lord and your lord and we shall have our deeds and you shall have your deeds and we are sincere to him nay do you say that ibrahim and ismail and yaqub and the tribes were jews or christians say are you better knowing or allah and who is more unjust than he who conceals a testimony that he has from allah and allah is not at all heedless of what you do this is a people that have passed away, they shall have what they earned, and you shall have what you earn, and you shall not be called upon to answer for what they did. The fools among the people will say, What has turned them from their qubla which they had? Say, The east and the west belong only to Allah. He guides whom he likes to the right path. And thus we have made you a medium, just nation, that you may be the bearers of witness to the people, and that the messenger may be a bearer of witness to you, 
and we did not make that which you would have to be the qibla but that we might distinguish him who follows the messenger from him who turns back upon his heels and this was surely hard except for those whom allah has guided aright and allah was not going to make your faith to be fruitless most surely allah is affectionate merciful to the people indeed we see the turning of your face to heaven so we shall surely turn you to a qibla which you shall like turn then your face towards the sacred mosque and wherever you are turn your face towards it and those who have been given the book most surely know that it is the truth from their lord and allah is not at all heedless of what they do and even if you bring to those who have been given the book every sign they would not follow your qibla nor can you be a follower of their qibla neither are they the followers of each other's qibla and if you follow their desires after the knowledge that has come to you then you shall most surely be among the unjust those whom we have given the book recognize him as they recognize their sons and a party of them most surely conceal the truth while they know it the truth is from your lord therefore you should not be of the doubters and every one has a direction to which he should turn therefore hasten to do good works wherever you are allah will bring you all together surely allah has power over all things and from whatsoever place you come forth turn your face towards the sacred mosque and surely it is the very truth from your lord and allah is not at all heedless of what you do and from whatsoever place you come forth turn your face towards the sacred mosque and wherever you are turn your faces towards it so that people shall have no accusation against you except such of them as are unjust so do not fear them and fear me that i may complete my favor on you and that you may walk on the right course even as we have sent among you a messenger from among you who recites to you our communications and purifies you and teaches you the book and the wisdom and teaches you that which you did not know therefore remember me i will remember you and be thankful to me and do not be ungrateful to me o you who believe seek assistance through patience and prayer surely allah is with the patient and do not speak of those who are slain in allah's way as dead nay they are alive but you do not perceive and we will most certainly try you with somewhat of fear and hunger and loss of property and lives and fruits and give good news to the patient who when a misfortune befalls them say surely we are allah's and to him we shall surely return those are they on whom are blessings and mercy from the lord and those are the followers of the right course surely the safa and the marwa are among the signs appointed by allah so whoever makes a pilgrimage to the house or pays a visit to it there is no blame on him if he goes round them both and whoever does good spontaneously then surely allah is grateful knowing surely those who conceal the clear proofs and the guidance that we revealed after we made it clear in the book for men these it is whom allah shall curse and those who curse shall curse them too except those who repent and amend and make manifest the truth these it is to whom i turn mercifully and i am the oft returning to mercy the merciful surely those who disbelieve and die while they are disbelievers these it is on whom is the curse of allah and the angels and men all abiding in it their chastisement shall not be lightened nor shall they be given respite and your allah is one allah there is no god but he he is the beneficent the merciful most surely in the creation of the heavens and the earth and the alternation of the night and the day and the ships that run in the sea with that which profits men and the water that allah sends down from the cloud then gives life with it to the earth after its death 
and spreads in it all kinds of animals and the changing of the winds and the clouds made subservient between the heaven and the earth there are signs for a people who understand and there are some among men who take for themselves objects of worship besides allah whom they love as they love allah and those who believe are stronger in love for allah and all oh, that those who are unjust had seen when they see the chastisement that the power is wholly allah's and that allah is severe in requiting evil when those who were followed shall renounce those who followed them and they see the chastisement and their ties are cut asunder and those who followed shall say have there been for us a return then we would renounce them as they have renounced us thus will allah show them their deeds to be intense regret to them and they shall not come forth from the fire o men eat the lawful and good things out of what is in the earth and do not follow the footsteps of the shaitan surely he is your open enemy he only enjoins you evil and indecency and that you may speak against allah what you do not know and when it is said to them follow what allah has revealed they say nay we follow what we found our fathers upon what and though their fathers had no sense at all nor did they follow the right way and the parable of those who disbelieve is as the parable of one who calls out to that which hears no more than a call and a cry deaf dumb and blind so they do not understand end of surah two part one Surah 2, Part 2 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shakir. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 2, The Cow, Al Baqarah, revealed at Medina. Part 2. O you who believe, eat of the good things that we have provided you with, and give thanks to Allah if Him it is that you serve. He has only forbidden you what dies of itself, and blood and flesh of swine and that over which any other name than that of allah has been invoked but whoever is driven to necessity not desiring nor exceeding the limit no sin shall be upon him surely allah is forgiving merciful surely those who conceal any part of the book that allah has revealed and take for it a small price they eat nothing but fire into their bellies and Allah will not speak to them on the day of resurrection, nor will he purify them, and they shall have a painful chastisement. These are they who buy error for the right direction, and chastisement for forgiveness. How bold they are to encounter fire! This is because Allah has revealed the book with the truth, and surely those who go against the book are in a great opposition it is not righteousness that you turn your faces towards the east and the west but righteousness is this that one should believe in allah and the last day and the angels and the book and the prophets and give away wealth out of love for him to the near of kin and the orphans and the needy and the wayfarer and the beggars and for the emancipation of the captives and keep up prayer and pay the poor rate and the performers of their promise when they make a promise and the patient in distress and affliction and in time of conflicts these are they who are true to themselves and these are they who guard against evil o you who believe retaliation is prescribed for you in the matter of the slain the free for the free and the slave for the slave and the female for the female but if any remission is made to any one by his aggrieved brother then prosecution for the blood wit should be made according to usage and payment should be made to him in a good manner this is an alleviation from your lord and a mercy so whoever exceeds the limit after this he shall have a painful chastisement and there is life for you in the law of retaliation o men of understanding that you may guard yourselves bequest is prescribed for you when death approaches one of you if he leaves behind wealth for parents and near relatives according to usage a duty incumbent upon those who guard against evil 
whoever then alters it after he has heard it the sin of it then is only upon those who alter it surely allah is hearing knowing but he who fears an inclination to a wrong course or an act of disobedience on the part of the testator and effects an agreement between the parties there is no blame on him surely allah is forgiving merciful o you who believe fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you so that you may guard against evil for a certain number of days but whoever among you is sick or on a journey then he shall fast a like number of other days and those who are not able to do it may effect a redemption by feeding a poor man so whoever does good spontaneously it is better for him and that you fast is better for you if you know the month of ramadan is that in which the quran was revealed a guidance to men and clear proofs of the guidance and the distinction therefore whoever of you is present in the month he shall fast therein and whoever is sick or upon a journey then he shall fast a like number of other days allah desires ease for you and he does not desire for you difficulty and he desires that you should complete the number and that you should exalt the greatness of allah for his having guided you and that you may give thanks and when my servants ask you concerning me then surely i am very near i answer the prayer of the suppliant when he calls on me so they should answer my call and believe in me that they may walk in the right way it is made lawful to you to go into your wives on the night of the fast they are an apparel for you and you are an apparel for them allah knew that you acted unfaithfully to yourselves so he has turned to you mercifully and removed from you this burden so now be in contact with them and seek what allah has ordained for you and eat and drink until the whiteness of the day becomes distinct from the blackness of the night at dawn then complete the fast till night and have not contact with them while you keep to the mosques these are the limits of allah so do not go near them thus does allah make clear his communications for men that they may guard against evil and do not swallow up your property among yourselves by false means neither seek to gain access thereby to the judges so that you may swallow up a part of the property of men wrongfully while you know they ask you concerning the new moon say they are times appointed for the benefit of men and for the pilgrimage and it is not righteousness that you should enter the houses at their backs but righteousness is this that one should guard against evil and go into the houses by their doors and be careful of your duty to allah that you may be successful and fight in the way of allah with those who fight with you and do not exceed the limits surely allah does not love those who exceed the limits and kill them wherever you find them and drive them out from whence they drove you out and persecution is severer than slaughter and do not fight with them at the sacred mosque until they fight with you in it but if they do fight you then slay them such is the recompense of the unbelievers but if they desist then surely allah is forgiving merciful and fight with them until there is no persecution and religion should be only for allah but if they desist then there should be no hostility except against the oppressors the sacred month for the sacred month and all sacred things are under the law of retaliation whoever then acts aggressively against you inflict injury on him according to the injury he has inflicted on you and be careful of your duty to allah and know that allah is with those who guard against evil and spend in the way of allah and cast not yourselves to perdition with your own hands and do good to others surely allah loves the doers of good and accomplish the pilgrimage and the visit for allah but if you are prevented send whatever offering is easy to obtain and do not shave your heads until the offering reaches its destination but whoever among you is sick or has an ailment of the head 
he should effect a compensation by fasting or alms or sacrificing then when you are secure whoever profits by combining the visit with the pilgrimage should take what offering is easy to obtain but he who cannot find any offering should fast for three days during the pilgrimage and for seven days when you return these make ten days complete this is for him whose family is not present in the sacred mosque and be careful of your duty to allah and know that allah is severe in requiting evil the pilgrimage is performed in the well-known month so whoever determines the performance of the pilgrimage therein there shall be no intercourse nor fornication nor quarrelling amongst one another and whatever good you do allah knows it and make provision for surely the provision is the guarding of oneself and be careful of your duty to me o men of understanding there is no blame on you in seeking bounty from your lord so when you hasten on from arafat then remember allah near the holy monument and remember him as he has guided you though before that you were certainly of the erring ones then hasten on from the place from which the people hasten on and ask the forgiveness of allah surely allah is forgiving merciful so when you have performed your devotions then load allah as you loaded your fathers rather a greater loading but there are some people who say our lord give us in the world and they shall have no resting place and there are some among them who say our lord grant us good in this world and good in the hereafter and save us from the chastisement of the fire they shall have their portion of what they have earned and allah is swift in reckoning and load allah during the numbered days then whoever hastens off in two days there is no blame on him and whoever remains behind there is no blame on him this is for him who guards against evil and be careful of your duty to allah and know that you shall be gathered together to him and among men is he whose speech about the life of this world causes you to wonder and he calls on allah to witness as to what is in his heart yet he is the most violent of adversaries and when he turns back he runs along in the land that he may cause mischief in it and destroy the tilth and the stock and allah does not love mischief making and when it is said to him guard against the punishment of allah pride carries him off to sin therefore hell is sufficient for him and certainly it is an evil resting place and among men is he who sells himself to seek the pleasure of allah and allah is affectionate to the servants o you who believe enter into submission one and all and do not follow the footsteps of shaitan surely he is your open enemy but if you slip after clear arguments have come to you then know that allah is mighty wise they do not wait aught but that allah should come to them in the shadows of the clouds along with the angels and the matter has already been decided and all matters are returned to allah ask the israelites how many a clear sign have we given them and whoever changes the favor of allah after it has come to him then surely allah is severe in requiting evil the life of this world is made to seem fair to those who disbelieve and they mock those who believe and those who guard against evil shall be above them on the day of resurrection and allah gives means of subsistence to whom he pleases without measure all people are a single nation so allah raised prophets as bearers of good news and as warners and he revealed with them the book with truth that it might judge between people in that in which they differed and none but the very people who were given it differed about it after clear arguments had come to them revolting among themselves so allah has guided by his will those who believe to the truth about which they differed and allah guides whom he pleases to the right path or do you think that you would enter the garden 
while yet the state of those who have passed away before you has not come upon you distress and affliction befell them and they were shaken violently so that the messenger and those who believed with him said when will the help of allah come now surely the help of allah is nigh they ask you as to what they should spend say whatever wealth you spend it is for the parents the near of kin and the orphans and the needy and the wayfarer and whatever good you do allah surely knows it fighting is enjoined on you and it is an object of dislike to you and it may be that you dislike a thing while it is good for you and it may be that you love a thing while it is evil for you and allah knows while you do not know they ask you concerning the sacred month about fighting in it say fighting in it is a grave matter and hindering men from allah's way and denying him and hindering men from the sacred mosque and turning its people out of it are still graver with allah and persecution is graver than slaughter and they will not cease fighting with you until they turn you back from your religion if they can and whoever of you turns back from his religion then he dies while an unbeliever these it is whose works shall go for nothing in this world and the hereafter and they are the inmates of the fire therein they shall abide surely those who believed and those who fled their home and strove hard in the way of allah these hope for the mercy of allah and allah is forgiving merciful they ask you about intoxicants and games of chance say in both of them there is a great sin and means of profit for men and their sin is greater than their profit and they ask you as to what they should spend say what you can spare thus does allah make clear to you the communications that you may ponder on this world and the hereafter and they ask you concerning the orphans say to set right for them their affairs is good and if you become co-partners with them they are your brethren and allah knows the mischief maker and the peace maker and if allah had pleased he would certainly have caused you to fall into a difficulty surely allah is mighty wise and do not marry the idolatresses until they believe and certainly a believing maid is better than an idolatrous woman even though she should please you and do not give believing women in marriage to idolaters until they believe and certainly a believing servant is better than an idolater even though he should please you these invite to the fire and allah invites to the garden and to forgiveness by his will and makes clear his communications to men that they may be mindful and they ask you about ministration say it is a discomfort therefore keep aloof from the women during the ministerial discharge and do not go near them until they have become clean then when they have cleansed themselves go into them as allah has commanded you surely allah loves those who turn much to him and he loves those who purify themselves your wives are a tilth for you so go into your tilth when you like and do good beforehand for yourselves and be careful of your duty to allah and know that you will meet him and give good news to the believers and make not allah because of your swearing by him an obstacle to your doing good and guarding against evil and making peace between men and allah is hearing knowing allah does not call you to account for what is vain in your oath but he will call you to account for what your hearts have earned and allah is forgiving forbearing those who swear that they will not go in to their wives should wait four months so if they go back then allah is surely forgiving merciful and if they have resolved on a divorce then allah is surely hearing knowing and the divorced women should keep themselves in waiting for three courses and it is not lawful for them that they should conceal what allah has created in their wombs if they believe in allah and the last day 
and their husbands have a better right to take them back in the meanwhile if they wish for reconciliation and they have rights similar to those against them in a just manner and the men are a degree above them and allah is mighty wise divorce may be pronounced twice then keep them in good fellowship or let them go with kindness and it is not lawful for you to take any part of what you have given them unless both fear that they cannot keep within the limits of allah then if you fear that they cannot keep within the limits of allah there is no blame on them for what she gives up to become free thereby these are the limits of allah so do not exceed them and whoever exceeds the limits of allah these it is that are the unjust so if he divorces her she shall not be lawful to him afterwards until she marries another husband then if he divorces her there is no blame on them both if they return to each other by marriage if they think that they can keep within the limits of allah and these are the limits of allah which he makes clear for a people who know and when you divorce women and they reach their prescribed time then either retain them in good fellowship or set them free with liberality and do not retain them for injury so that you exceed the limits and whoever does this he indeed is unjust to his own soul and do not take allah's communications for a mockery and remember the favor of allah upon you and that which he has revealed to you of the book and the wisdom admonishing you thereby and be careful of your duty to allah and know that allah is the knower of all things and when you have divorced women and they have ended their term of waiting then do not prevent them from marrying their husbands when they agree among themselves in a lawful manner with this is admonished he among you who believes in allah and the last day this is more profitable and purer for you and allah knows while you do not know and the mothers should suckle their children for two whole years for him who desires to make complete the time of suckling and their maintenance and their clothing must be borne by the father according to usage no soul shall have imposed upon it a duty but to the extent of its capacity neither shall a mother be made to suffer harm on account of her child nor a father on account of his child and a similar duty devolves on the father's heir but if both desire weaning by mutual consent and counsel there is no blame on them and if you wish to engage a wet nurse for your children there is no blame on you so long as you pay what you promised for according to usage and be careful of your duty to allah and know that allah sees what you do and as for those of you who die and leave wives behind they should keep themselves in waiting for four months and ten days then when they have fully attained their term there is no blame on you for what they do for themselves in a lawful manner and allah is aware of what you do and there is no blame on you respecting that which you speak indirectly in the asking of such women in marriage or keep the proposal concealed within your minds allah knows that you will mention them but do not give them a promise in secret unless you speak in a lawful manner and do not confirm the marriage tie until the writing is fulfilled and know that allah knows what is in your minds therefore beware of him and know that allah is forgiving forbearing there is no blame on you if you divorce women when you have not touched them or appointed for them a portion and make provision for them the wealthy according to his means and the straitened in circumstances according to his means a provision according to usage this is a duty on the doers of good to others and if you divorce them before you have touched them and you have appointed for them a portion then pay to them half of what you have appointed unless they relinquish or he should relinquish in whose hand is the marriage tie and it is nearer to righteousness that you should relinquish and do not neglect the giving of free gifts between you surely allah sees what you do attend constantly to prayers and to the middle prayer and stand up truly obedient to allah but if you are in danger then say your prayers on foot or on horseback and when you are secure 
then remember Allah as he has taught you what you did not know and those of you who die and leave wives behind make a bequest in favor of their wives of maintenance for a year without turning them out then if they themselves go away there is no blame on you for what they do of lawful deeds by themselves and allah is mighty wise and for the divorced women too provision must be made according to usage this is a duty on those who guard against evil allah thus makes clear to you his communications that you may understand have you not considered those who went forth from their homes for fear of death and they were thousands then allah said to them die again he gave them life most surely allah is gracious to people but most people are not grateful and fight in the way of allah and know that allah is hearing knowing who is it that will offer of allah a goodly gift so he will multiply it to him manifold and allah straightens and amplifies and you shall be returned to him have you not considered the sheaves of the children of israel after musa when they said to a prophet of theirs raise up for us a king that we may fight in the way of allah he said may it not be that you would not fight if fighting is ordained for you they said and what reason have we that we should not fight in the way of allah and we have indeed been compelled to abandon our homes and our children but when fighting was ordained for them they turned back except a few of them and allah knows the unjust and their prophet said to them surely allah has raised talut to be a king over you they said how can he hold kinship over us while we have a greater right to kingship than he and he has not been granted an abundance of wealth he said surely allah has chosen him in preference to you and he has increased him abundantly in knowledge and physique and allah grants his kingdom to whom he pleases and allah is ample giving knowing and the prophet said to them surely the sign of his kingdom is that there shall come to you the chest in which there is tranquillity from your lord and residue of the relics of what the children of musa and the children of harun have left the angels bearing it most surely there is a sign in this for those who believe so when talud departed with the forces he said surely allah will try you with a river whoever then drinks from it he is not of me and whoever does not taste of it he is surely of me except he who takes with his hand as much of it as fills the hand but with the exception of a few of them they drank from it so when he had crossed it he and those who believed with him they said we have to-day no power against galut and his forces those who were sure that they would meet their lord said how often has a small party vanquished a numerous host by allah's permission and allah is with the patient and when they went out against galut and his forces they said our lord pour down upon us patience and make our steps firm and assist us against the unbelieving people so they put them to fight by allah's permission and the wood slew galut and allah gave him kingdom and wisdom and taught him of what he pleased and were it not for allah's repelling some men with others the earth would certainly be in a state of disorder but allah is gracious to the creatures these are the communications of allah we recite them to you with truth and most surely you are one of the messengers we have made some of these messengers to excel the others among them are they to whom allah spoke and some of them he exalted by many degrees of rank and we gave clear miracles to isa son of maryam and strengthened him with the holy spirit and if allah had pleased those after them would not have fought one with another after clear arguments had come to them but they disagreed so there were some of them who believed and others who denied and if allah had pleased they would not have fought one with another but allah brings about what he intends o you who believe spend out of what we have given you before the day comes in which there is no bargaining 
neither any friendship nor intercession and the unbelievers they are the unjust allah is he besides whom there is no god the ever-living the self-subsisting by whom all subsist slumber does not overtake him nor sleep whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth is his who is he that can intercede with him but by his permission he knows what is before them and what is behind them and they cannot comprehend anything out of his knowledge except what he pleases his knowledge extends over the heavens and the earth and the preservation of them both tries him not and he is the most high the great there is no compulsion in religion truly the right way has become clearly distinct from error therefore whoever disbelieves in the shaitan and believes in allah he indeed has laid hold on the firmest handle which shall not break off and allah is hearing knowing allah is the guardian of those who believe he brings them out of the darkness into the light and as to those who disbelieve their guardians are shaitans who take them out of the light into the darkness they are the inmates of the fire in it they shall abide have you not considered him namrud who disputed with ibrahim about his lord because allah had given him the kingdom when ibrahim said my lord is he who gives life and causes to die he said i give life and cause death ibrahim said so surely allah causes the sun to rise from the east then make it rise from the west thus he who disbelieved was confounded and allah does not guide aright the unjust people or the like of him uzair who passed by a town and it had fallen down upon its roofs he said when will allah give it life after its death so allah caused him to die for a hundred years then raised him to life he said how long have you tarried he said i have tarried a day or a part of a day said he nay you have tarried a hundred years then look at your food and drink years have not passed over it and look at your ass and that we may make you a sign to men and look at the bones how we set them together then closed them with flesh so when it became clear to him he said i know that allah has power over all things and when ibrahim said my lord show me how thou givest life to the dead he said what and do you not believe he said yes but that my heart may be at ease he said then take four of the birds then train them to follow you then place on every mountain a part of them then call them they will come to you flying and know that allah is mighty wise the parable of those who spend their property in the way of allah is as the parable of a grain growing seven years with a hundred grains in every ear and allah multiplies for whom he pleases and allah is ample giving knowing as for those who spend their property in the way of allah then do not follow up what they have spent with reproach or injury they shall have their reward from their lord and they shall have no fear nor shall they grieve kind speech and forgiveness is better than charity followed by injury and allah is self-sufficient forbearing o you who believe do not make your charity worthless by reproach and injury like him who spends his property to be seen of men and does not believe in allah and the last day so his parable is as the parable of a smooth rock with earth upon it then a heavy rain falls upon it so it leaves it bare they shall not be able to gain anything of what they have earned and allah does not guide the unbelieving people and the parable of those who spend their property to seek the pleasure of allah and for the certainty of their souls is as the parable of a garden on an elevated ground upon which heavy rain falls so it brings forth its fruit twofold but if heavy rain does not fall upon it then light rain is sufficient and allah sees what you do does one of you like that he should have a garden of palms and vines with streams flowing beneath it he has in it all kinds of fruits and old age has overtaken him and he has weak offspring when lo 
a whirlwind with fire in it smites it so it becomes blasted thus allah makes the communications clear to you that you may reflect o you who believe spend benevolently of the good things that you earn and or what we have brought forth for you out of the earth and do not aim at what is bad that you may spend in alms of it while you would not take it yourselves unless you have its price lowered and know that allah is self-sufficient praiseworthy shaitan threatens you with poverty and enjoins you to be niggardly and allah promises you forgiveness from himself and abundance and allah is ample giving knowing he grants wisdom to whom he pleases and whoever is granted wisdom he indeed is given a great good and none but men of understanding mind and whatever alms you give or whatever vow you vow surely allah knows it and the unjust shall have no helpers if you give alms openly it is well and if you hide it and give it to the poor it is better for you and this will do away with some of your evil deeds and allah is aware of what you do to make them walk in the right way is not incumbent on you but allah guides aright whom he pleases and whatever good thing you spend it is to your own good and you do not spend but to seek allah's pleasure and whatever good things you spend shall be paid back to you in full and you shall not be wronged alms are for the poor who are confined in the way of allah they cannot go about in the land the ignorant man thinks them to be rich on account of their abstaining from begging you can recognize them by their mark they do not beg from men importunately and whatever good thing you spend surely allah knows it as for those who spend their property by night and by day secretly and openly they shall have their reward from their lord and they shall have no fear nor shall they grieve those who swallow down usury cannot arise except as one whom shaitan has prostrated by his touch does rise that is because they say trading is only like usury and allah has allowed trading and forbidden usury to whomsoever then the admonition has come from his lord then he desists he shall have what has already passed and his affair is in the hands of allah and whoever returns to it these are the inmates of the fire they shall abide in it allah does not bless usury and he causes charitable deeds to prosper and allah does not love any ungrateful sinner surely they who believe and do good deeds and keep up prayer and pay the poor rate they shall have their reward from their lord and they shall have no fear nor shall they grieve o you who believe be careful of your duty to allah and relinquish what remains due from usury if you are believers but if you do it not then be appraised of war from allah and his messenger and if you repent then you shall have your capital neither shall you make the debtor suffer loss nor shall you be made to suffer loss and if the debtor is in straightness then let there be postponement until he is in ease and that you remit it as alms is better for you if you knew and guard yourselves against a day in which you shall be returned to allah then every soul shall be paid back in full what it has earned and they shall not be dealt with unjustly o you who believe when you deal with each other in contracting a debt for a fixed time then write it down and let a scribe write it down between you with fairness and the scribe should not refuse to write as allah has taught him so he should write and let him who owes the debt dictate and he should be careful of his duty to allah his lord and not diminish anything from it but if he who owes the debt is unsound in understanding or weak or if he is not able to dictate himself let his guardian dictate with fairness and call in to witness from among your men two witnesses but if there are not two men then one man and two women from among those whom you choose to be witnesses so that if one of the two errs the second of the two may remind the other 
and the witnesses should not refuse when they are summoned and be not averse to writing it whether it is small or large with the time of its falling due this is more equitable in the sight of allah and assures greater accuracy in testimony and the nearest way that you may not entertain doubts afterwards except when it is ready merchandise which you give and take among yourselves from hand to hand then there is no blame on you in not writing it down and have witnesses when you barter with one another and let no harm be done to the scribe or to the witness and if you do it then surely it will be a transgression in you and be careful of your duty to allah allah teaches you and allah knows all things and if you are upon a journey and you do not find a scribe then there may be a security taken into possession but if one of you trusts another then he who is trusted should deliver his trust and let him be careful of his duty to allah his lord and do not conceal testimony and whoever concealed it his heart is surely sinful and allah knows what you do whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth is allah's and whether you manifest what is in your minds or hide it allah will call you to account according to it then he will forgive whom he pleases and chastise whom he pleases and allah has power over all things the messenger believes in what has been revealed to him from his lord and so do the believers they all believe in allah and his angels and his books and his messengers we make no difference between any of his messengers and they say we hear and obey our lord thy forgiveness do we crave and to thee is the eventual course allah does not impose upon any soul a duty but to the extent of its ability for it is the benefit of what it has earned and upon it the evil of what it has wrought our lord do not punish us if we forget or make a mistake our lord do not lay on us a burden as thou didst lay on those before us our lord do not impose upon us that which we have not the strength to bear and pardon us and grant us protection and have mercy on us thou art our patron so help us against the unbelieving people end of Sura 2 part 2سوره 3 of the holy quran translated by muhammad habib shaker this librivox recording is in the public domain sura 3 the family of imran al imran revealed at medina in the name of allah the most beneficent the most merciful alif lam mim allah there is no god but he the ever living the self-subsisting by whom all things subsist he has revealed to you the book with truth verifying that which is before it and he revealed the torah and the injil aforetime a guidance for the people and he sent the forkan surely they who disbelieve in the communications of allah they shall have a severe chastisement and allah is mighty the lord of retribution allah surely nothing is hidden from him in the earth or in the heaven he it is who shapes you in the wombs as he likes there is no god but he the mighty the wise he it is who has revealed the book to you some of its verses are decisive they are the bases of the book and others are allegorical then as for those in whose hearts there is perversity they follow the part of it which is allegorical seeking to mislead and seeking to give it their own interpretation but none knows its interpretation except allah and those who are firmly rooted in knowledge say we believe in it it is all from our lord and none do mind except those having understanding our lord make not our hearts 
to deviate after thou hast guided us aright and grant us from thee mercy surely thou art the most liberal giver our lord surely thou art the gatherer of men on a day about which there is no doubt surely allah will not fail his promise as for those who disbelieve surely neither their wealth nor their children shall avail them in the least against allah and these it is who are the fuel of the fire like the striving of the people of Ferran and those before them they rejected our communications so allah destroyed them on account of their faults and allah is severe in requiting evil say to those who disbelieve you shall be vanquished and driven together to hell and evil is the resting place indeed there was a sign for you in the two hosts which met together in encounter one party fighting in the way of allah and the other unbelieving whom they saw twice as many as themselves with the sight of the eye and allah strengthens with his aid whom he pleases most surely there is a lesson in this for those who have sight the love of desires of women and sons and hoarded treasures of gold and silver and well-bred horses and cattle and tilth is made to seem fair to men this is the provision of the life of this world and allah is he with whom is the good goal of life say shall i tell you what is better than these for those who guard against evil are gardens with their lord beneath which rivers flow to abide in them and pure mates and allah's pleasure and allah sees the servants those who say our lord surely we believe therefore forgive us our faults and save us from the chastisement of the fire the patient and the truthful and the obedient and those who spend benevolently and those who ask forgiveness in the morning times allah bears witness that there is no god but he and so do the angels and those possessed of knowledge maintaining his creation with justice there is no god but he the mighty the wise surely the true religion with allah is islam and those to whom the book had been given did not show opposition but after knowledge had come to them out of envy among themselves and whoever disbelieves in the communications of allah then surely allah is quick in reckoning but if they dispute with you say i have submitted myself entirely to allah and so every one who follows me and say to those who have been given the book and the unlearned people do you submit yourselves so if they submit then indeed they follow the right way and if they turn back then upon you is only the delivery of the message and allah sees the servants surely as for those who disbelieve in the communications of allah and slay the prophets unjustly and slay those among men who enjoin justice announce to them a painful chastisement those are they whose works shall become null in this world as well as the hereafter and they shall have no helpers have you not considered those jews who are given a portion of the book they are invited to the book of allah that it might decide between them then a part of them turn back and they withdraw this is because they say the fire shall not touch us but for a few days and what they have forged 
deceives them in the matter of their religion then how will it be when we shall gather them together on a day about which there is no doubt and every soul shall be fully paid what it has earned and they shall not be dealt with unjustly say o allah master of the kingdom thou givest the kingdom to whomsoever thou pleasest and takest away the kingdom from whomsoever thou pleasest and thou exaltest whom thou pleasest and abasest whom thou pleasest in thine hand is the good surely thou hast power over all things thou makest the night to pass into the day and thou makest the day to pass into the night and thou bringest forth the living from the dead and thou bringest forth the dead from the living and thou givest sustenance to whom thou pleasest without measure let not the believers take the unbelievers for friends rather than believers and whoever does this he shall have nothing of the guardianship of allah but you should guard yourselves against them guarding carefully and allah makes you cautious of retribution from himself and to allah is the eventual coming say whether you hide what is in your hearts or manifest it allah knows it and he knows whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth and allah has power over all things on the day that every soul shall find present what it has done of good and what it has done of evil it shall wish that between it and that evil there were a long duration of time and allah makes you to be cautious of retribution from himself and allah is compassionate to the servants say if you love allah then follow me allah will love you and forgive you your faults and allah is forgiving merciful say obey allah and the messenger but if they turn back then surely allah does not love the unbelievers surely allah chose adam and nuh and the descendants of ibrahim and the descendants of imran above the nations offspring one of the other and allah is hearing knowing when a woman of imran said my lord surely i vow to thee what is in my womb to be devoted to thy service accept therefore from me surely thou art the hearing the knowing so when she brought forth she said my lord surely i have brought it forth a female and allah knew best what she brought forth and the male is not like the female and i have named it maryam and i commend her and her offspring into thy protection from the accursed shaitan so her lord accepted her with a good acceptance and made her grow up a good growing and gave her into the charge of zachariah whenever zachariah entered the sanctuary to see her he found with her food he said o maryam whence comes this to you she said it is from allah surely allah gives to whom he pleases without measure there did zachariah pray to his lord he said my lord grant me from thee good offspring surely thou art the hearer of prayer then the angels called to him as he stood praying in the sanctuary that allah gives you the good news of yahya verifying a word from allah and honorable and chaste and a prophet from among the good ones he said my lord when shall there be a son born to me and old age has already come upon me and my wife is barren he said even thus does allah what he pleases he said my lord appoint a sign for me said he 
your sign is that you should not speak to men for three days except by signs and remember your lord much and glorify him in the evening and the morning and when the angel said o maryam surely allah has chosen you and purified you and chosen you above the women of the world o maryam keep to the obedience to your lord and humble yourself and bow down with those who bow this is of the announcement relating to the unseen which we reveal to you and you were not with them when they cast their pens to decide which of them should have Maryam in his charge and you were not with them when they contented one with another when the angel said o Maryam, surely allah gives you good news with a word from him of one whose name is the messiah isa son of Maryam, worthy of regard in this world and the hereafter and of those who are made near to allah and he shall speak to the people when in the cradle and when of old age and he shall be one of the good ones she said my lord when shall there be a son born to i me and man has not touched me he said even so allah creates what he pleases when he has decreed a matter he only says to it be and it is and he will teach him the book and the wisdom and the Torah and the Ingil, and make him a messenger to the children of Israel, that I have come to you with a sign from your Lord, that I determine for you out of dust like the form of a bird, then I breathe into it, and it becomes a bird, with Allah's permission, and I heal the blind and the leprous, and bring the dead to life with allah's permission and i inform you of what you should eat and what you should store in your houses most surely there is a sign in this for you if you are believers and a verifier of that which is before me of the torah and that i may allow you part of that which has been forbidden to you and i have come to you with a sign from your lord therefore be careful of your duty to allah and obey me surely allah is my lord and your lord therefore serve him this is the right path but when isa perceived unbelief on their part he said who will be my helpers in allah's way the disciples said we are helpers in the way of allah we believe in allah and bear witness that we are submitting ones our lord we believe in what thou hast revealed and we follow the messenger so write us down with those who bear witness and they planned and allah also planned and allah is the best of planners and when allah said o isa I am going to terminate the period of your stay on earth and cause you to ascend unto me and purify you of those who disbelieve and make those who follow you above those who disbelieve to the day of resurrection. Then to me shall be your return. So I will decide between you concerning that in which you differed then as to those who disbelieve i will chastise them with severe chastisement in this world and the hereafter and they shall have no helpers and as to those who believe and do good deeds he will pay them fully their rewards and allah does not love the unjust this we recite to you of the communications and the wise reminder surely the likeness of isa is with allah as the likeness of adam he created him from dust then he said to him be and he was this is the truth from your lord 
so be not of the disputers but whoever disputes with you in this matter after what has come to you of knowledge then say come let us call our sons and your sons and our women and your women and our near people and your near people then let us be earnest in prayer and pray for the curse of allah on the liars most surely this is the true explanation and there is no god but allah and most surely allah he is the mighty the wise but if they turn back then surely allah knows the mischief makers say o followers of the book come to an equitable proposition between us and you that we shall not serve any but allah and that we shall not associate aught with him and that some of us shall not take others for lords besides allah but if they turn back then say bear witness that we are muslims o followers of the book why do you dispute about ibrahim when the Torah and the Injil were not revealed till after him, do you not then understand? Behold, you are they who disputed about that of which you had knowledge. Why then do you dispute about that of which you have no knowledge? And Allah knows while you do not know. Ibrahim was not a Jew nor a Christian, but he was an upright man a Muslim, and he was not one of the polytheists. Most surely the nearest of people to Ibrahim are those who followed him and this prophet and those who believe and Allah is the guardian of the believers. A party of the followers of the book desire that they should lead you astray and they lead not astray but themselves and they do not perceive. O followers of the book, why do you disbelieve in the communications of Allah while you witness them? O followers of the book, why do you confound the truth with the falsehood and hide the truth while you know? And a party of the followers of the book say, Avow believe in that which has been revealed to those who believe. In the first part of the day, and disbelieve at the end of it perhaps they go back on their religion and do not believe but in him who follows your religion say surely the true guidance is the guidance of allah that one may be given by him the like of what you were given or they would contend with you by an argument before your lord say surely grace is in the hand of allah he gives it to whom he pleases and allah is ample giving knowing he specially chooses for his mercy whom he pleases and allah is the lord of mighty grace and among the followers of the book there are some such that if you entrust one of them with a heap of wealth he shall pay it back to you and among them there are some such that if you entrust one of them with a dinar he shall not pay it back to you except so long as you remain firm in demanding it this is because they say there is not upon us in the matter of the unlearned people any way to reproach and they tell a lie against allah while they know yea whoever fulfills his promise and guards against evil then surely allah loves those who guard against evil as for those who take a small price for the covenant of allah and their own oath surely they shall have no portion in the hereafter and allah will not speak to them nor will he look upon them on the day of resurrection nor will he purify them and they shall have a painful chastisement most surely there is a party amongst those who distort the book 
with their tongue that you may consider it to be a part of the book and they say it is from allah while it is not from allah and they tell a lie against allah whilst they know it is not meet for a mortal that allah should give him the book and the wisdom and prophethood then he should say to men be my servants rather than allah's but rather he would say be worshippers of the lord because of your teaching the book and your reading it yourselves and neither would he enjoin you that you should take the angels and the prophets for lords what would he enjoin you with unbelief after you are muslims and when allah made a covenant through the prophets certainly what i have given you of book and wisdom then a messenger comes to you verifying that which is with you you must believe in him and you must aid him he said do you affirm and accept my compact in this matter they said we do affirm he said then bear witness and i too am of the bearers of witness with you whoever therefore turns back after this these it is that are the transgressors is it then other than allah's religion that they seek to follow and to him submits whoever is in the heavens and the earth willingly or unwillingly and to him shall they be returned say we believe in allah and what has been revealed to us and what was revealed to Ibrahim and Ismail and Ishaq and Yaqub and the tribes, and what was given to Musa and Isa and to the prophets from their Lord. We do not make any distinction between any of them, and to him do we submit. And whoever desires a religion other than Islam, it shall not be accepted from him, and in the hereafter he shall be one of the losers how shall allah guide a people who disbelieved after their believing and after they had borne witness that the messenger was true and clear arguments had come to them and allah does not guide the unjust people as for these the reward is that upon them is the curse of allah and the angels and of men all together abiding in it their chastisement shall not be lightened nor shall they be respited except those who repent after that and amend then surely allah is forgiving merciful surely those who disbelieve after their believing then increase in unbelief their repentance shall not be accepted and these are they that go astray surely those who disbelieve and die while they are unbelievers the earth full of gold shall not be accepted from one of them though he should offer to ransom himself with it these it is who shall have a painful chastisement and they shall have no helpers by no means shall you attain to righteousness until you spend benevolently out of what you love and whatever thing you spend allah surely knows it all food was lawful to the children of israel except that which israel had forbidden to himself before the torah was revealed say bring then the torah and read it if you are truthful then whoever fabricates a lie against allah after this these it is that are the unjust say allah has spoken the truth therefore follow the religion of ibrahim the upright one and he was not one of the polytheists most surely the first house appointed for men is the one at bakka blessed and a guidance for the nations in it are clear signs the standing place of ibrahim and whoever enters it shall be secure and pilgrimage to the house is incumbent upon men for the sake of allah upon every one who is able to undertake the journey to it and whoever disbelieves 
then surely Allah is self-sufficient above any need of the world. Say, O followers of the book, why do you disbelieve in the communications of Allah and Allah is a witness of what you do? Say, O followers of the book, why do you hinder him who believes from the way of Allah? You seek to make it crooked while you are witness, and Allah is not heedless of what you do. O you who believe, if you obey a party from among those who have been given the book, they will turn you back as unbelievers after you have believed. But how can you disbelieve while it is you to whom the communications of Allah are recited, and among you is his messenger. And whoever holds fast to Allah, he indeed is guided to the right path. O you who believe, be careful of your duty to Allah with the care which is due to him, and do not die unless you are Muslims and hold fast by the covenant of Allah altogether, and be not disunited, and remember the favor of Allah on you when you were enemies. Then he united your hearts, so by his favor you became brethren, and you were on the brink of a pit of fire. Then he saved you from it. Thus does Allah make clear to you his communications, that you may follow the right way, and from among you there should be a party who invite to good and enjoin what is right and forbid the wrong, and these it is that shall be successful. And be not like those who became divided and disagreed after clear arguments had come to them, and these it is that shall have a grievous chastisement, on the day when some faces shall turn white and some faces shall turn black then as to those whose faces turn black did you disbelieve after your believing taste therefore the chastisement because you disbelieved and as to those whose faces turn white they shall be in allah's mercy in it they shall abide these are the communications of Allah which we recite to you with truth. And Allah does not desire any injustice to the creatures. And whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth is Allah's. And to Allah all things return. You are the best of the nations raised up for the benefit of men. You enjoin what is right and forbid the wrong, and believe in Allah. And if the followers of the book had believed it, would have been better for them. Of them some are believers and most of them are transgressors. They shall by no means harm you but with a slight evil. And if they fight with you, they shall turn their backs to you then shall they not be helped abasement is made to cleave to them wherever they are found except under a covenant with allah and a covenant with men and they have become deserving of wrath from allah and humiliation is made to cleave to them this is because they disbelieved in the communications of allah and slew the prophets unjustly this is because they disobeyed and exceeded the limits they are not all alike of the followers of the book there is an upright party they recite allah's communications in the night time and they adore him they believe in allah and the last day and they enjoin what is right and forbid the wrong and they strive with one another in hastening to good deeds and those are among the good and whatever good they do they shall not be denied it and allah knows those who guard against evil as for those who disbelieve surely neither their wealth nor their children shall avail them in the least against allah and these are the inmates of the fire therein they shall abide 
the likeness of what they spend in the life of this world is as the likeness of wind in which is intense cold that smites the sea produce of a people who have done injustice to their souls and destroys it and allah is not unjust to them but they are unjust to themselves o you who believe do not take for the inmate friends from among others than your own people they do not fall short of inflicting loss upon you they love what distresses you vehement hatred has already appeared from out of their mouth and what their breasts conceal is greater still indeed we have made the communications clear to you if you will understand lo you are they who will love them while they do not love you and you believe in the book in the whole of it and when they meet you they say we believe and when they are alone they bite the ends of their fingers in rage against you say die in your rage surely allah knows what is in the breasts if good befalls you it grieves them and if an evil afflicts you they rejoice at it and if you are patient and guard yourselves their scheme will not injure you in any way surely allah comprehends what they do and when you did go forth early in the morning from your family to lodge the believers in encampments for war and allah is hearing knowing when two parties from among you had determined that they should show cowardice and allah was the guardian of them both and in allah should the believers trust and allah did certainly assist you at badr when you were weak be careful of your duty to allah then that you may give thanks when you said to the believers does it not suffice you that your lord should assist you with three thousand of the angels sent down yea if you remain patient and are on your guard and they come upon you in a headlong manner your lord will assist you with five thousand of the havoc making angels and allah did not make it but as good news for you and that your hearts might be at ease thereby and victory is only from allah the mighty the wise that he may cut off a portion from among those who disbelieve or abase them so that they should return disappointed of attaining what they desired you have no concern in the affair whether he turns to them mercifully or chastises them for surely they are unjust and whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth is allah's he forgives whom he pleases and chastises whom he pleases and allah is forgiving merciful o you who believe do not devour usury make it double and redouble and be careful of your duty to allah that you may be successful and guard yourselves against the fire which has been prepared for the unbelievers and obey allah and the messenger that you may be shown mercy and hasten to forgiveness from your lord and a garden the extensiveness of which is as the heavens and the earth it is prepared for those who guard against evil those who spend benevolently in ease as well as in straightness and those who restrain their anger and pardon men and allah loves the doers of good to others and those who when they commit an indecency or do injustice to their souls remember allah and ask forgiveness for their faults and who forgives the faults but allah and who do not knowingly persist in what they have done as for these the reward is forgiveness from the lord 
and gardens beneath which rivers flow to abide in them and excellent is the reward of the laborers indeed there have been examples before you therefore travel in the earth and see what was the end of the rejecters this is a clear statement for men and a guidance and an admonition to those who guard against evil and be not infirm and be not grieving and you shall have the upper hand if you are believers if a wound has afflicted you at uhud a wound like it has also afflicted the unbelieving people and we bring these days to men by turns and that allah may know those who believe and take witnesses from among you and allah does not love the unjust and that he may purge those who believe and deprive the unbelievers of blessings do you think that you will enter the garden while allah has not yet known those who strive hard from among you and he has not known the patient and certainly you desired death before you met it so indeed you have seen it and you look at it and muhammad is no more than a messenger the messengers have already passed away before him if then he dies or is killed will you turn back upon your heels and whoever turns back upon his heels he will by no means do harm to allah in the least and allah will reward the grateful and a soul will not die but with the permission of allah the term is fixed and whoever desires the reward of this world i shall give him of it and whoever desires the reward of the hereafter i shall give him of it and i will reward the grateful and how many a prophet has fought with whom were many worshippers of the lord so they did not become weak-hearted on account of what befell them in allah's way nor did they weaken nor did they abase themselves and allah loves the patient and their saying was no other than that they said our lord forgive us our faults and our extravagance in our affair and make firm our feet and help us against the unbelieving people so allah gave them the reward of this world and better reward of the hereafter and allah loves those who do good to others o you who believe if you obey those who disbelieve they will turn you back upon your heels so you will turn back losers nay allah is your patron and he is the best of the helpers we will cast terror into the hearts of those who disbelieve because they set up with allah that for which he has sent down no authority and their abode is the fire and evil is the abode of the unjust and certainly allah made good to you his promise when you slew them by his permission until when you became weak-hearted and disputed about the affair and disobeyed after he had shown you that which you loved of you were some who desired this world and of you were some who desired the hereafter then he turned you away from them that he might try you and he has certainly pardoned you and allah is gracious to the believers when you ran off precipitately and did not wait for any one and the messenger was calling you from your rear so he gave you another sorrow instead of your sorrow so that you might not grieve at what had escaped you nor at what befell you and allah is aware of what you do then after sorrow he sent down security upon you a calm coming upon a party of you and there was another party 
whom their own souls had rendered anxious they entertained about allah thoughts of ignorance quite unjustly saying we have no hand in the affair say surely the affair is wholly in the hands of allah they conceal within their souls what they would not reveal to you they say had we any hand in the affair we would not have been slain here say had you remained in your houses those for whom slaughter was ordained would certainly have gone forth to the places where they would be slain and that allah might test what was in your breasts and that he might purge what was in your hearts and allah knows what is in the breasts as for those of you who turn back on the day when the two armies met only the shaitan thought to cause them to make a slip on account of some deeds they had done and certainly allah has pardoned them surely allah is forgiving forbearing o you who believe be not like those who disbelieve and say of their brethren when they travel in the earth or engage in fighting had they been with us they would not have died and they would not have been slain so allah makes this to be an intense regret in their hearts and allah gives life and causes death and allah sees what you do and if you are slain in the way of allah or you die certainly forgiveness from allah and mercy is better than what they amass and if indeed you die or you are slain certainly to allah shall you be gathered together thus it is due to mercy from allah that you deal with them gently and had you been rough hard-hearted they would certainly have dispersed from around you pardon them therefore and ask pardon for them and take counsel with them in the affair so when you have decided then place your trust in allah surely allah loves those who trust if allah assists you then there is none that can overcome you and if he forsakes you who is there then that can assist you after him and on allah should the believers rely and it is not attributable to a prophet that he should act unfaithfully and he who acts unfaithfully shall bring that in respect of which he has acted unfaithfully on the day of resurrection then shall every soul be paid back fully what it has earned and they shall not be dealt with unjustly is then he who follows the pleasure of allah like him who has made himself deserving of displeasure from allah and his abode is hell and it is an evil destination there are varying grades with allah and allah sees what they do certainly allah conferred a benefit upon the believers when he raised among them a messenger from among themselves reciting to them his communications and purifying them and teaching them the book and the wisdom although before that they were surely in manifest error what when a misfortune befell you and you had certainly afflicted the unbelievers with twice as much you began to say whence is this say it is from yourselves surely allah has power over all things and what befell you on the day when the two armies met at uhud was with allah's knowledge and that he might know the believers and that he might know the hypocrites and it was said to them come fight in allah's way or defend yourselves they said if we knew fighting we would certainly have followed you they were on that day much nearer to unbelief than to belief they say with their mouths what is not in their hearts and allah best knows what they conceal 
those who said of their brethren whilst they themselves held back had they obeyed us they would not have been killed say then avert death from yourselves if you speak the truth and reckon not those who are killed in allah's way as dead nay they are alive and are provided sustenance from their lord rejoicing in what allah has given them out of his grace and they rejoice for the sake of those who being left behind them have not yet joined them that they shall have no fear nor shall they grieve they rejoice on account of favor from allah and his grace and that allah will not waste the reward of the believers as for those who responded at uhud to the call of allah and the messenger after the wound had befallen them those among them who do good to others and guard against evil shall have a great reward those to whom the people said surely men have gathered against you therefore fear them but this increased their faith and they said allah is sufficient for us and most excellent is the protector so they returned with favor from allah and his grace no evil touched them and they followed the pleasure of allah and allah is the lord of mighty grace it is only the shaitan that causes you to fear from his friends but do not fear them and fear me if you are believers and let not those grieve you who fall into unbelief hastily surely they can do no harm to allah at all allah intends that he should not give them any portion in the hereafter and they shall have a grievous chastisement surely those who have bought unbelief at the price of faith shall do no harm at all to allah and they shall have a painful chastisement and let not those who disbelieve think that our granting them respite is better for their souls we grant them respite only that they may add to their sins and they shall have a disgraceful chastisement on no account will allah leave the believers in the condition which you are in until he separates the evil from the good nor is allah going to make you acquainted with the unseen but allah chooses of his messengers whom he pleases therefore believe in allah and his messengers and if you believe and guard against evil then you shall have a great reward and let not those deem who are niggardly in giving away that which allah has granted them out of his grace that it is good for them nay it is worse for them they shall have that whereof they were niggardly made to cleave to their necks on the resurrection day and allah's is the heritage of the heavens and the earth and allah is aware of what you do allah has certainly heard the saying of those who said surely allah is poor and we are rich i will record what they say and they are killing the prophets unjustly and i will say taste the chastisement of burning this is for what your own hands have sent before and because allah is not in the least unjust to the servants those are they who said surely allah has enjoined us that we should not believe in any messenger until he brings us an offering which the fire consumes say indeed there came to you messengers before me with clear arguments and with that which you demand why then did you kill them if you are truthful but if they reject you so indeed were rejected before you messengers who came with clear arguments and scriptures and the illuminating book every soul shall taste of death 
and you shall only be paid fully your reward on the resurrection day then whoever is removed far away from the fire and is made to enter the garden he indeed has attained the object and the life of this world is nothing but a provision of vanities you shall certainly be tried respecting your wealth and your souls and you shall certainly hear from those who have been given the book before you and from those who are polytheists much annoying talk and if you are patient and guard against evil surely this is one of the affairs which should be determined upon and when allah made a covenant with those who were given the book you shall certainly make it known to men and you shall not hide it but they cast it behind their backs and took a small price for it so evil is that which they buy do not think those who rejoice for what they have done and love that they should be praised for what they have not done so do by no means think them to be safe from the chastisement and they shall have a painful chastisement and allah's is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth and allah has power over all things most surely in the creation of the heavens and the earth and the alternation of the night and the day there are signs for men who understand those who remember allah standing and sitting and lying on their sides and reflect on the creation of the heavens and the earth our lord thou hast not created this in vain glory be to thee save us then from the chastisement of the fire our lord surely whomsoever thou makest enter the fire him thou hast indeed brought to disgrace and there shall be no helpers for the unjust our lord surely we have heard a preacher calling to the faith saying believe in your lord so we did believe our lord forgive us therefore our faults and cover our evil deeds and make us die with the righteous our lord and grant us what thou hast promised us by thy messengers and disgrace us not on the day of resurrection surely thou doubts not fail to perform the promise so the lord accepted their prayer that i will not waste the work of a worker among you whether male or female the one of you being from the other they therefore who fled and were turned out of their homes and persecuted in my way and who fought and were slain i will most certainly cover their evil deeds and i will most certainly make them enter gardens beneath which rivers flow a reward from allah and with allah is yet better reward let it not deceive you that those who disbelieve go to and fro in the cities fearlessly a brief enjoyment then their abode is hell and evil is the resting place but as to those who are careful of their duty to their lord they shall have gardens beneath which rivers flow abiding in them an entertainment from their lord and that which is with allah is best for the righteous and most surely of the followers of the book there are those who believe in allah and in that which has been revealed to you and in that which has been revealed to them being lowly before allah they do not take a small price for the communications of allah these it is that have their reward with their lord surely allah is quick in reckoning o you who believe be patient and excel in patience and remain steadfast and be careful of your duty to allah that you may be successful End of Surah 3
Surah 4 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 4, Women, and Nisa, revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, O people, be careful of your duty to your Lord, who created you from a single being and created its mate of the same kind, and spread from these two many men and women, and be careful of your duty to Allah, by whom you demand one of another your rights and to the ties of relationship surely allah ever watches over you and give to the orphans their property and do not substitute worthless things for their good ones and do not devour their property as an addition to your own property this is surely a great crime and if you fear that you cannot act equitably towards orphans then marry such women as seem good to you two and three and four but if you fear that you will not do justice between them then marry only one or what your right hands possess this is more proper that you may not deviate from the right course and give women their dowries as a free gift but if they of themselves be pleased to give up to you a portion of it then eat it with enjoyment and with wholesome result and do not give away your property which allah has made for you a means of support to the weak of understanding and maintain them out of the profits of it and clothe them and speak to them words of honest advice and test the orphans until they attain puberty then if you find in them maturity of intellect make over to them their property and do not consume it extravagantly and hastily lest they attain to full age and whoever is rich let him abstain altogether and whoever is poor let him eat reasonably then when you make over to them their property call witnesses in their presence and allah is enough as a reckoner men shall have a portion of what the parents and the near relatives leave and women shall have a portion of what the parents and the near relatives leave whether there is little or much of it a stated portion and when there are present at the division the relatives and the orphans and the needy give them something out of it and speak to them kind words and let those fear who should they leave behind them weakly offspring with fear on their account so let them be careful of their duty to allah and let them speak right words as for those who swallow the property of the orphans unjustly surely they only swallow fire into their bellies and they shall enter burning fire allah enjoins you concerning your children the male shall have the equal of the portion of two females then if they are more than two females they shall have two-thirds of what the deceased has left and if there is one she shall have the half as for his parents each of them shall have the six of what he has left if he has a child but if he has no child and only his two parents inherit him then his mother shall have the third 
but if he has brothers then his mother shall have the six after the payment of a bequest he may have bequeathed or a debt your parents and your children you know not which of them is the nearer to you in usefulness this is an ordinance from allah surely allah is knowing wise and you shall have half of what your wives leave if they have no child but if they have a child then you shall have a fourth of what they leave after payment of any bequest they may have bequeathed or a debt and they shall have the fourth of what you leave if you have no child but if you have a child then they shall have the eighth of what you leave after payment of a bequest you may have bequeathed or a debt and if a man or a woman leaves a property to be inherited by neither parents nor offspring and he or she has a brother or a sister then each of them two shall have the six but if they are more than that they shall be sharers in the third after payment of any bequest that may have been bequeathed or a debt that does not harm others this is an ordinance from allah and allah is knowing forbearing these are allah's limits and whoever obeys allah and his messenger he will cause him to enter gardens beneath which rivers flow to abide in them and this is the great achievement and whoever disobeys allah and his messenger and goes beyond his limits he will cause him to enter fire to abide in it and he shall have an abasing chastisement and as for those who are guilty of an indecency from among your women call to witnesses against them four witnesses from among you then if they bear witness confine them to the houses until death takes them away or allah opens some way for them and as for the two who are guilty of indecency from among you give them both a punishment then if they repent and amend turn aside from them surely allah is oft returning to mercy the merciful repentance with allah is only for those who do evil in ignorance then turn to allah soon so these it is to whom allah turns mercifully and allah is ever knowing wise and repentance is not for those who go on doing evil deeds until when death comes to one of them he says surely now i repent nor for those who die while they are unbelievers these are they for whom we have prepared a painful chastisement o you who believe it is not lawful for you that you should take women as heritage against their will and do not straighten them in order that you may take part of what you have given them unless they are guilty of manifest indecency and treat them kindly then if you hate them it may be that you dislike a thing while allah has placed abundant good in it and if you wish to have one wife in place of another and you have given one of them a heap of gold then take not from it anything would you take it by slandering her and doing her manifest wrong and how can you take it when one of you has already gone in to the other and they have made with you a firm covenant and marry not woman whom your fathers married except what has already passed this surely is indecent and hateful 
and it is an evil way. Forbidden to you are your mothers and your daughters and your sisters and your paternal aunts and your maternal aunts and brothers' daughters and sisters' daughters and your mothers that have suckled you and your foster sisters and mothers of your wives and your stepdaughters who are in your guardianship born of your wives to whom you have gone in but if you have not gone in to them there is no blame on you in marrying them and the wives of your sons who are of your own loins and that you should have two sisters together except what has already passed surely allah is forgiving merciful and all married women except those whom your right hands possess this is allah's ordinance to you and lawful for you are all women besides those provided that you seek them with your property taking them in marriage not committing fornication then as to those whom you profit by give them their dowries as appointed and there is no blame on you about what you mutually agree after what is appointed surely allah is knowing wise and whoever among you has not within his power ampleness of means to marry free believing women then he may marry of those whom your right hands possess from among your believing maidens and allah knows best your faith you are sprung the one from the other so marry them with the permission of their masters and give them their dowries justly they being chaste not fornicating nor receiving paramores and when they are taken in marriage then if they are guilty of indecency they shall suffer half the punishment which is inflicted upon free women this is for him among you who fears falling into evil and that you abstain is better for you and allah is forgiving merciful allah desires to explain to you and to guide you into the ways of those before you and to turn to you mercifully and allah is knowing wise and allah desires that he should turn to you mercifully and those who follow their lusts desire that you should deviate with a great deviation allah desires that he should make light your burdens and man is created weak o you who believe do not devour your property among yourselves falsely except that it be trading by your mutual consent and do not kill your people surely allah is merciful to you and whoever does this aggressively and unjustly we will soon cast him into fire and this is easy to allah if you shun the great sins which you are forbidden we will do away with your small sins and cause you to enter an honorable place of entering and do not covet that by which allah has made some of you excel others men shall have the benefit of what they earn and women shall have the benefit of what they earn and ask allah of his grace surely allah knows all things and to every one we have appointed heirs of what parents and near relatives leave and as to those with whom your right hands have ratified agreements give them their portion surely allah is a witness over all things 
Men are the maintainers of women because Allah has made some of them to excel others and because they spend out of their property. The good women are therefore obedient, guarding the unseen as Allah has guarded. And as to those on whose part you fear, desertion, admonish them and leave them alone in the sleeping places and beat them then if they obey you do not seek a way against them surely allah is high great and if you fear a breach between the two then appoint judge from his people and a judge from her people if they both desire agreement allah will effect harmony between them surely allah is knowing aware and serve allah and do not associate anything with him and be good to the parents and to the near of kin and the orphans and the needy and the neighbor of your kin and the alien neighbor and the companion in a journey and the wayfarer and those whom your right hands possess surely allah does not love him who is proud boastful those who are niggardly and bid people to be niggardly and hide what allah has given them out of his grace and we have prepared for the unbelievers a disgraceful chastisement and those who spend their property in alms to be seen of the people and do not believe in allah nor in the last day and as for him whose associate is the shaitan an evil associate is he and what harm would it have done them if they had believed in allah and the last day and spent benevolently of what allah had given them and allah knows them surely allah does not do injustice to the weight of an atom and if it is a good deed he multiplies it and gives from himself a great reward how will it be then when we bring from every people a witness and bring you as a witness against these on that day will those who disbelieve and disobey the messenger desire that the earth were leveled with them and they shall not hide any word from allah o you who believe do not go near prayer when you are intoxicated until you know well what you say nor when you are under an obligation to perform a bath unless you are traveling on the road until you have washed yourselves and if you are sick or on a journey or one of you come from the privy or you have touched the women and you cannot find water betake yourselves to pure earth then wipe your faces and your hands surely allah is pardoning forgiving have you not considered those to whom a portion of the book has been given they by error and desire that you should go astray from the way and allah bestows your enemies and allah suffices as a guardian and allah suffices as a helper of those who are jews there are those who alter words from their places and say we have heard and we disobey and hear may you not be made to hear and raina distorting the word with their tongues and taunting about religion and if they had said instead we have heard and we obey and hearken and unzorna it would have been better for them and more upright but allah has cursed them on account of their unbelief so they do not believe but a little o you who have been given the book believe that which we have revealed 
verifying what you have before we alter faces then turn them on their backs or curse them as we cursed the violators of the sabbath and the command of allah shall be executed surely allah does not forgive that anything should be associated with him and forgives what is besides that to whomsoever he pleases and whoever associates anything with allah he devises indeed a great sin have you not considered those who attribute purity to themselves nay allah purifies whom he pleases and they shall not be wronged the husk of a date stone see how they forge the lie against allah and this is sufficient as a manifest sin have you not seen those to whom a portion of the book has been given they believe in idols and false deities and say of those who disbelieve these are better guided in the path than those who believe those are they whom allah has cursed and whomever allah curses you shall not find any helper for him or have they a share in the kingdom but then they would not give to people even the speck in the date stone or do they envy the people for what allah has given them of his grace but indeed we have given to ibrahim's children the book and the wisdom and we have given them a grand kingdom so of them is he who believes in him and of them is he who turns away from him and hell is sufficient to burn as for those who disbelieve in our communications we shall make them enter fire so oft as their skins are thoroughly burned we will change them for other skins that they may taste the chastisement surely allah is mighty wise and as for those who believe and do good deeds we will make them enter gardens beneath which rivers flow to abide in them forever they shall have their impure mates and we shall make them enter a dense shade surely allah commands you to make over trusts to their owners and that when you judge between people you judge with justice surely allah admonishes you with what is excellent surely allah is seeing hearing o you who believe obey allah and obey the messenger and those in authority from among you then if you quarrel about anything refer it to allah and the messenger if you believe in allah and the last day this is better and very good in the end have you not seen those who assert that they believe in what has been revealed to you and what was revealed before you they desire to summon one another to the judgment of the shaitan though they were commanded to deny him and the shaitan desires to lead them astray into a remote error and when it is said to them come to what allah has revealed and to the messenger you will see the hypocrites turning away from you with utter aversion but how will it be when misfortune befalls them on account of what their hands have sent before then they will come to you swearing by allah we did not desire anything but good and conquered these are they of whom allah knows 
what is in their hearts. Therefore turn aside from them and admonish them and speak to them effectual words concerning themselves. And we did not send any messenger, but that he should be obeyed by Allah's permission. And had they, when they were unjust to themselves, come to you and asked forgiveness of Allah, and the messenger had also asked forgiveness for them, they would have found Allah oft returning to mercy merciful. But no, by your Lord, they do not believe in reality until they make you a judge of that which has become a matter of disagreement among them. And then do not find any straightness in their hearts as to what you have decided and submit with entire submission. And if we had prescribed for them, lay down your lives or go forth from your homes, they would not have done it except a few of them. And if they had done what they were admonished, it would have certainly been better for them and best in strengthening them. And then we would certainly have given them from ourselves a great reward. And we would certainly have guided them in the right path. And whoever obeys Allah and the Messenger, these are with those upon whom Allah has bestowed favors from among the prophets and the truthful and the martyrs and the good and the goodly company are they. This is grace from Allah and sufficient is Allah as the knower. O you who believe, take your precaution then go forth in detachments or go forth in a body and surely among you is he who would certainly hang back if then a misfortune befalls you he says surely allah conferred a benefit on me that i was not present with them and if grace from allah come to you he would certainly cry out as if there had not been any friendship between you and him. Would that I had been with them, then I should have attained a mighty good fortune. Therefore, let those fight in the way of Allah, who sell this world's life for the hereafter, and whoever fights in the way of Allah, then be he slain or be he victorious. We shall grant him a mighty reward. And what reason have you that you should not fight in the way of Allah and of the weak among the men and the women and the children? Of those who say, Our Lord, cause us to go forth from this town whose people are oppressors, and give us from thee a guardian, and give us from thee a helper. Those who believe fight in the way of Allah, and those who disbelieve fight in the way of the shaitan. Fight therefore against the friends of the shaitan. Surely the strategy of the shaitan is weak. Have you not seen those to whom it was said, Withhold your hands, and keep up prayer, and pay the poor rate. But when fighting is prescribed for them, lo, a party of them fear men as they ought to have feared Allah, or even with a greater fear, and say, Our Lord, why hast thou ordained fighting for us? Wherefore didst thou not grant us a delay to a near end? Say the provision of this world is short, and the hereafter is better for him 
who guards against evil, and you shall not be wronged the husk of a dead stone. Wherever you are, death will overtake you. Thou you are in lofty towers, and if a benefit comes to them, they say, This is from Allah, and if a misfortune befalls them, they say, This is from you. Say, All is from Allah, but what is the matter with these people that they do not make approach to understanding what is told them? Whatever benefit comes to you, O man, it is from Allah, and whatever misfortune befalls you, it is from yourself. And we have sent you, O Prophet, to mankind as a messenger, and Allah is sufficient as a witness. Whoever obeys the messenger, he indeed obeys Allah, and whoever turns back, so we have not sent you as a keeper over them. And they say, Obedience, but when they go out from your presence, a party of them decide by night upon doing otherwise than what you say, and Allah writes down what they decide by night. Therefore turn aside from them and trust in Allah, and Allah is sufficient as a protector. Do they not then meditate on the Quran? And if it were from any other than Allah, they would have found in it many a discrepancy. And when there comes to them news of security or fear, they spread it abroad. And if they had referred it to the messenger and to those in authority among them, those among them who can search out the knowledge of it would have known it. And were it not for the grace of Allah upon you and his mercy, you would have certainly followed the shaitan, save a few. Fight then in Allah's way. This is not imposed on you except in relation to yourself. And rouse the believers to ardor. Maybe Allah will restrain the fighting of those who disbelieve. And Allah is strongest in prowess and the strongest to give an exemplary punishment. Whoever joins himself to another in a good cause shall have a share of it, and whoever joins himself to another in an evil cause shall have the responsibility of it, and Allah controls all things. And when you are greeted with a greeting, greet with a better greeting than it or return it. Surely Allah takes account of all things. Allah, there is no God but He. He will most certainly gather you together on the resurrection day. There is no doubt in it, and who is more true in word than Allah? What is the matter with you, then, that you have become two parties about the hypocrites, while Allah has made them return to unbelief for what they have earned? Do you wish to guide him whom Allah has caused to err? And whomsoever Allah causes to err, you shall by no means find a way for him. They desire that you should disbelieve as they have disbelieved, so that you might be all alike. Therefore, take not from among them friends until they fly their homes in Allah's way. But if they turn back, then seize them and kill them wherever you find them. And take not from among them a friend or a helper, except those who reach a people between whom and you there is an alliance or who come to you, their hearts shrinking from fighting you or fighting their own people. And if Allah had pleased, 
he would have given them power over you so that they should have certainly fought you therefore if they withdraw from you and do not fight you and offer you peace then allah has not given you a way against them you will find others who desire that they should be safe from you and secure from their own people as often as they are sent back to the mischief they get thrown into it headlong therefore if they do not withdraw from you and do not offer you peace and restrain their hands then seize them and kill them wherever you find them and against these we have given you a clear authority and it does not behoove a believer to kill a believer except by mistake and whoever kills a believer by mistake he should free a believing slave and blood money should be paid to his people unless they remit it as alms but if he be from a tribe hostile to you and he is a believer the freeing of a believing slave suffices and if he is from a tribe between whom and you there is a covenant the blood money should be paid to his people along with the freeing of a believing slave but he who cannot find a slave should fast for two months successively a penance from allah and allah is knowing wise and whoever kills a believer intentionally his punishment is hell he shall abide in it and allah will send his wrath on him and curse him and prepare for him a painful chastisement o you who believe when you go to war in allah's way make investigation and do not say to anyone who offers you peace you are not a believer do you seek goods of this world's life but with allah there are abundant gains you too were such before then allah conferred a benefit on you therefore make investigation surely allah is aware of what you do the holders back from among the believers not having any injury and those who strive hard in allah's way with their property and their persons are not equal allah has made the strivers with their property and their persons to excel the holders back a high degree and to each class allah has promised good and allah shall grant to the strivers above the holders back a mighty reward high degrees from him and protection and mercy and allah is forgiving merciful surely as for those whom the angels cause to die while they are unjust to their souls they shall say in what state were you they shall say we were weak in the earth they shall say was not allah's earth spacious so that you should have migrated therein so these it is whose abode is hell and it is an evil resort except the weak from among the men and the children who have not in their power the means nor can they find a way to escape so these it may be allah will pardon them and allah is pardoning forgiving and whoever flies in allah's way he will find in the earth many a place of refuge and abundant resources and whoever goes forth from his house flying to allah and his messenger and then death overtakes him his reward is indeed with allah 
and Allah is forgiving, merciful. And when you journey in the earth, there is no blame on you if you shorten the prayer, if you fear that those who disbelieve will cause you distress. Surely the unbelievers are your open enemy. And when you are among them and keep up the prayer for them, let a party of them stand up with you and let them take their arms. Then when they have prostrated themselves, let them go to your rear and let another party who have not prayed come forward and pray with you and let them take their precautions and their arms for those who disbelieve, desire that you may be careless of your arms and your luggage, so that they may then turn upon with you a sudden united attack, and there is no blame on you if you are annoyed with rain or if you are sick, that you lay down your arms and take your precautions, Surely Allah has prepared a disgraceful chastisement for the unbelievers. Then when you have finished the prayer, remember Allah standing and sitting and reclining. But when you are secure from danger, keep up prayer. Surely prayer is a timed ordinance for the believers. And be not weak-hearted in pursuit of the enemy. If you suffer pain, then surely they too suffer pain as you suffer pain. And you hope from Allah what they do not hope. And Allah is knowing wise. Surely we have revealed the book to you with the truth that you may judge between people by means of that which Allah has taught you. And be not an advocate on behalf of the treacherous. And ask forgiveness of Allah. Surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. And do not plead on behalf of those who act unfaithfully to their souls. Surely Allah does not love him who is treacherous, sinful. They hide themselves from men and do not hide themselves from Allah. And he is with them when they meditate by night words which please him not. And Allah encompasses what they do. Behold, you are they who may plead for them in this world's life. But who will plead for them with Allah on the resurrection day? Or who shall be their protector? And whoever does evil or acts unjustly to his soul, then asks forgiveness of Allah. He shall find Allah forgiving, merciful. And whoever commits a sin, he only commits it against his own soul. And Allah is knowing wise. And whoever commits a fault or a sin, then accuses of it one innocent, he indeed takes upon himself the burden of a calamity and a manifest sin. And were it not for Allah's grace upon you and his mercy, a party of them had certainly designed to bring you to perdition, and they do not bring aught to perdition, but their own souls, and they shall not harm you in any way. And Allah has revealed to you the book and the wisdom, and he has taught you what you did not know, and Allah's grace on you is very great. There is no good in most of their secret counsels, except in his own enjoins charity, or goodness or reconciliation between people, and whoever does this seeking Allah's pleasure, we will give him a mighty reward. And whoever acts hostilely to the messenger after that guidance has become manifest to him. 
and follows other than the way of the believers, we will turn him to that to which he has himself turned and make him enter hell, and it is an evil resort. Surely Allah does not forgive that anything should be associated with him, and he forgives what is besides this to whom he pleases. And whoever associates anything with Allah, he indeed strays off into a remote error. They do not call besides him on anything but idols, and they do not call on anything but a rebellious shaitan. Allah has cursed him, and he said, most certainly I will take of thy servants an appointed portion, and most certainly I will lead them astray and excite in them vain desires, and bid them so that they shall slit the ears of the cattle, and most certainly I will bid them so that they shall alter Allah's creation, and whoever takes the shaitan for a guardian rather than Allah, he indeed shall suffer a manifest loss. He gives them promises and excites vain desires in them, and the shaitan does not promise them but to deceive. These are they whose abode is hell, and they shall not find any refuge from it. And as for those who believe and do good, we will make them enter into gardens beneath which rivers flow. To abide therein forever, it is a promise of Allah, true indeed, and who is truer of word than Allah. This shall not be in accordance with your vain desires nor in accordance with the vain desires of the followers of the book. Whoever does evil, he shall be requited with it, and besides Allah, he will find for himself neither a guardian nor a helper. And whoever does good deeds, whether male or female, and he or she is a believer, these shall enter the garden, and they shall not be dealt with a jot unjustly. And who has a better religion than he who submits himself entirely to Allah? And he is the doer of good to others and follows the faith of Ibrahim, the upright one, and Allah took Ibrahim as a friend. And whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth is Allah's, and Allah encompasses all things. And they ask you a decision about women. Say, Allah makes known to you his decision concerning them, and that which is recited to you in the book concerning female orphans whom you do not give what is appointed for them, while you desire to marry them, and concerning the weak among children, and that you should deal towards orphans with equity, and whatever good you do, Allah surely knows it. And if a woman fears ill usage or desertion on the part of her husband, there is no blame on them if they effect a reconciliation between them, and reconciliation is better, and avarice has been made to be present in the people's minds. And if you do good to others and guard against evil, then surely Allah is aware of what you do, and you have it not in your power to do justice between wives, even though you may wish it. But be not disclined from one with total disinclination, so that you leave her as it were in suspense. And if you effect a reconciliation and guard against evil, 
then surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. And if they separate, Allah will render them both free from want out of his ampleness. And Allah is ample, giving, wise. And whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth is Allah's. And certainly we enjoin those who were given the book before you, and we enjoin you too, that you should be careful of your duty to Allah. And if you disbelieve, then surely whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth is Allah's, and Allah is self-sufficient, praiseworthy. And whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth is Allah's, and Allah is sufficient as a protector. If he please, he can make you pass away, O people, and bring others, and Allah has the power to do this. Whoever desires the reward of this world, then with Allah is the reward of this world and the hereafter, and Allah is hearing, seeing. O you who believe, be maintainers of justice, bearers of witness of Allah's sake, though it may be against your own selves or your parents or near relatives. If he be rich or poor, Allah is nearer to them both in compassion. Therefore do not follow your low desires, lest you deviate. And if you swerve or turn aside, then surely Allah is aware of what you do. O you who believe, believe in Allah and his messenger and the book which he has revealed to his messenger and the book which he revealed before. And whoever disbelieves in Allah and his angels and his messengers and the last day, he indeed strays off into a remote error. Surely as for those who believe then disbelieve, again believe and again disbelieve, then increase in disbelief, Allah will not forgive them nor guide them in the right path. Announce to the hypocrites that they shall have a painful chastisement. Those who take the unbelievers for guardians rather than believers, do they seek honor from them? Then surely all honor is for Allah. And indeed he has revealed to you in the book that when you hear Allah's communications disbelieved in and mocked at, do not sit with them until they enter into some other discourse. Surely then you would be like them. Surely Allah will gather together the hypocrites and the unbelievers all in hell. Those who wait for some misfortune to befall you, then if you have a victory from Allah, they say, were we not with you? And if there is a chance for the unbelievers, they say, did we not acquire the mastery over you and defend you from the believers? So Allah shall judge between you on the day of resurrection. And Allah will by no means give the unbelievers away against the believers. Surely the hypocrites strive to deceive Allah, and he shall requite their deceit to them. And when they stand up to prayer, they stand up sluggishly. They do it only to be seen of men and do not remember Allah save a little. Wavering between that and this belonging neither to these nor to those, and whosoever Allah causes to err, you shall not find a way for him. O you who believe, 
Do not take the unbelievers for friends rather than the believers. Do you desire that you should give to Allah a manifest proof against yourselves? Surely the hypocrites are in the lowest stage of the fire, and you shall not find a helper for them. Except those who repent and amend and hold fast to Allah and are sincere in their religion to Allah. These are with the believers, and Allah will grant the believers a mighty reward. Why should Allah chastise you if you are grateful and believe? And Allah is the multiplier of rewards, knowing. Allah does not love the public utterance of hurtful speech unless it be by one to whom injustice has been done, and Allah is hearing, knowing. If you do good openly or do it in secret or pardon an evil, then surely Allah is pardoning powerful. Surely those who disbelieve in Allah and his messengers and those who desire to make a distinction between Allah and his messengers and say, we believe in some and disbelieve in others and desire to take a course between this and that. These it is that are truly unbelievers and we have prepared for the unbelievers a disgraceful chastisement. And those who believe in Allah and his messengers and do not make a distinction between any of them, Allah will grant them their rewards, and Allah is forgiving, merciful. The followers of the book ask you to bring down to them a book from heaven. So indeed they demanded of Musa a greater thing than that. For they said, Show us Allah manifestly. So the lightning overtook them on account of their injustice. Then they took the calf for a god, after clear signs had come to them. But we pardoned this, and we gave to Musa clear authority. And we lifted the mountain Sinai over them, at the taking of the covenant, and we said to them, Enter the door making obeisance. And we said to them, Do not exceed the limits of the Sabbath. And we made with them a firm covenant. Therefore, for their breaking their covenant and their disbelief in the communications of Allah and their killing the prophets wrongfully, and their saying, Our hearts are covered. Nay, Allah set a seal upon them owing to their unbelief, so they shall not believe except a few. And for their unbelief and for their having uttered against Maryam a grievous calumny, and their saying, Surely we have killed the Messiah, Isa, son of Maryam, the messenger of Allah. And they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. But it appeared to them so like Isa. And most surely those who differ therein are only in a doubt about it. They have no knowledge respecting it, but only follow a conjecture and they killed him not for sure. Nay, Allah took him up to himself, and Allah is mighty, wise. And there is not one of the followers of the book, but most certainly believes in this before his death. And on the day of resurrection, he, Isa, shall be a witness against them. Wherefore, for the iniquity of those who are Jews, did we disallow to them the good things which had been made lawful for them, and for their hindering many people from Allah's way. 
and their taking usury, though indeed they were forbidden it, and their devouring the property of people falsely. And we have prepared for the unbelievers from among them a painful chastisement. But the firm in knowledge among them and the believers believe in what has been revealed to you and what was revealed before you, and those who keep up prayers, and those who give the poor rate, and the believers in Allah, and the last day, these it is whom we will give a mighty reward. Surely we have revealed to you as we revealed to Nuh and the prophets after him, and we revealed to Ibrahim and Ismail and Ishaq and Yaqub and the tribes and Isa and Ayyub and Yunus and Harun and Suleiman and we gave to the wood psalms and we sent messengers we have mentioned to you before and messengers we have not mentioned to you and to Musa, Allah addressed his word speaking to him. We sent messengers as the givers of good news and as warners, so that people should not have a plea against Allah after the coming of messengers, and Allah is mighty wise. But Allah bears witness by what he has revealed to you that he has revealed it with his knowledge and the angels bear witness also and Allah is sufficient as a witness surely as for those who disbelieve and hinder men from Allah's way they indeed have strayed off into a remote error surely as for those who disbelieve and act unjustly Allah will not forgive them nor guide them to a path except the path of hell to abide in it forever and this is easy to Allah. O people, surely the messenger has come to you with the truth from your Lord. Therefore believe. It shall be good for you and if you disbelieve, then surely whatever is in the heavens and the earth is Allah's and Allah is knowing wise. O followers of the book, do not exceed the limits in your religion and do not speak lies against Allah, but speak the truth. The Messiah Isa, son of Maryam, is only a messenger of Allah and his word which he communicated to Maryam and a spirit from him. Believe therefore in Allah and his messengers, and say not three, desist it is better for you. Allah is only one Allah, far be it from his glory that he should have a son. Whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth is his and Allah is sufficient for a protector. The Messiah does by no means disdain that he should be a servant of Allah, nor do the angels who are near to him, and whoever disdains his service and is proud, he will gather them all together to himself. Then as for those who believe and do good, he will pay them fully their rewards and give them more out of his grace. And as for those who disdain and are proud, he will chastise them with a painful chastisement. And they shall not find for themselves besides Allah a guardian or a helper. O people, surely there has come to you manifest proof from your Lord and we have sent to you clear light. Then as for those who believe in Allah and hold fast by him, he will cause them to enter into his mercy and grace and guide them to himself on a right path. 
They ask you for a decision of the law. Say Allah gives you a decision concerning the person who has neither parents nor offspring. If a man dies and he has no son and he has a sister, she shall have half of what he leaves, and he shall be her heir, she has no son. But if there be two sisters, they shall have two-thirds of what he leaves. And if there are brethren, men and women, then the male shall have the like of the portion of two females. Allah makes clear to you, lest you err, and Allah knows all things. End of Surah 4 Surah 5 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 5, The Table, Al-Ma'idah, revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. O you who believe, fulfill the obligations. The cattle quadrupeds are allowed to you except that which is recited to you, not violating the prohibition against the game when you are entering upon the performance of the pilgrimage. Surely Allah orders what he desires. O you who believe, do not violate the signs appointed by Allah nor the sacred month, nor interfere with the offerings, nor the sacrificial animals with garlands, nor those going to the sacred house seeking the grace and pleasure of their Lord. And when you are free from the obligations of the pilgrimage, then hunt, and let not hatred of a people because they hindered you from the sacred masjid, incite you to exceed the limits, and help one another in goodness and piety, and do not help one another in sin and aggression. And be careful of your duty to Allah. Surely Allah is severe in requiting evil. Forbidden to you is that which dies of itself, and blood, and flesh of swine, and that on which any other name than that of Allah has been invoked, and the strangled animal, and that beaten to death, and that killed by a fool, and that killed by being smitten with the horn and that which wild beasts have eaten, except what you slaughter, and what is sacrificed on stones, set up for idols, and that you divide by the arrows, that is a transgression. This day have those who disbelieve despaired of your religion, so fear them not and fear me. This day have I perfected for you your religion and completed my favor on you and chosen for you Islam as a religion. But whoever is compelled by hunger, not inclining willfully to sin, then surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. They ask you as to what is allowed to them. Say the good things are allowed to you, and what you have taught the beasts and birds of prey, training them to hunt, you teach them of what Allah has taught you. So eat of that which they catch for you, and mention the name of Allah over it, and be careful of your duty to Allah. Surely Allah is swift in reckoning. This day all the good things are allowed to you, and the food of those who have been given the book is lawful for you, and your food is lawful for them, 
and the chest from among the believing women and the chest from among those who have been given the book before you are lawful for you when you have given them their dowries taking them in marriage not fornicating nor taking them for paramours in secret and whoever denies faith his work indeed is of no account and in the hereafter he shall be one of the losers o you who believe when you rise up to prayer wash your faces and your hands as far as the elbows and wipe your heads and your feet to the ankles and if you are under an obligation to perform a total ablution then wash yourselves and if you are sick or on a journey or one of you come from the privy or you have touched the, the women and you cannot find water betake yourselves to pure earth and wipe your faces and your hands therewith allah does not desire to put on you any difficulty but he wishes to purify you and that he may complete his favor on you so that you may be grateful and remember the favor of allah on you and his covenant with which he bound you firmly when you said we have heard and we obey and be careful of your duty to allah surely allah knows what is in the breasts o you who believe be upright for allah bearers of witness with justice and let not hatred of a people incite you not to act equitably act equitably that is nearer to piety and he careful of your duty to allah surely allah is aware of what you do allah has promised to those who believe and do good deeds that they shall have forgiveness and a mighty reward and as for those who disbelieve and reject our communications these are the companions of the name o you who believe remember allah's favor on you when a people had determined to stretch forth their hands towards you but he withheld their hands from you and be careful of your duty to allah and on allah let the believers rely and certainly allah made a covenant with the children of israel and we raised up among them twelve chieftains and allah said surely i am with you if you keep up prayer and pay the poor rate and believe in my messengers and assist them and offer to allah a goodly gift i will most certainly cover your evil deeds and i will most certainly cause you to enter into gardens beneath which rivers float but whoever disbelieves from among you after that he indeed shall lose the right way but on account of their breaking their covenant we cursed them and made their hearts hard they altered the words from their places and they neglected a portion of what they were reminded of and you shall always discover treachery in them excepting a few of them so pardon them and turn away surely allah loves those who do good to others and with those who say we are christians we made a covenant but they neglected a portion of what they were reminded of therefore we excited among them enmity and hatred to the day of resurrection and allah will inform them of what they did
O followers of the book, indeed our messenger has come to you making clear to you much of what you concealed of the book and passing over much indeed. There has come to you light and a clear book from Allah. With it, Allah guides him who will follow his pleasure into the ways of safety and brings them out of utter darkness into light by his will and guides them to the right path. Certainly they disbelieve who say, Surely Allah, he is the Messiah, son of Maryam. Say who then could control anything as against Allah? when he wished to destroy the Messiah son of Maryam and his mother and all those on the earth, and Allah's is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth and what is between them. He creates what he pleases, and Allah has power over all things. And the Jews and the Christians say, We are the sons of Allah, and his beloved ones say why does he then chastise you for your faults nay you are mortals from among those whom he has created he forgives whom he pleases and chastises whom he pleases and allah's is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth and what is between them and to him is the eventual coming. O followers of the book, indeed our messenger has come to you, explaining to you after a cessation of the mission of the messengers, lest you say, There came not to us a giver of good news or a warner. So indeed there has come to you a giver of good news and a warner, and Allah has power over all things. And when Musa said to his people, O my people, remember the favor of Allah upon you, when he raised prophets among you and made you kings and gave you what he had not given to any other among the nations, O my people, enter the holy land which Allah has prescribed for you and turn not on your backs, for then you will turn back losers. They said, O Musa, surely there is a strong grace in it, and we will on no account enter it until they go out from it. So if they go out from it, then surely we will enter. Two men of those who feared, upon both of whom Allah had bestowed a favor, said, Enter upon them by the gate, for when you have entered it, you shall surely be victorious, and on Allah should you rely if you are believers. They said, O Musa, we shall never enter it so long as they are in it. Go therefore you and your Lord, then fight you both, surely we will here sit down. He said, My Lord, surely I have no control upon any but my own self and my brother. Therefore make a separation between us and the nation of transgressors. He said, So it shall surely be forbidden to them for forty years. They shall wander about in the land. Therefore do not grieve for the nation of transgressors. And relate to them the story of the two sons of Adam, with truth when they both offered an offering. But it was accepted from one of them and was not accepted from the other. He said, I will most certainly slay you. The other said, Allah only accepts from those who guard against evil. 
if you will stretch forth your hand towards me to slay me, I am not one to stretch forth my hand towards you to slay you. Surely I fear Allah, the Lord of the worlds. Surely I wish that you should bear the sin committed against me and your own sin, and so you would be of the inmates of the fire, and this is the recompense of the unjust. Then his mind facilitated to him the slaying of his brother, so he slew him. Then he became one of the losers. Then Allah sent a crow digging up the earth so that he might show him how he should cover the dead body of his brother. He said, Woo, me. Do I lack the strength that I should be like this crow and cover the dead body of my brother? So he became of those who regret. For this reason did we prescribe to the children of Israel that whoever slays a soul, unless it be for manslaughter or for mischief in the land, it is as though he slew all men, and whoever keeps it alive, it is as though he kept alive all men, and certainly our messengers came to them with clear arguments. But even after that, many of them certainly act extravagantly in the land. The punishment of those who wage war against Allah and his messengers and strive to make mischief in the land is only this, that they should be murdered or crucified or their hands and their feet should be cut off on opposite sides or they should be imprisoned, this shall be as a disgrace for them in this world and in the hereafter they shall have a grievous chastisement except those who repent before you have them in your power. So know that Allah is forgiving, merciful. O you who believe, be careful of your duty to Allah and seek means of nearness to him and strive hard in his way that you may be successful. Surely as for those who disbelieve, even if they had what is in the earth, all of it and the like of it with it, that they might ransom themselves with it from the punishment of the day of resurrection. It shall not be accepted from them, and they shall have a painful punishment. They would desire to go forth from the fire, and they shall not go forth from it and they shall have a lasting punishment. And as for the man who steals and the woman who steals, cut off their hands as a punishment for what they have earned, an exemplary punishment from Allah, and Allah is mighty, wise. But whoever repents after his iniquity and reforms himself, then surely Allah will turn to him mercifully. Surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. Do you not know that Allah, his is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth? He chastises whom he pleases and forgives whom he pleases. And Allah has power over all things. O messenger, let not those grieve you who strive together in hastening to unbelief from among those who say with their mouth, We believe, and their hearts do not believe. And from among those who are Jews, they are listeners for the sake of a lie, listeners for another people who have not come to you. They alter the words from their places, saying, If you are given this, 
take it. And if you are not given this, be cautious. And as for him whose temptation Allah desires, you cannot control anything for him with Allah. Those are they for whom Allah does not desire that he should purify their hearts. They shall have disgrace in this world and they shall have a grievous chastisement in the hereafter. They are listeners of a lie, devourers of what is forbidden. Therefore, if they come to you, judge between them or turn aside from them. And if you turn aside from them, they shall not harm you in any way. And if you judge, judge between them with equity. Surely Allah loves those who judge equitably. And how do they make you a judge? And they have the Torah, wherein is Allah's judgment. Yet they turn back after that, and these are not the believers. Surely we revealed the Torah in which was guidance and light. With it the prophets who submitted themselves to Allah judged matters for those who were Jews and the masters of divine knowledge and the doctors because they were required to guard part of the book of Allah and they were witnesses thereof. Therefore fear not the people and fear me. And do not take a small price for my communications. And whoever did not judge by what Allah revealed, those are they that are the unbelievers. And we prescribe to them in it that life is for life, and eye for eye, and nose for nose, and ear for ear, and tooth for tooth, and that there is reprisal in wounds but he who forgoes it it shall be an expiation for him and whoever did not judge by what allah revealed those are they that are the unjust and we sent after them in their footsteps isa son of maryam verifying what was before him of the torah and we gave him the Injil in which was guidance and light, and verifying what was before it of Torah, and a guidance and an admonition for those who guard against evil. And the followers of the Injil should have judged by what Allah revealed in it. And whoever did not judge by what Allah revealed, those are they that are the transgressors. And we have revealed to you the book with the truth, verifying what is before it of the book, and a guardian over it. Therefore judge between them by what Allah has revealed, and do not follow their low desires to turn away from the truth that has come to you, for every one of you did we appoint a law and a way, and if Allah had pleased, he would have made you all a single people, but that he might try you in what he gave you. Therefore strive with one another to hasten to virtuous deeds. To Allah is your return of all of you, so he will let you know that in which you differed, and that you should judge between them by what Allah has revealed, and do not follow their low desires, and be cautious of them, lest they seduce you from part of what Allah has revealed to you. But if they turn back, then know that Allah desires to afflict them, on account of some of their faults, and most surely many of the people are transgressors. Is it then the judgment of the times of ignorance that they desire? And who is better than Allah to judge 
for a people who are sure. O you who believe, do not take the Jews and the Christians for friends. They are friends of each other, and whoever among us you takes them for a friend, then surely he is one of them. Surely Allah does not guide the unjust people, but you will see those in whose hearts is a disease hastening towards them, saying, We fear lest a calamity should befall us, but it may be that Allah will bring the victory or a punishment from himself, so that they shall be regretting on account of what they hid in their souls. And those who believe will say, Are these they who swore by Allah with the most forcible of their oath that they were most truly with you? Their deeds shall go for nothing, so they shall become losers. O you who believe, whoever from among you turns back from his religion, then Allah will bring a people, he shall love them and they shall love him, lowly before the believers, mighty against the unbelievers, they shall strive hard in Allah's way and shall not fear the censure of any censurer. This is Allah's face. He gives it to whom he pleases, and Allah is ample, giving knowing. Only Allah is your valley and his messenger, and those who believe, those who keep up prayers and pay the poor rate while they bow. And whoever takes Allah and his messenger, and those who believe for a guardian, then surely the party of Allah are they that shall be triumphant. O you who believe, do not take for guardians those who take your religion for a mockery and a joke from among those who were given the book before you and the unbelievers, and be careful of your duty to Allah if you are believers. And when you call to prayer, they make it a mockery and a joke. This is because they are a people who do not understand. Say, O followers of the book, do you find fault with us for aught except that we believe in Allah and in what has been revealed to us and what was revealed before and that most of you are transgressors? Say, shall I inform you of him who is worse than this in retribution from Allah? Worse is he whom Allah has cursed and brought his wrath upon, and of whom he made apes and swine, and he who served the shaitan. These are worse in place and more erring from the straight path. And when they come to you, they say, We believe, and indeed they come in with unbelief, and indeed they go forth with it. And Allah knows best what they concealed. And you will see many of them striving with one another to hasten in sin and exceeding the limits and their eating of what is unlawfully acquired. Certainly evil is that which they do. Why do not the learned men and the doctors of law prohibit them from their speaking of what is sinful and their eating of what is unlawfully acquired? Certainly evil is that which they work. And the Jews say, the hand of Allah is tied up. Their hands shall be shackled and they shall be cursed for what they say. Nay, both his hands are spread out. He expands as he pleases. And what has been revealed to you from your Lord will certainly make many of them 
increase in inordinacy and unbelief and we have put enmity and hatred among them till the day of resurrection whenever they kindle a fire for war allah puts it out and they strive to make mischief in the land and allah does not love the mischief makers and if the followers of the book had believed and guarded against evil we would certainly have covered their evil deeds and we would certainly have made them enter gardens of bliss and if they had kept up the torah and the injil and that which was revealed to them from their lord they would certainly have eaten from above them and from beneath their feet there is a party of them keeping to the moderate course and as for most of them evil is that which they do o messenger deliver what has been revealed to you from your lord and if you do it not then you have not delivered his message and allah will protect you from the people surely allah will not guide the unbelieving people say o followers of the book you follow no good till you keep up the torah and the angel and that which is revealed to you from your lord and surely that which has been revealed to you from your lord shall make many of them increase in inordinacy and unbelief grieve not therefore for the unbelieving people surely those who believe and those who are jews and the sabians and the christians whoever believes in allah and the last day and does good they shall have no fear nor shall they grieve certainly we made a covenant with the children of israel and we sent to them messengers whenever there came to them a messenger with what that their souls did not desire some of them did they call liars and some they slew and they thought that there would be no affliction so they became blind and deaf then allah turned to them mercifully but many of them became blind and deaf and allah is well seeing what they do certainly they disbelieve who say surely allah he is the messiah son of maryam and the messiah said o children of israel serve allah my lord and your lord surely whoever associates others with allah then allah has forbidden to him the garden and his abode is the fire and there shall be no helpers for the unjust certainly they disbelieve who say surely allah is the third person of the three and there is no god but the one allah and if they desist not from what they say a painful chastisement shall befall those among them who disbelieve will they not then turn to allah and ask his forgiveness and allah is forgiving merciful the messiah son of maryam is but a messenger messengers before him have indeed passed away and his mother was a truthful woman they both used to eat food see how we make the communications clear to them then behold how they are turned away say do you serve besides allah that which does not control for you any harm or any profit and allah he is the hearing the knowing say o followers of the book be not unduly immoderate in your religion and do not follow the low desires of people who went astray before and led many astray and went astray from the right path 
those who disbelieved from among the children of Israel were cursed by the tongue of the wood and Isa, son of Maryam. This was because they disobeyed and used to exceed the limit. They used not to forbid each other the hateful things which they did. Certainly evil was that which they did. You will see many of them befriending those who disbelieve. Certainly evil is that which their souls have sent before for them that Allah became displeased with them and in chastisement shall they abide. And had they believed in Allah and the Prophet and what was revealed to him, they would not have taken them for friends, but most of them are transgressors. Certainly you will find the most violent of people in enmity for those who believe to be the Jews and those who are polytheists and you will certainly find the nearest in friendship to those who believe to be those who say we are Christians. This is because there are priests and monks among them and because they do not behave proudly. And when they hear what has been revealed to the messenger, you will see their eyes overflowing with tears on account of the truth that they recognize. They say, Our Lord, we believe, so write us down with the witnesses of truth. And what reason have we that we should not believe in Allah and in the truth that has come to us while we earnestly desire that our Lord should cause us to enter with the good people. Therefore Allah rewarded them on account of what they said, with gardens in which rivers flow to abide in them, and this is the reward of those who do good to others. And as for those who disbelieve and reject our communications, these are the companions of the flame. O you who believe, do not forbid yourselves the good things which Allah has made lawful for you, and do not exceed the limits. Surely Allah does not love those who exceed the limits. And eat of the lawful and good things that Allah has given you, and be careful of your duty to Allah, in whom you believe. Allah does not call you to account for what is vain in your oath, but he calls you to account for the making of deliberate oath. So its expiation is the feeding of ten poor men, out of the middling food you feed your families with, or their clothing, or the freeing of a neck. But whosoever cannot find means than fasting for three days. This is the expiation of your oath when you swear. And guard your oath, thus does Allah make clear to you his communications, that you may be faithful. O oh, you who believe intoxicants and games of chance and sacrificing to stones set up and dividing by arrows are only an uncleanness, the shaitan's work, shun it therefore that you may be successful. The shaitan only desires to cause enmity and hatred to spring in your midst by means of intoxicants and games of chance and to keep you off from the remembrance of Allah and from prayer. Will you then desist and obey Allah and obey the messenger and be cautious? But if you turn back, then know that only a clear deliverance of the message is incumbent on our messenger. On those who believe and do good, there is no blame for what they eat. 
when they are careful of their duty and believe and do good deeds then they are careful of their duty and believe then they are careful of their duty and do good to others and allah loves those who do good to others O oh, you who believe, Allah will certainly try you in respect of some game which your hands and your lances can reach, that Allah might know who fears him in secret. But whoever exceeds the limit after this, he shall have a painful punishment. O oh, you who believe, do not kill game while you are on pilgrimage. And whoever among you shall kill it intentionally, the compensation of it is the like of what he killed from the cattle, as two just persons among you shall judge, as an offering to be brought to the Kaaba or the expiation of it, is the feeding of the poor or the equivalent of it in fasting that he may taste the unwholesome result of his deed. Allah has pardoned what is gone by, and whoever returns to it, Allah will inflict retribution on him. And Allah is mighty, Lord of retribution. Lawful to you is the game of the sea and its food, a provision for you and for the travelers. And the game of the land is forbidden to you so long as you are on pilgrimage. And be careful of your duty to Allah, to whom you shall be gathered. Allah has made the Kaaba the sacred house, a maintenance for the people, and the sacred month, and the offerings, and the sacrificial animals with garlands. This is that you may know that Allah knows whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth, and that Allah is the knower of all things. Know that Allah is severe in requiting evil and that Allah is forgiving, merciful. Nothing is incumbent on the messenger but to deliver the message, and Allah knows what you do openly and what you hide. Say the bad and the good are not equal, though the abundance of the bad may please you. So be careful of your duty to Allah. O men of understanding, that you may be successful. O you who believe, do not put questions about things which, if declared to you, may trouble you. And if you question about them when the Quran is being revealed, they shall be declared to you. Allah pardons this, and Allah is forgiving, forbearing. A people before you indeed asked such questions, and then became disbelievers on account of them. Allah has not ordained the making of a bahira or a sa'iba or a wasila or a hami but those who disbelieve fabricate a lie against Allah and most of them do not understand and when it is said to them come to what Allah has revealed and to the messenger they say that on which we found our fathers is sufficient for us what even though their fathers knew nothing and did not follow the right way? O oh, you who believe, take care of your souls. He who errs cannot hurt you when you are on the right way. To Allah is your return of all of you, so he will inform you of what you did. O oh, you who believe, call to witness between you when death draws nigh to one of you, at the time of making the will, two just persons from among you or two others from among others than you 
If you are traveling in the land and the calamity of death befalls you, the two witnesses you should detain after the prayer, then if you doubt them, they shall both swear by Allah, saying, We will not take for it a price. Though there be a relative, and we will not hide the testimony of Allah, for then certainly we should be among the sinners. Then if it becomes known that they both have been guilty of a sin, two others shall stand up in their place from among those who have a claim against them. The two nearest in kin, so they too should swear by Allah, certainly our testimony is truer than the testimony of those two, and we have not exceeded the limit, for then most surely we should be of the unjust. This is more proper in order that they should give testimony truly or fear that other oath be given after their oath. And be careful of your duty to Allah, and hear, and Allah does not guide the transgressing people. On the day when Allah will assemble the messengers, then say, What answer were you given? They shall say, We have no knowledge. Surely thou art the great knower of the unseen things. When Allah will say, O Isa, son of Maryam, remember my favor on you and on your mother. When I strengthened you, I with the Holy Spirit. You spoke to the people in the cradle, and I, when of old age, and when I taught you the book and the wisdom and the Torah and the Engil, and when you determined out of clay, a thing like the form of a bird by my permission. Then you breathed into it, and it became a bird by my permission. And you healed the blind and the leprous by my permission. And when you brought forth the dead by my permission, and when I withheld the children of Israel from you when you came to them, with clear arguments, but those who disbelieved among them said, This is nothing but clear enchantment. And when I revealed to the disciples, saying, Believe in me and my messenger, they said, We believe and bear witness that we submit ourselves. When the disciples said, O Isa, son of Maryam, Will your Lord consent to send down to us food from heaven? He said, Be careful of your duty to Allah if you are believers. They said, We desire that we should eat of it and that our hearts should be at rest and that we may know that you have indeed spoken the truth to us and that we may be of the witnesses to it. Isa, the son of Maryam, said, O Allah, our Lord, send down to us food from heaven, which should be to us an ever-recurring happiness, to the first of us and to the last of us, and a sign from thee, and grant us means of subsistence, and thou art the best of the providers. Allah said, Surely I will send it down to you, but whoever shall disbelieve afterwards from among you, surely I will chastise him with a chastisement with which I will not chastise anyone among the nations. And when Allah will say, O Isa, son of Maryam, did you say to men, Take me and my mother for two gods besides Allah? He will say, Glory be to thee. It did not befit me that I should say what I had no right to say. If I had said it, thou wouldst indeed have known it. 
Thou knowest what is in my mind, and I do not know what is in thy mind. Surely thou art the great knower of the unseen things. I did not say to them aught, save what thou didst enjoin me with, that serve Allah, my Lord and your Lord. And I was a witness of them so long as I was among them. But when thou didst cause me to die, thou wert the watcher over them. And thou art witness of all things. If thou shouldest chastise them, then surely they are thy servants. And if thou shouldest forgive them, then surely thou art the mighty, the wise. Allah will say, This is the day when their truth shall benefit the truthful ones. They shall have gardens beneath which rivers flow to abide in them forever. Allah is well pleased with them and they are well pleased with Allah. This is the mighty achievement. Allah's is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth and what is in them and he has power over all things. End of Surah 5 Surah 6 of the Holy Quran translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 6, Cattle, Al-An'am, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. All praise is due to Allah, who created the heavens and the earth and made the darkness and the light, yet those who disbelieve set up equals with their Lord. He it is who created you from clay, then he decreed a term, and there is a term named with him, still you doubt. And he is Allah in the heavens and in the earth. He knows your secret thoughts and your open words, and he knows what you earn. And there does not come to them any communication of the communications of their Lord, but they turn aside from it. So they have indeed rejected the truth when it came to them. Therefore the truth of what they mocked at will shine upon them. Do they not consider how many a generation we have destroyed before them, whom we had established in the earth, as we have not established you, and we sent the clouds pouring grain on them in abundance, and we made the rivers to flow beneath them. Then we destroyed them on account of their faults, and raised up after them another generation. And if we had sent to you a writing on a paper, then they had touched it with their hands, certainly those who disbelieve would have said, this is nothing but clear enchantment. And they say, why has not an angel been sent down to him? And had we sent down an angel, the matter would have certainly been decided, and then they would not have been respited. And if we had made him angel, we would certainly have made him a man, and we would certainly have made confused to them what they make confused. And certainly messengers before you were mocked at, but that which they mocked at encompassed the scuffers among them. Say travel in the land, then see what was the end of the rejecters. Say to whom belongs what is in the heavens and the earth. Say to Allah, he has ordained mercy on himself. Most certainly he will gather you on the resurrection day. 
There is no doubt about it. As for those who have lost their souls, they will not believe. And to him belongs whatever dwells in the night and the day, and he is the hearing, the knowing. Say, shall I take a guardian besides Allah, the originator of the heavens and the earth, and he feeds others and is not himself fed? Say, I am commanded to be the first who submits himself, and you should not be of the polytheists. Say, surely I fear. If I disobey my Lord, the chastisement of a grievous day, he from whom it is averted on that day, Allah indeed has shown mercy to him, and this is a manifest achievement. And if Allah touch you with affliction, there is none to take it off but he. And if he visits you with good, then he has power over all things. And he is the supreme above his servants, and he is the wise, the aware. Say, what thing is the weightiest in testimony? Say, Allah is witness between you and me. And this Quran has been revealed to me that with it I may warn you. And whomsoever it reaches, do you really bear witness that there are other gods with Allah? Say, I do not bear witness. Say, he is only one Allah. And surely I am clear of that which you set up with him. Those whom we have given the book recognize him as they recognize their sons. As for those who have lost their souls, they will not believe. And who is more unjust than he who forges a lie against Allah, or he who gives the lie to his communications? Surely the unjust will not be successful. And on the day when we shall gather them all together, then shall we say to those who associated others with Allah, Where are your associates whom you asserted? Then their excuse would be nothing but that they would say, By Allah, our Lord, we were not polytheists. See how they lie against their own souls, and that which they forged has passed away from them. And of them is he who hearkens to you, and we have cast veils over their hearts, lest they understand it, and a heaviness into their ears, and even if they see every sign, they will not believe in it, so much so that when they come to you, they only dispute with you. Those who disbelieve say, This is not but the stories of the ancients, and they prohibit others from it and go far away from it, and they only bring destruction upon their own souls, while they do not perceive. And could you see when they are made to stand before the fire, then they shall say, Would that we were sent back, and we would not reject the communications of our Lord, and we would be of the believers. Nay, what they concealed before shall become manifest to them, and if they were sent back, they would certainly go back to that which they are forbidden, and most surely they are liars. And they say, there is nothing but our life of this world, and we shall not be raised. And could you see when they are made to stand before their Lord, he will say, is not this the truth? They will say, yea, by our Lord, he will say, Taste then the chastisement because you disbelieved. They are losers indeed who reject the meeting of Allah. Until when the hour comes upon them, all of a sudden they shall say, O oh, our grief for our neglecting it.
and they shall bear their burdens on their backs now surely evil is that which they bear and this world's life is not but a play and an idle sport and certainly the abode of the hereafter is better for those who guard against evil do you not then understand we know indeed that what they say certainly grieves you but surely they do not call you a liar but the unjust deny the communications of allah and certainly messengers before you were rejected but they were patient on being rejected and persecuted until our help came to them and there is none to change the words of allah and certainly there has come to you some information about the messengers and if their turning away is hard on you then if you can seek an opening to go down into the earth or a ladder to ascend up to heaven so that you should bring them a sign and if allah had pleased he would certainly have gathered them all on guidance therefore be not of the ignorant only those accept who listen and as to the dead allah will raise them then to him they shall be returned and they say why has not a sign been sent down to him from his lord say surely allah is able to send down a sign but most of them do not know and there is no animal that walks upon the earth nor a bird that flies with its two wings but they are genera like yourselves we have not neglected anything in the book then to their lord shall they be gathered and they who reject our communications are deaf and dumb in utter darkness whom allah pleases he causes to err and whom he pleases he puts on the right way say tell me if the chastisement of allah should overtake you or the hour should come upon you will you call on others besides allah if you are truthful nay him you call upon so he clears away that for which you pray if he pleases and you forget what you set up with him and certainly we sent messengers to nations before you then we seized them with distress and affliction in order that they might humble themselves yet why did they not when our punishment came to them humble themselves but their hearts hardened and the shaitan made what they did fair seeming to them but when they neglected that with which they had been admonished we opened for them the doors of all things until when they rejoiced in what they were given we seized them suddenly then lo they were in utter despair so the roots of the people who were unjust were cut off and all praise is due to allah the lord of the words say have you considered that if allah takes away your hearing and your sight and sets a seal on your hearts who is the god besides allah that can bring it to you see how we repeat the communications yet they turn away say have you considered if the chastisement of allah should overtake you suddenly or openly will any be destroyed but the unjust people and we send not messengers but as announcers of good news and givers of warning then whoever believes and acts aright they shall have no fear nor shall they grieve and as for those who reject our communications chastisement shall afflict them because they transgressed say i do not say to you i have with me the treasures of allah 
nor do I know the unseen, nor do I say to you that I am an angel. I do not follow out, save that which is revealed to me. Say, are the blind and the seeing one alike? Do you not then reflect, and warn with it those who fear that they shall be gathered to their Lord? There is no guardian for them, nor any intercessor besides him, that they may guard against evil. And do not drive away those who call upon their Lord in the morning and the evening. They desire only his favor. Neither are you answerable for any reckoning of theirs nor are they answerable for any reckoning of yours so that you should drive them away and thus be of the unjust and thus do we try some of them by others so that they say are these they upon whom allah has conferred benefit from among us does not allah best know the grateful and when those who believe in our communications come to you say peace be on you your lord has ordained mercy on himself so that if any one of you does evil in ignorance then turns after that and acts aright then he is forgiving merciful and thus do we make distinct the communications and so that the way of the guilty may become clear say i am forbidden to serve those whom you call upon besides allah say i do not follow your low desires for then indeed i should have gone astray and i should not be of those who go aright say surely i have manifest proof from my lord and you call it a lie i have not with me that which you would hasten the judgment is only allah's he relates the truth and he is the best of deciders say if that which you desire to hasten were with me the matter would have certainly been decided between you and me and allah best knows the unjust and with him are the keys of the unseen treasures none knows them but he and he knows what is in the land and the sea and there falls not a leaf but he knows it nor a grain in the darkness of the earth nor anything green nor dry but it is all in a clear book and he it is who takes your souls at night in sleep and he knows what you acquire in the day then he raises you up therein that an appointed term may be fulfilled then to him is your return then he will inform you of what you were doing and he is the supreme above his servants and he sends keepers over you until when death comes to one of you our messengers cause him to die and they are not remiss then are they sent back to allah their master the true one now surely his is the judgment and he is swiftest in taking account say who is it that delivers you from the dangers of the land and the sea when you call upon him openly humiliating yourselves and in secret if he delivers us from this we should certainly be of the grateful ones say allah delivers you from them and from every distress but again you set up others with him say he has the power that he should send on you a chastisement from above you or from beneath your feet or that he should throw you into confusion making you of different parties and make some of you taste the fighting of others see how we repeat the communications 
that they may understand and your people call it a lie and it is the very truth say i am not placed in charge of you for every prophecy is a term and you will come to know it and when you see those who enter into false discourses about our communications withdraw from them until they enter into some other discourse and if the shaitan causes you to forget then do not sit after recollection with the unjust people and note of the reckoning of their deeds shall be against those who guard against evil but theirs is only to remind haply they may guard and leave those who have taken their religion for a play and an idle sport and whom this world's life has deceived and remind them thereby lest a soul should be given up to destruction for what it has earned it shall not have besides allah any guardian nor an intercessor and if it should seek to give every compensation it shall not be accepted from it these are they who shall be given up to destruction for what they earned they shall have a drink of boiling water and a painful chastisement because they disbelieved say shall we call on that besides allah which does not benefit us nor harm us and shall we be returned back on our heels after allah has guided us like him whom the shaitans have made to fall down perplexed in the earth he has companions who call him to the right way saying come to us say surely the guidance of allah that is the true guidance and we are commanded that we should submit to the lord of the worlds and that you should keep up prayer and be careful of your duty to him and he it is to whom you shall be gathered and he it is who has created the heavens and the earth with truth and on the day he says be it is his word is the truth and his is the kingdom on the day when the trumpet shall be blown the knower of the unseen and the seen and he is the wise the aware and when ibrahim said to his sire azer do you take idols for gods surely i see you and your people in manifest error and thus did we show ibrahim the kingdom of the heavens and the earth and that he might be of those who are sure so when the night overshadowed him he saw a star said he is this my lord so when it set he said i do not love the setting ones then when he saw the moon rising he said is this my lord so when it set he said if my lord had not guided me i should certainly be of the erring people then when he saw the sun rising he said is this my lord is this the greatest so when it set he said o my people surely i am clear of what you set up with allah surely i have turned myself being upright holy to him who originated the heavens and the earth and i am not of the polytheists and his people disputed with him he said do you dispute with me respecting allah and he has guided me indeed and i do not fear in any way those that you set up with him unless my lord pleases 
my lord comprehends all things in his knowledge will you not then mind and how should i fear what you have set up with him while you do not fear that you have set up with allah that for which he has not sent down to you any authority which then of the two parties is surer of security if you know those who believe and do not mix up their faith with iniquity those are they who shall have the security and they are those who go aright and this was our argument which we gave to ibrahim against his people we exult in dignity whom we please surely your lord is wise knowing and we give to him ishaq and jacob each did we guide and nuh did we guide before and of his descendants dawood and sulaiman and ayyub and yusuf and musa and harun and thus do we reward those who do good to others and zachariah and yahya and isa and elias every one was of the good and ismail and elyasa and yunus and lut and every one we made to excel in the worlds and from among their fathers and their descendants and their brethren and we chose them and guided them into the right way this is allah's guidance he guides thereby whom he pleases of his servants and if they had set up others with him certainly what they did would have become ineffectual for them these are they to whom we gave the book and the wisdom and the prophecy therefore if these disbelieve in it we have already entrusted with it a people who are not disbelievers in it these are they whom allah guided therefore follow their guidance say i do not ask you for any reward for it it is nothing but a reminder to the nations and they do not assign to allah the attributes due to him when they say allah has not revealed anything to a mortal say who revealed the book which musa brought a light and a guidance to men which you make into scattered writings which you show while you conceal much and you were taught what you did not know neither you nor your fathers say allah then leave them sporting in their vain discourses and this is a book we have revealed blessed verifying that which is before it and that you may warn the metropolis and those around her and those who believe in the hereafter believe in it and they attend to their prayers constantly and who is more unjust than he who forges a lie against allah or says it has been revealed to me while nothing has been revealed to him and he who says i can reveal the like of what allah has revealed and if you had seen when the unjust shall be in the agonies of death and the angels shall spread forth their hands give up your souls today shall you be recompensed with an ignominious chastisement because you spoke against allah other than the truth and because you showed pride against his communications and certainly you have come to us alone as we created you at first and you have left behind your backs the things which we gave you and we do not see with you your intercessors about whom you asserted that they were allah's associates in respect to you certainly the ties between you are now cut off 
and what you asserted is gone from you. Surely Allah causes the grain and the stone to germinate. He brings forth the living from the dead, and he is the bringer forth of the dead from the living. That is Allah. How are you then turned away? He causes the dawn to break, and he has made the night for rest, and the sun and the moon for reckoning. This is an arrangement of the mighty, the knowing. And he it is who has made the stars for you that you might follow the right way. Thereby in the darkness of the land and the sea, truly we have made plain the communications for a people who know. And he it is who has brought you into being from a single soul. Then there is for you a resting place and a depository. Indeed, we have made plain the communications for a people who understand. And he it is who sends down water from the cloud. Then we bring forth with it buds of all plants. Then we bring forth from it green foliage from which we produce grain piled up in the ear and of the palm tree of the sheath of it come forth clusters of dates within reach and gardens of grapes and olives and pomegranates alike and unlike. Behold the fruit of it when it yields the fruit and the ripening of it. Most surely there are signs in this for a people who believe, and they make the jinn associates with Allah while he created them, and they falsely attribute to him sons and daughters without knowledge. Glory be to him, and highly exalted is he above what they ascribe to him wonderful originator of the heavens and the earth how could he have a son when he has no consort and he himself created everything and he is the knower of all things that is allah your lord there is no god but he the creator of all things therefore serve him and he has charge of all things vision comprehends him not and he comprehends all vision and he is the knower of subtleties the aware indeed there have come to you clear proofs from your lord whoever will therefore see it is for his own soul and whoever will be blind it shall be against himself and i am not a keeper over you and thus do we repeat the communications and that they may say you have read and that we may make it clear to a people who know follow what is revealed to you from your lord there is no god but he and withdraw from the polytheists and if allah had pleased they would not have set up others with him and we have not appointed you a keeper over them, and you are not placed in charge of them, and do not abuse those whom they call upon besides Allah, lest exceeding the limits. They should abuse Allah out of ignorance. Thus have we made fair seeming to every people their deeds. Then to their Lord shall be their return, so he will inform them of what they did and they swear by allah with the strongest of their oath that if a sign came to them they would most certainly believe in it say signs are only with allah and what should make you know that when it comes they will not believe and we will turn their hearts and their sights even as they did not believe in it the first time and we will leave them in their inordinacy blindly wandering on 
and even if we had sent down to them the angels and the dead had spoken to them, and we had brought together all things before them, they would not believe unless Allah pleases, but most of them are ignorant. And thus did we make for every prophet an enemy, the shaitans from among men and jinn, some of them suggesting to others varnished falsehood to deceive them. And had your Lord pleased, they would not have done it. Therefore leave them and that which they forge, and that the hearts of those who do not believe in the hereafter may incline to it, and that they may be well pleased with it, and that they may earn what they are going to earn of evil. Shall I then seek a judge other than Allah? And he it is who has revealed to you the book, which is made plain, and those whom we have given the book know that it is revealed by your Lord with truth. Therefore you should not be of the disputers. And the word of your Lord has been accomplished truly and justly. There is none who can change his words, and he is the hearing, the knowing. And if you obey most of those in the earth, they will lead you astray from Allah's way. They follow but conjectures, and they only lie. Surely your Lord, he best knows who goes astray from his way, and he best knows those who follow the right course. Therefore eat of that on which Allah's name has been mentioned if you are believers in his communications. And what reason have you that you should not eat of that on which Allah's name has been mentioned? And he has already made plain to you what he has forbidden to you, accepting what you are compelled to and most surely many would lead people astray by their low desires out of ignorance. Surely your Lord, he best knows those who exceed the limits and abandon open and secret sin. Surely they who earn sin shall be recompensed with what they earned. And do not eat of that on which Allah's name has not been mentioned, and that is most surely a transgression. And most surely the shaitans suggest to their friends that they should contend with you, and if you obey them, you shall most surely be polytheists. Is he who was dead, then we raised him to life and made for him a light by which he walks among the people, like him whose likeness is that of one in utter darkness, whence he cannot come forth. Thus what they did was made fair, seeming to the unbelievers. And thus have we made in every town the great ones to be its guilty ones, that they may plan therein, and they do not plan but against their own souls, and they do not perceive. And when a communication comes to them, they say, we will not believe till we are given the like of what Allah's messengers are given. Allah best knows where he places his message, there shall befall those who are guilty humiliation from Allah and severe chastisement because of what they planned. Therefore, for whomsoever Allah intends that he would guide him aright, he expands his breast for Islam, and for whomsoever he intends that he should cause him to err, he makes his breast straight and narrow as though he were ascending upwards. Thus does Allah lay uncleanness on those who do not believe, 
and this is the path of your Lord, a right path. Indeed, we have made the communications clear for a people who mind. They shall have the abode of peace with their Lord, and he is their guardian because of what they did. And on the day when he shall gather them all together, O assembly of Jinn, you took away a great part of mankind, and their friends from among the men shall say, Our Lord, some of us profited by others, and we have reached our appointed term, which thou didst appoint for us. He shall say, The fire is your abode, to abide in it, except as Allah is pleased. Surely your Lord is wise knowing. And thus do we make some of the iniquitous to befriend others on account of what they earned. O assembly of jinn and men, did there not come to you messengers from among you, relating to you my communications and warning you of the meeting of this day of yours? They shall say, we bear witness against ourselves, and this world's life deceived them, and they shall bear witness against their own souls that they were unbelievers. This is because your Lord would not destroy towns unjustly while their people were negligent, and all have degrees according to what they do, and your Lord is not heedless of what they do, and your Lord is the self-sufficient one, the Lord of mercy, if he pleases. He may take you off and make whom he pleases successors after you, even as he raised you up from the seed of another people. Surely what you are threatened with must come to pass, and you cannot escape it. Say, O oh my people, act according to your ability. I too am acting, so you will soon come to know for whom of us will be the good end of the abode. Surely the unjust shall not be successful. And they set apart a portion for Allah out of what he has created of tilth and cattle, and say, this is for Allah. So they assert, and this for our associates. Then what is for their associates, it reaches not to Allah. And whatever is set apart for Allah, it reaches to their associates. Evil is that which they judge. And thus their associates have made fair seeming to most of the polytheists the killing of their children, that they may cause them to perish and obscure for them their religion. And if Allah had pleased, they would not have done it. Therefore leave them and that which they forge. And they say, these are cattle and tilth prohibited. None shall eat them except such as we please. So they assert, and cattle whose backs are forbidden, and cattle on which they would not mention Allah's name, forging a lie against him. He shall requite them for what they forged. And they say, what is in the wombs of these cattle is especially for our males and forbidden to our wives, and if it be stillborn, then they are all partners in it. He will reward them for their attributing falsehood to Allah. Surely he is wise, knowing. They are lost indeed who kill their children foolishly, without knowledge, and forbid what Allah has given to them, forging a lie against Allah. They have indeed gone astray, and they are not the followers of the right course. And he it is who produces gardens of vine, 
trellised and untrellised, and palms and seed produce of which the fruits are of various sorts, and olives and pomegranates like and unlike, eat of its fruit when it bears fruit and pay the due of it on the day of its reaping, and do not act extravagantly, surely he does not love the extravagant. And of cattle he created beasts of burden, and those which are fit for slaughter only. Eat of what Allah has given you, and do not follow the footsteps of the shaitan, surely he is your open enemy. Eight in pairs, two of sheep and two of goats, say, Has he forbidden the two males or the two females or that which the wombs of the two females contain? Inform me with knowledge if you are truthful. And two of camels and two of cows, say, Has he forbidden the two males or the two females or that which the wombs of the two females contain, or were you witnesses when Allah enjoined you this? Who then is more unjust than he who forges a lie against Allah, that he should lead astray men without knowledge? Surely Allah does not guide the unjust people. Say, I do not find in that which has been revealed to me anything forbidden for an eater to eat of except that it be what has died of itself, or blood poured forth, or flesh of swine, for that surely is unclean, or that which is a transgression other than the name of Allah, having been invoked on it. But whoever is driven to necessity, not desiring nor exceeding the limit, then surely your Lord is forgiving, merciful. And to those who were Jews, we made unlawful every animal having clothes, and of oxen and sheep, we made unlawful to them the fat of both except such as was on their backs or the entrails or what was mixed with bones this was a punishment we gave them on account of their rebellion and we are surely truthful but if they give you the lie then say your lord is the lord of all encompassing mercy and his punishment cannot be averted from the guilty people. Those who are polytheists will say, if Allah had pleased, we would not have associated oath with him, nor our fathers, nor would we have forbidden to ourselves anything. Even so did those before them reject until they tasted our punishment say have you any knowledge with you so you should bring it forth to us you only follow a conjecture and you only tell lies say then allah's is the conclusive argument so if he please he would certainly guide you all say bring your witnesses who should bear witness that allah has forbidden this then if they bear witness do not bear witness with them and follow not the low desires of those who reject our communications and of those who do not believe in the hereafter and they make others equal to their lord say come i will recite what your lord has forbidden to you Remember that you do not associate anything with him, and show kindness to your parents, and do not slay your children for fear of poverty. We provide for you and for them, and do not draw nigh to indecencies, those of them which are apparent and those which are concealed, and do not kill the soul which Allah has forbidden, 
except for the requirements of justice. This he has enjoined you with that you may understand and do not approach the property of the orphan except in the best manner until he attains his maturity and give full measure and weight with justice. We do not impose on any soul a duty except to the extent of its ability. And when you speak, then be just, though it be against a relative, and fulfill Allah's covenant, this he has enjoined you, with that you may be mindful. And know that this is my path, the right one, therefore follow it, and follow not other ways, for they will lead you away from his way. This he has enjoined you, with that you may guard against evil. Again we gave the book to Musa to complete our blessings on him who would do good to others, and making plain all things and a guidance and a mercy, so that they should believe in the meeting of their Lord. And this is a book we have revealed, blessed, therefore follow it and guard against evil, that mercy may be shown to you, lest you say that the book was only revealed to two parties before us and we were truly unaware of what they read, or lest you should say if the book had been revealed to us, we would certainly have been better guided than they. So indeed there has come to you clear proof from your Lord and guidance and mercy. Who then is more unjust than he who rejects Allah's communications and turns away from them? We will reward those who turn away from our communications with an evil chastisement because they turned away. They do not wait aught but that the angels should come to them, or that your Lord should come, or that some of the signs of your Lord should come. On the day when some of the signs of your Lord shall come, its faith shall not profit a soul which did not believe before or earn good through its faith. Say, wait, we too are waiting. Surely they who divided their religion into parts and became sects, you have no concern with them. Their affair is only with Allah. Then he will inform them of what they did. Whoever brings a good deed, he shall have ten like it. And whoever brings an evil deed, he shall be recompensed only with the like of it. And they shall not be dealt with unjustly. Say, surely as for me, my Lord has guided me to the right path, to a most right religion, the faith of Ibrahim, the upright one, and he was not of the polytheists. See, surely my prayer and my sacrifice and my life and my death are all for Allah, the Lord of the worlds. No associate has he, and this am I commanded, and I am the first of those who submit. See, what? Shall I seek a Lord other than Allah? And he is the Lord of all things, and no soul earns evil but against itself, and no bearer of burden shall bear the burden of another. Then to your Lord is your return, so he will inform you of that in which you differed. And he it is who has made you successors in the land and raised some of you above others by various grades, that he might try you by what he has given you. Surely your Lord is quick to requite evil, and he is most surely the forgiving, the merciful. End of Surah 6 
Surah 7 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shakir. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 7, The Heights, Al-Araf, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Alif, Lam, Mim, Saad, a book revealed to you so let there be no straightness in your breast on account of it that you may warn thereby and a reminder close to the believers follow what has been revealed to you from your lord and do not follow guardians besides him how little do you mind and how many a town that we destroyed so our punishment came to it by night or while they slept at midday yet their cry when our punishment came to them was nothing but that they said surely we were unjust most certainly then we will question those to whom the messengers were sent and most certainly we will also question the messengers then most certainly we will relate to them with knowledge and we were not absent and the measuring out on that day will be just then as for him whose measure of good deeds is heavy those are they who shall be successful and as for him whose measure of good deeds is light those are they who have made their souls suffer loss because they disbelieved in our communications and certainly we have established you in the earth and made in it means of livelihood for you little it is that you give thanks and certainly we created you then we fashioned you then we said to the angels prostrate to adam so they did prostrate except iblis he was not of those who prostrated he said what hindered you so that you did not prostrate when i commanded you he said i am better than he thou hast created me of fire while him thou didst create of dust he said then get forth from this state for it does not befit you to behave proudly therein go forth therefore surely you are of the abject ones he said respite me until the day when they are raised up he said surely you are of the respited ones he said as thou hast caused me to remain disappointed i will certainly lie in wait for them in thy straight path then i will certainly come to them from before them and from behind them and from the right hand side and from their left hand side and thou shalt not find most of them thankful he said get out of this state despised driven away whoever of them will follow you i will certainly fill hell with you all and we said o adam dwell you and your wife in the garden so eat from where you desire but do not go near this tree for then you will be of the unjust but the shaitan made an evil suggestion to them that he might make manifest to them what had been hidden from them of their evil inclinations and he said your lord has not forbidden you this tree except that you may not both become two angels or that you may not become of the immortals and he swore to them both most surely i am a sincere adviser to you then he caused them to fall by deceit so when they tasted of the tree their evil inclinations became manifest to them and they both began to cover themselves with the leaves of the garden and their lord called out to them did i not forbid you both from that tree and say to you that the shaitan is your open enemy they said our lord we have been unjust to ourselves 
and if thou forgive us not and have not mercy on us we shall certainly be of the losers he said get forth some of you the enemies of others and there is for you in the earth an abode and a provision for a time he also said therein shall you live and therein shall you die and from it shall you be raised o children of adam we have indeed sent down to you clothing to cover your shame and clothing for beauty and clothing that guards against evil that is the best this is of the communications of allah that they may be mindful o children of adam let not the shaitan cause you to fall into affliction as he expelled your parents from the garden pulling off from them both their clothing that he might show them their evil inclinations he surely sees you he as well as his host from whence you cannot see them surely we have made the shaitans to be the guardians of those who do not believe and when they commit an indecency they say we found our fathers doing this and allah has enjoined it on us say surely allah does not enjoin indecency do you say against allah what you do not know say my lord has enjoined justice and set upright your faces at every time of prayer and call on him being sincere to him in obedience as he brought you forth in the beginning so shall you also return a part has he guided aright and as for another part error is justly their due surely they took the shaitans for guardians beside allah and they think that they are followers of the right way o children of adam attend to your embellishments at every time of prayer and eat and drink and be not extravagant surely he does not love the extravagant say who has prohibited the embellishment of allah which he has brought forth for his servants and the good provisions say these are for the believers in the life of this world purely theirs on the resurrection day thus do we make the communications clear for a people who know say my lord has only prohibited indecencies those of them that are apparent as well as those that are concealed and sin and rebellion without justice and that you associate with allah that for which he has not sent down any authority and that you say against allah what you do not know and for every nation there is a doom so when their doom is come they shall not remain behind the least while nor shall they go before o children of adam if there come to you messengers from among you relating to you my communications then whoever shall guard against evil and act aright they shall have no fear nor shall they grieve and as for those who reject our communications and turn away from them haughtily these are the inmates of the fire they shall abide in it who is then more unjust than he who forges a lie against allah or rejects his communications as for those their portion of the book shall reach them until when our messengers come to them causing them to die they shall say where is that which you used to call upon besides allah they would say they are gone away from us and they shall bear witness against themselves that they were unbelievers he will say enter into fire among the nations that have passed away before you from among jinn and men whenever a nation shall enter it shall curse its sister until when they have all come up with one another into it 
the last of them shall say with regard to the foremost of them our lord these led us astray therefore give them a double chastisement of the fire he will say every one shall have double but you do not know and the foremost of them will say to the last of them so you have no preference over us therefore taste the chastisement for what you earned surely as for those who reject our communications and turn away from them haughtily the doors of heaven shall not be opened for them nor shall they enter the garden until the camel pass through the eye of the needle and thus do we reward the guilty they shall have a bed of hell fire and from above them coverings of it and thus do we reward the unjust and as for those who believe and do good we do not impose on any soul a duty except to the extent of its ability they are the dwellers of the garden in it they shall abide and we will remove whatever of ill feeling is in their breasts the rivers shall flow beneath them and they shall say all praise is due to allah who guided us to this and we would not have found the way had it not been that allah had guided us certainly the messengers of our lord brought the truth and it shall be cried out to them that this is the garden of which you are made heirs for what you did and the dwellers of the garden will call out to the inmates of the fire surely we have found what our lord promised us to be true have you too found what your lord promised to be true they will say yes then a crier will cry out among them that the curse of allah is on the unjust who hinder people from allah's way and seek to make it crooked and they are disbelievers in the hereafter and between the two there shall be a veil and on the most elevated places there shall be men who know all by their marks and they shall call out to the dwellers of the garden peace be on you they shall not have yet entered it though they hope and when their eyes shall be turned towards the inmates of the fire they shall say our lord place us not with the unjust people and the dwellers of the most elevated places shall call out to men whom they will recognize by their marks saying of no avail were to you your amassings and your behaving haughtily are these they about whom you swore that allah will not bestow mercy on them enter the garden you shall have no fear nor shall you grieve and the inmates of the fire shall call out to the dwellers of the garden saying pour on us some water or of that which allah has given you they shall say surely allah has prohibited them both to the unbelievers who take their religion for an idle sport and a play and this life's world deceives them so today we forsake them as they neglected the meeting of this day of theirs and as they denied our communications and certainly we have brought them a book which we have made clear with knowledge a guidance and a mercy for a people who believe do they wait for aught but its final sequel on the day when its final sequel comes about those who neglected it before will say indeed the messengers of our lord brought the truth are there for us then any intercessors so that they should intercede on our behalf or could we be sent back so that we should do deeds other than those which we did indeed they have lost their souls and that which they forged has gone away from them surely your lord is allah who created the heavens and the earth in six periods of time and he is firm in power he throws the veil of night over the day 
which it pursues incessantly and he created the sun and the moon and the stars made subservient by his command surely his is the creation and the command blessed is allah the lord of the worlds call on your lord humbly and secretly surely he does not love those who exceed the limits and do not make mischief in the earth after its reformation and call on him fearing and hoping surely the mercy of allah is nigh to those who do good to others and he it is who sends forth the winds bearing good news before his mercy until when they bring up a laden cloud we drive it to a dead land then we send down water on it then bring forth with it of fruits of all kinds thus shall we bring forth the dead that you may be mindful and as for the good land its vegetation springs forth abundantly by the permission of its lord and as for that which is inferior its herbage comes forth but scantily thus do we repeat the communications for a people who give thanks certainly we sent noah to his people so he said o my people serve allah you have no god other than him surely i fear for you the chastisement of a grievous day the chiefs of his people said most surely we see you in clear error he said o my people there is no error in me but i am a messenger from the lord of the worlds i deliver to you the messages of my lord and i offer you good advice and i know from allah what you do not know what do you wonder that a reminder has come to you from your lord through a man from among you that he might warn you and that you might guard against evil and so that mercy may be shown to you but they called him a liar so we delivered him and those with him in the ark and we drowned those who rejected our communications surely they were a blind people and to add we sent their brother hood he said o my people serve allah you have no god other than him will you not then guard against evil the chiefs of those who disbelieved from among his people said most surely we see you in folly and most surely we think you to be of the liars he said o my people there is no folly in me but i am a messenger of the lord of the worlds i deliver to you the messages of my lord and i am a faithful adviser to you what do you wonder that a reminder has come to you from your lord through a man from among you that he might warn you and remember when he made you successors after nuh's people and increased you in excellence in respect of make therefore remember the benefits of allah that you may be successful they said have you come to us that we may serve allah alone and give up what our fathers used to serve then bring to us what you threatened us with if you are of the truthful ones he said indeed uncleanness and wrath from your lord have lighted upon you what do you dispute with me about names which you and your fathers have given allah has not sent any authority for them wait then i too with you will be of those who wait so we delivered him and those with him by mercy from us and we cut off the last of those who rejected our communications and were not believers and to samud we sent their brother salih he said o my people serve allah you have no god other than him clear proof indeed has come to you from your lord this is as allah's she camel for you a sign therefore leave her alone to pasture on allah's earth and do not touch her with any harm otherwise painful chastisement will overtake you 
and remember when he made you successors after ad and settled you in the land you make mansions on its plains and hew out houses in the mountains remember therefore allah's benefits and do not act corruptly in the land making mischief the chief of those who behaved proudly among his people said to those who were considered weak to those who believed from among them do you know that saleh is sent by his lord they said surely we are believers in what he has been sent with those who were haughty said surely we are deniers of what you believe in so they slew the she camel and revolted against their lord's commandment and they said o saleh bring us what you threatened us with if you are one of the messengers then the earthquake overtook them so they became motionless bodies in their abode then he turned away from them and said o my people i did certainly deliver to you the message of my lord and i gave you good advice but you do not love those who give good advice and we sent lut when he said to his people what do you commit an indecency which any one in the world has not done before you most surely you come to males in lust besides females nay you are an extravagant people and the answer of his people was no other than that they said turn them out of your town surely they are a people who seek to purify themselves so we delivered him and his followers except his wife she was of those who remained behind and we reigned upon them a reign consider then what was the end of the guilty and to madian we sent their brother shuaib he said o my people serve allah you have no god other than him clear proof indeed has come to you from your lord therefore give full measure and wait and do not diminish to men their things and do not make mischief in the land after its reform this is better for you if you are believers and do not lie in wait in every path threatening and turning away from allah's way him who believes in him and seeking to make it crooked and remember when you were few then he multiplied you and consider what was the end of the mischief makers and if there is a party of you who believe in that with which i am sent and another party who do not believe then wait patiently until allah judges between us and he is the best of the judges the chiefs those who were proud from among his people said we will most certainly turn you out o shuaib and also those who believe with you from our town or you shall come back to our faith he said what though we dislike it indeed we shall have forged a lie against allah if we go back to your religion after allah has delivered us from it and it befits us not that we should go back to it except if allah our lord please our lord comprehends all things in his knowledge in allah do we trust our lord decide between us and our people with truth and thou art the best of deciders and the chiefs of those who disbelieved from among his people said if you follow shuaib you shall then most surely be losers then the earthquake overtook them so they became motionless bodies in their abode those who called shuaib a liar were as though they had never dwelt therein those who called shuaib a liar they were the losers so he turned away from them and said o my people certainly i delivered to you the messages of my lord and i gave you good advice how shall i then be sorry for an unbelieving people and we did not send a prophet in a town but we overtook its people 
with distress and affliction in order that they might humble themselves then we gave them good in the place of evil until they became many and said distress and happiness did indeed befall our fathers then we took them by surprise while they did not perceive and if the people of the towns had believed and guarded against evil we would certainly have opened up for them blessings from the heaven and the earth but they rejected so we overtook them for what they had earned what do the people of the towns then feel secure from our punishment coming to them by night while they sleep what do the people of the towns feel secure from our punishment coming to them in the morning while they play what do they then feel secure from allah's plan but none feel secure from allah's plan except the people who shall perish is it not clear to those who inherit the earth after its former residence that if we please we would afflict them on account of their faults and set a seal on their hearts so they would not hear these towns we relate to you some of their stories and certainly their messengers came to them with clear arguments but they would not believe in what they rejected at first thus does allah set a seal over the hearts of the unbelievers and we did not find in most of them any faithfulness to covenant and we found most of them to be certainly transgressors then we raised after them musa with our communications to pharaoh and his chiefs but they disbelieved in them consider then what was the end of the mischief makers and musa said o pharaoh surely i am a messenger from the lord of the worlds i am worthy of not saying anything about allah except the truth i have come to you indeed with clear proof from your lord therefore send with me the children of israel he said if you have come with a sign then bring it if you are of the truthful ones so he threw his rod then lo it was a clear serpent and he drew forth his hand and lo it was white to the beholders the chiefs of pharaoh's people said most surely this is an enchanter possessed of knowledge he intends to turn you out of your land what counsel do you then give they said put him off and his brother and send collectors into the cities that they may bring to you every enchanter possessed of knowledge and the enchanters came to pharaoh and said we must surely have a reward if we are the prevailing ones he said yes and you shall certainly be of those who are near to me they said o musa will you cast or shall we be the first to cast he said cast so when they cast they deceived the people's eyes and frightened them and they produced a mighty enchantment and we revealed to musa saying cast your rod then lo it devoured the lies they told so the truth was established and what they did became null thus they were vanquished there and they went back abased and the enchanters were thrown down prostrating themselves they said we believe in the lord of the worlds the lord of musa and harun pharaoh said do you believe in him before i have given you permission surely this is a plot which you have secretly devised in this city that you may turn out of it its people but you shall know i will certainly cut off your hands and your feet on opposite sides then will i crucify you all together they said surely to our lord shall we go back and you do not take revenge on us 
except because we have believed in the communications of our Lord when they came to us. Our Lord pour out upon us patience and cause us to die in submission. And the chiefs of Pharaoh's people said, Do you leave Musa and his people to make mischief in the land and to forsake you and your gods? He said, We will slay their sons and spare their women, and surely we are masters over them. Musa said to his people, ask help from allah and be patient surely the land is allah's he causes such of his servants to inherit it as he pleases and the end is for those who guard against evil they said we have been persecuted before you came to us and since you have come to us he said it may be that your lord will destroy your enemy and make you rulers in the land then he will see how you act and certainly we overtook fern's people with droughts and diminution of fruits that they may be mindful but when good befell them they said this is due to us and when evil afflicted them they attributed it to the ill luck of musa and those with him surely their evil fortune is only from allah but most of them do not know and they said whatever sign you may bring to us to charm us with it we will not believe in you therefore we sent upon them widespread death and the locust and the lice and the frog and the blood clear signs but they behaved haughtily and they were a guilty people and when the plague fell upon them they said o musa pray for us to your lord as he has promised with you if you remove the plague from us we will certainly believe in you and we will certainly send away with you the children of israel but when we remove the plague from them till a term which they should attain lo they broke the promise therefore we inflicted retribution on them and drowned them in the sea because they rejected our signs and were heedless of them and we made the people who were deemed weak to inherit the eastern lands and the western ones which we had blessed and the good word of your lord was fulfilled in the children of israel because they bore up sufferings patiently and we utterly destroyed what fern and his people had wrought and what they built and we made the children of israel to pass the sea then they came upon a people who kept to the worship of their idols they said o musa make for us a god as they have their gods he said surely you are a people acting ignorantly as to these surely that about which they are shall be brought to note and that which they do is vain he said what shall i seek for you a god other than allah while he has made you excel all created things and when we delivered you from fern's people who subjected you to severe torment killing your sons and sparing your women and in this there was a great trial from your lord and we appointed with musa a time of thirty nights and completed them with ten more so the appointed time of his lord was complete forty nights and musa said to his brother harun take my place among my people and act well and do not follow the way of the mischief makers and when musa came at our appointed time and his lord spoke to him he said my lord show me thyself so that i may look upon thee he said you cannot bear to see me but look at the mountain if it remains firm in its place then will you see me 
but when his lord manifested his glory to the mountain he made it crumble and musa fell down in a swoon then when he recovered he said glory be to thee i turn to thee and i am the first of the believers he said o musa surely i have chosen you above the people with my messages and with my words therefore take hold of what i give to you and be of the grateful ones and we ordained for him in the tablets admonition of every kind and clear explanation of all things so take hold of them with firmness and enjoin your people to take hold of what is best thereof i will show you the abode of the transgressors i will turn away from my communications those who are unjustly proud in the earth and if they see every sign they will not believe in it and if they see the way of rectitude they do not take it for a way and if they see the way of error they take it for a way this is because they rejected our communications and were heedless of them and as to those who reject our communications and the meeting of the hereafter their deeds are null shall they be rewarded except for what they have done and musa's people made of their ornaments a calf after him a mere body which gave a moving sound what could they not see that it did not speak to them nor guide them in the way they took it for worship and they were unjust and when they repented and saw that they had gone astray they said if our lord show not mercy to us and forgive us we shall certainly be of the losers and when musa returned to his people wrathful and in violent grief he said evil is it that you have done after me did you turn away from the bidding of your lord and he threw down the tablets and seized his brother by the head dragging him towards him he said son of my mother surely the people reckoned me weak and had well nigh slain me therefore make not the enemies to rejoice over me and count me not among the unjust people he said my lord forgive me and my brother and cause us to enter into thy mercy and thou art the most merciful of the merciful ones as for those who took the call for a god surely wrath from the lord and disgrace in this world's life shall overtake them and thus do we recompense the devisers of lies and as to those who do evil deeds then repent after that and believe your lord after that is most surely forgiving merciful and when musa's anger calmed down he took up the tablets and in the writing thereof was guidance and mercy for those who fear for the sake of their lord and musa chose out of his people seventy men for our appointment so when the earthquake overtook them he said my lord if thou hadst pleased thou hadst destroyed them before and myself too wilt thou destroy us for what the fools among us have done it is naught but thy trial thou makest err with it whom thou pleasest and guidest whom thou pleasest thou art our guardian therefore forgive us and have mercy on us and thou art the best of the forgivers and ordain for us good in this world's life and in the hereafter for surely we turn to thee he said as for my chastisement i will afflict with it whom i please and my mercy encompasses all things so i will ordain it specially 
for those who guard against evil and pay the poor rate and those who believe in our communications those who follow the messenger prophet the ummi whom they find written down with them in the Torah and the Ingil, who enjoins them good and forbids them evil and makes lawful to them the good things and makes unlawful to them impure things and removes from them their burden and the shackles which were upon them so as for those who believe in him and honor him and help him and follow the light which has been sent down with him these it is that are the successful say o people surely i am the messenger of allah to you all of him whose is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth there is no god but he he brings to life and causes to die therefore believe in allah and his messenger the ummi prophet who believes in allah and his words and follow him so that you may walk in the right way and of musa's people was a party who guided people with the truth and thereby did they do justice and we divided them into twelve tribes as nations and we revealed to musa when his people asked him for water strike the rock with your staff so out flowed from it twelve springs each tribe knew its drinking place and we made the clouds to give shade over them and we sent to them men and quails eat of the good things we have given you and they did not do us any harm but they did injustice to their own souls and when it was said to them reside in this town and eat from it wherever you wish and say put down from us our heavy burdens and enter the gate making obeisance we will forgive you your wrongs we will give more to those who do good to others but those who were unjust among them changed it for a saying other than that which had been spoken to them so we sent upon them a pestilence from heaven because they were unjust and asked them about the town which stood by the sea when they exceeded the limits of the sabbath when their fish came to them on the day of their sabbath appearing on the surface of the water and on the day on which they did not keep the sabbath they did not come to them thus did we try them because they transgressed and when a party of them said why do you admonish a with a severe chastisement they said to be free from blame before your lord and that haply they may guard against evil so when they neglected what they had been reminded of we delivered those who forbade evil and we overtook those who were unjust with an evil chastisement because they transgressed therefore when they revoltingly persisted in what they had been forbidden we said to them be as apes despised and hated and when your lord announced that he would certainly send against them to the day of resurrection those who would subject them to severe torment most surely your lord is quick to requite evil and most surely he is forgiving merciful and we cut them up on the earth in two parties some of them being righteous and others of them falling short of that and we tried them with blessings and misfortunes that they might turn then there came after them an evil posterity who inherited the book taking only the frail good of this low life and saying it will be forgiven us and if the like good came to them they would take it too was not a promise taken from them in the book that they would not speak anything about allah but the truth 
and they have read what is in it and the abode of the hereafter is better for those who guard against evil do you not then understand and as for those who hold fast by the book and keep up prayer surely we do not waste the reward of the right doers and when we shook the mountain over them as if it were a covering overhead and they thought that it was going to fall down upon them take hold of what we have given you with firmness and be mindful of what is in it so that you may guard against evil and when your lord brought forth from the children of adam from their backs their descendants and made them bear witness against their own souls am i not your lord they said yes we bear witness lest you should say on the day of resurrection surely we were heedless of this or you should say only our fathers associated others with allah before and we were an offspring after them wilt thou then destroy us for what the vain doers did and thus do we make clear the communications and that haply they might return and recite to them the narrative of him to whom we give our communications but he withdraws himself from them so the shaitan overtakes him so he is of those who go astray and if we had pleased we would certainly have exalted him thereby but he clung to the earth and followed his low desire so his parable is as the parable of the dog if you attack him he lolls out his tongue and if you leave him alone he lolls out his tongue this is the parable of the people who reject our communications therefore relate the narrative that they may reflect evil is the likeness of the people who reject our communications and are unjust to their own souls whomsoever allah guides he is the one who follows the right way and whomsoever he causes to err these are the losers and certainly we have created for hell many of the jinn and the men they have hearts with which they do not understand and they have eyes with which they do not see and they have ears with which they do not hear they are as cattle nay they are in worse errors these are the heedless ones and allah's are the best names therefore call on him thereby and leave alone those who violate the sanctity of his names they shall be recompensed for what they did and of those whom we have created are a people who guide with the truth and thereby they do justice and as to those who reject our communications we drew them near to destruction by degrees from whence they know not and i grant them respite surely my scheme is effective do they not reflect that their companion has not unsoundness in mind he is only a plain warner do they not consider the kingdom of the heavens and the earth and whatever things allah has created and that may be their doom shall have drawn nigh what announcement would they then believe in after this whomsoever allah causes to err there is no guide for him and he leaves them alone in their inordinacy blindly wandering on they ask you about the hour when will be its taking place say the knowledge of it is only with my lord none but he shall manifest it at its time it will be momentous in the heavens and the earth it will not come on you but of a sudden they ask you as if you were solicitous about it say its knowledge is only with allah 
but most people do not know say i do not control any benefit or harm for my own soul except as allah please and had i known the unseen i would have had much of good and no evil would have touched me i am nothing but a warner and the giver of good news to a people who believe he it is who created you from a single being and of the same kind did he make his mate that he might incline to her so when he covers her she bears a light burden then moves about with it but when it grows heavy they both call upon allah their lord if thou givest us a good one we shall certainly be of the grateful ones but when he gives them a good one they set up with him associates in what he has given them but high is allah above what they associate with him what they associate with him that which does not create anything while they are themselves created and they have no power to give them help nor can they help themselves and if you invite them to guidance they will not follow you it is the same to you whether you invite them or you are silent surely those whom you call on besides allah are in a state of subjugation like yourselves therefore call on them then let them answer you if you are truthful have they feet with which they walk or have they hands with which they hold or have they eyes with which they see or have they ears with which they hear say call your associates then make a struggle to prevail against me and give me no respite surely my guardian is allah who revealed the book and he befriends the good and those whom you call upon besides him are not able to help you nor can they help themselves and if you invite them to guidance they do not hear and you see them looking towards you yet they do not see take to forgiveness and enjoin good and turn aside from the ignorant and if a false imputation from the shaitan afflict you seek refuge in allah surely he is hearing knowing surely those who guard against evil when a visitation from the shaitan afflicts them they become mindful then lo they see and their brethren increase them in error then they cease not and when you bring them not a revelation they say why do you not forge it say i only follow what is revealed to me from my lord these are clear proofs from your lord and a guidance and a mercy for a people who believe and when the quran is recited then listen to it and remain silent that mercy may be shown to you and remember your lord within yourself humbly and fearing and in a voice not loud in the morning and the evening and be not of the heedless ones surely those who are with your lord are not too proud to serve him and they declare his glory and prostrate in humility before him end of surah seven Surah 8 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 8, Spoils of War, Al Anfal, revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah, the Most Beneficent, the Most Merciful, they ask you about the windfalls say the windfalls are for allah and the messenger 
So be careful of your duty to Allah and set aright matters of your difference and obey Allah and his messenger if you are believers. Those only are believers whose hearts become full of fear when Allah is mentioned and when his communications are recited to them they increase them in faith and in their lord do they trust those who keep a prayer and spend benevolently out of what we have given them these are the believers in truth they shall have from their lord exalted grades and forgiveness and an honorable sustenance even as your Lord caused you to go forth from your house with the truth, though a party of the believers were surely averse. They disputed with you about the truth after it had become clear, and they went forth as if they were being driven to death while they saw it. And when Allah promised you, one of the two parties that it shall be yours and you loved that the one not armed should be yours and allah desired to manifest the truth of what was true by his words and to cut off the root of the unbelievers that he may manifest the truth of what was true and show the falsehood of what was false though the guilty disliked when you sought aid from your lord so he answered you i will assist you with a thousand of the angels following one another and allah only gave it as a good news and that your hearts might be at ease thereby and victory is only from allah surely allah is mighty wise when he caused calm to fall on you as a security from him and sent down upon you water from the cloud that he might thereby purify you and take away from you the uncleanness of the shaitan and that he might fortify your hearts and steady your footsteps thereby when your lord revealed to the angels i am with you therefore make firm those who believe i will cast terror into the hearts of those who disbelieve therefore strike off their heads and strike off every finger tip of them this is because they acted adversely to allah and his messenger and whoever acts adversely to Allah and his messenger, then surely Allah is severe in requiting evil. This taste it, and know that for the unbelievers is the chastisement of fire. O you who believe, when you meet those who disbelieve marching for war, then turn not your backs to them and whoever shall turn his back to them on that day unless he turn aside for the sake of fighting or withdraws to a company then he indeed becomes deserving of allah's wrath and his abode is hell and an evil destination shall it be so you did not slay them but it was allah who slew them and you did not smite when you smote the enemy but it was allah who smote and that he might confer upon the believers a good gift from himself surely allah is hearing knowing this and that allah is the weakener of the struggle of the unbelievers if you demanded a judgment the judgment has then indeed come to you and if you desist it will be better for you and if you turn back to fight we too shall turn back and your forces shall avail you nothing 
though they may be many and know that allah is with the believers o you who believe obey allah and his messenger and do not turn back from him while you hear and be not like those who said we hear and they did not obey surely the vilest of animals in allah's sight are the deaf the dumb who do not understand and if allah had known any good in them he would have made them hear and if he makes them hear they would turn back while they withdraw o you who believe answer the call of allah and his messenger when he calls you to that which gives you life and know that allah intervenes between man and his heart and that to him you shall be gathered and fear an affliction which may not smite those of you in particular who are unjust and know that allah is severe in requiting evil and remember when you were few deemed weak in the land fearing lest people might carry you off by force but he sheltered you and strengthened you with his aid and gave you of the good things that you may give thanks o you who believe be not unfaithful to allah and the messenger nor be unfaithful to your trusts while you know and know that your property and your children are a temptation and that allah is he with whom there is a mighty reward o you who believe if you are careful of your duty to allah he will grant you a distinction and do away with your evils and forgive you and allah is the lord of mighty grace and when those who disbelieved devised plans against you that they might confine you or slay you or drive you away and they devised plans and allah too had arranged a plan and allah is the best of planners and when our communications are recited to them they say we have heard indeed if we pleased we could say the like of it this is nothing but the stories of the ancients and when they said o allah if this is the truth from thee then rain upon us stones from heaven or inflict on us a painful punishment but allah was not going to chastise them while you were among them nor is allah going to chastise them while yet they ask for forgiveness and what excuse have they that allah should not chastise them while they hinder men from the sacred mosque and they are not fit to be guardians of it its guardians are only those who guard against evil but most of them do not know and their prayer before the house is nothing but whistling and clapping of hands taste then the chastisement for you disbelieved surely those who disbelieve spend their wealth to hinder people from the way of allah so they shall spend it then it shall be to them an intense regret then they shall be overcome and those who disbelieve shall be driven together to hell that allah might separate the impure from the good and put the impure some of it upon the other and pile it up together then cast it into hell these it is that are the losers say to those who disbelieve if they desist that which is past shall be forgiven to them and if they return then what happened to the ancients has already passed and fight with them until there is no more 
persecution and religion should be only for allah but if they desist then surely allah sees what they do and if they turn back then know that allah is your patron most excellent is the patron and most excellent the helper and know that whatever thing you gain a fifth of it is for allah and for the messenger and for the near of kin and the orphans and the needy and the wayfarer if you believe in allah and in that which we revealed to our servant on the day of distinction the day on which the two parties met and allah has power over all things when you were on the nearer side of the valley and they were on the farthest side while the caravan was in a lower place than you and if you had mutually made an appointment you would certainly have broken away from the appointment but in order that allah might bring about a matter which was to be done that he who would perish might perish by clear proof and he who would live might live by clear proof and most surely allah is hearing knowing when allah showed them to you in your dream as few and if he had shown them to you as many you would certainly have become weak-hearted and you would have disputed about the matter but allah saved you surely he is the knower of what is in the breasts and when he showed them to you when you met as few in your eyes and he made you to appear little in their eyes in order that allah might bring about a matter which was to be done and to allah are all affairs returned o you who believe when you meet a party then be firm and remember allah much that you may be successful and obey allah and his messenger and do not quarrel for then you will be weak in hearts and your power will depart and be patient surely allah is with the patient and be not like those who came forth from their homes in great exultation and to be seen of men and who turn away from the way of allah and allah comprehends what they do and when the shaitan made their works fair seeming to them and said no one can overcome you this day and surely i am your protector but when the two parties came in sight of each other he turned upon his heels and said surely i am clear of you surely i see what you do not see surely i fear allah and allah is severe in requiting evil when the hypocrites and those in whose hearts was disease said their religion has deceived them and whoever trusts in allah then surely allah is mighty wise and had you seen when the angels will cause to die those who disbelieve smiting their faces and their backs and saying taste the punishment of burning this is for what your own hands have sent on before and because allah is not in the least unjust to the servants in the manner of the people of pharaoh and those before them they disbelieved in allah's communications therefore allah destroyed them on account of their faults surely allah is strong severe in requiting evil this is because allah has never changed a favor which he had conferred upon a people until they change their own condition and because allah is hearing knowing in the manner of the people of pharaoh 
and those before them, they rejected the communications of their Lord. Therefore, we destroyed them on account of their faults, and we drowned Pharaoh's people, and they were all unjust. Surely the vilest of animals in Allah's sight are those who disbelieve, then they would not believe. Those with whom you make an agreement, then they break their agreement every time, and they do not guard against punishment. Therefore, if you overtake them in fighting, then scatter by making an example of them, those who are in their rear, that they may be mindful. And if you fear treachery on the part of a people, then throw back to them on terms of equality. Surely Allah does not love the treacherous. And let not those who disbelieve think that they shall come in first. Surely they will not escape. And prepare against them what force you can and horses tied at the frontier to frighten thereby the enemy of Allah and your enemy and others besides them, whom you do not know but Allah knows them. And whatever thing you will spend in Allah's way, it will be paid back to you fully and you shall not be dealt with unjustly. And if they incline to peace, then incline to it, and trust in Allah. Surely he is the hearing, the knowing. And if they intend to deceive you, then surely Allah is sufficient for you. He it is who strengthened you with his help and with the believers and united their hearts had you spent all that is in the earth you could not have united their hearts but allah united them surely he is mighty wise o prophet allah is sufficient for you and for such of the believers as follow you o prophet urge the believers to war if there are twenty patient ones of you, they shall overcome two hundred. And if there are a hundred of you, they shall overcome a thousand. Of those who disbelieve, because they are a people who do not understand. For the present, Allah has made light your burden, and he knows that there is weakness in you. So if there are a hundred patient ones of you, they shall overcome two hundred. And if there are a thousand, they shall overcome two thousand by Allah's permission. And Allah is with the patient. It is not fit for a prophet that he should take captives unless he has fought and triumphed in the land. You desire the frail goods of this world while Allah desires for you the hereafter, and Allah is mighty wise. Were it not for an ordinance from Allah that had already gone forth, surely there would have befallen you a great chastisement for what you had taken too. Eat then of the lawful and good things which you have acquired in war, and be careful of your duty to Allah. Surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. O Prophet, say to those of the captives who are in your hands, If Allah knows anything good in your hearts, He will give to you better than that which has been taken away from you, and will forgive you. And Allah is forgiving, merciful. And if they intend to act unfaithfully towards you, so indeed they acted unfaithfully towards Allah before, but he gave you mastery over them, and Allah is knowing wise. Surely those who believed and fled their homes and struggled hard in Allah's way with their property and their souls, and those who gave shelter and helped, these are guardians of each other, 
And as for those who believed and did not fly, not yours is their guardianship until they fly. And if they seek aid from you in the matter of religion, it is incumbent on you except against a people between whom and you there is a treaty, and Allah sees what you do. And as for those who disbelieve, some of them are the guardians of others. If you will not do it, there will be in the land persecution and great mischief. And as for those who believed and fled and struggled hard in Allah's way, and those who gave shelter and helped, these are the believers truly. They shall have forgiveness and honorable provision. And as for those who believed afterwards and fled and struggled hard along with you, they are of you, and the possessors of relationships are nearer to each other in the ordinance of Allah. Surely Allah knows all things. End of Surah 8《9 of the Holy Quran translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker This LibriVox recording is in the public domain Sura 9 Repentance at Tauba revealed at Medina This is a declaration of immunity by Allah and his messenger towards those of the idolaters with whom you made an agreement. So go about in the land for four months and know that you cannot weaken Allah and that Allah will bring disgrace to the unbelievers. And an announcement from Allah and his messenger to the people on the day of the greater pilgrimage that Allah and his messenger are free from liability to the idolaters. Therefore, if you repent, it will be better for you. And if you turn back, then know that you will not weaken Allah and announce painful punishment to those who disbelieve, except those of the idolaters with whom you made an agreement then they have not failed you in anything and have not backed up anyone against you so fulfill their agreement to the end of their term surely allah loves those who are careful of their duty so when the sacred month have passed away then slay the idolaters wherever you find them and take them captives and besiege them and lie in wait for them in every ambush then if they repent and keep up prayer and pay the poor rate leave their way free to them surely allah is forgiving merciful and if one of the idolaters seek protection from you grant him protection till he hears the word of Allah, then make him attain his place of safety. This is because they are a people who do not know. How can there be an agreement for the idolaters with Allah and with his messenger, except those with whom you made an agreement at the sacred mosque? So as long as they are true to you, be true to them. Surely Allah loves those who are careful of their duty. How can it be, while if they prevail against you, they would not pay regard in your case to ties of relationship, nor those of covenant they please you? with their mouth while their hearts do not consent and most of them are transgressors they have taken a small price for the communications of allah so they turn away from his way 
Surely evil is it that they do. They do not pay regard to ties of relationship, nor those of covenant in the case of a believer, and these are they who go beyond the limits. But if they repent and keep up prayer and pay the poor rate, they are your brethren in faith, and we make the communications clear for a people who know. And if they break their oath after their agreement and openly revile your religion, then fight the leaders of unbelief. Surely their oath are nothing, so that they may desist. What? Will you not fight the people who broke their oath and aimed at the expulsion of the messenger, and they attacked you first? Do you fear them? But Allah is most deserving that you should fear him, if you are believers. Fight them. Allah will punish them by your hands and bring them to disgrace and assist you against them and heal the hearts of a believing people and remove the rage of their hearts and Allah turns mercifully to whom he pleases and Allah is knowing wise. What? Do you think that you will be left alone while Allah has not yet known those of you who have struggled hard and have not taken anyone as an adherent besides Allah and his messenger and the believers, and Allah is aware of what you do. The idolaters have no right to visit the mosques of Allah while bearing witness to unbelief against themselves. These it is whose doings are null, and in the fire shall they abide. Only he shall visit the mosques of Allah who believes in Allah, and the latter day, and keeps up prayer, and pays the poor rate, and fears none but Allah. So as for these, it may be that they are of the followers of the right course. What? Do you make one who undertakes the giving of drink to the pilgrims and the guarding of the sacred mosque like him who believes in Allah and the latter day and strives hard in Allah's way? They are not equal with Allah, and Allah does not guide the unjust people. Those who believed and fled their homes and strove hard in Allah's way with their property and their souls, are much higher in rank with Allah, and those are they who are the achievers of their objects. Their Lord gives them good news of mercy from himself, and his good pleasure and gardens wherein lasting blessings shall be theirs abiding therein forever. Surely Allah has a mighty reward with him. O you who believe, do not take your fathers and your brothers for guardians if they love unbelief more than belief, and whoever of you takes them for a guardian, these it is that are the unjust. Say, if your fathers and your sons and your brethren and your mates and your kinsfolk and property which you have acquired and the slackness of trade which you fear and dwellings which you like are dearer to you than Allah and his messenger and the striving in his way, then wait till Allah brings about his command and Allah does not guide the transgressing people. Certainly Allah helped you in many battlefields, and on the day of Hunayn, when your great numbers made you vain, but they availed you nothing, and the earth became straight to you, notwithstanding its spaciousness, then you turned back retreating. 
Then Allah sent down his tranquility upon his messenger and upon the believers and sent down hosts which you did not see and chastised those who disbelieved and that is the reward of the unbelievers. Then will Allah after this turn mercifully to whom he pleases and Allah is forgiving merciful. O you who believe, the idolaters are nothing but unclean, so they shall not approach the sacred mosque after this year. And if you fear poverty, then Allah will enrich you out of his grace if he please. Surely Allah is knowing wise. Fight those who do not believe in Allah, nor in the latter day, nor do they prohibit what Allah and his messenger have prohibited, nor follow the religion of truth out of those who have been given the book until they pay the tax in acknowledgement of superiority and they are in a state of subjection. And the Jews say, Uzair is the son of Allah, and the Christians say, the Messiah is the Son of Allah. These are the words of their mouth. They imitate the saying of those who disbelieved before. May Allah destroy them how they are turned away. They have taken their doctors of law and their monks for lords besides Allah, and also the Messiah, son of Maryam, and they were enjoined that they should serve one Allah only. There is no God but He. Far from His glory be what they set up with Him. They desire to put out the light of Allah with their mouth, and Allah will not consent save to perfect His light, though the unbelievers are averse. He it is who sent His messenger with guidance and the religion of truth, that he might cause it to prevail over all religions, though the polytheists may be averse. O you who believe, most surely many of the doctors of law and the monks eat away the property of men falsely and turn them from Allah's way, and as for those who hoard up gold and silver and do not spend it in Allah's way, announce to them a painful chastisement. On the day when it shall be heated in the fire of hell, then their foreheads and their sides and their backs shall be branded with it. This is what you hoarded up for yourselves. Therefore taste what you hoarded. Surely the number of months with Allah is twelve months in Allah's ordinance since the day when he created the heavens and the earth. Of these four being sacred, that is the right reckoning. Therefore be not unjust to yourselves regarding them and fight the polytheists all together as they fight you all together. And know that Allah is with those who guard against evil. Postponing of the sacred months is only an addition in unbelief, wherewith those who disbelieve are led astray, violating it one year and keeping it sacred another, that they may agree in the number of months that Allah has made sacred, and thus violate what Allah has made sacred. The evil of their doings is made fair seeming to them, and Allah does not guide the unbelieving people. O you who believe, what excuse have you that when it is said to you, go forth in Allah's way, you should incline heavily to earth, are you contented with this world's life instead of the hereafter? But the provision of this world's life compared with the hereafter is but little. 
If you do not go forth, he will chastise you with a painful chastisement and bring in your place a people other than you and you will do him no harm. And Allah has power over all things. If you will not aid him, Allah certainly aided him. When those who disbelieved expelled him, he being the second of the two, when they were both in the cave, when he said to his companion, Grieve not, surely Allah is with us. So Allah sent down his tranquility upon him and strengthened him with hosts which you did not see, and made lowest the word of those who disbelieved, and the word of Allah that is the highest. And Allah is mighty, wise. Go forth light and heavy, and strive hard in Allah's way with your property and your persons. This is better for you if you know. Had it been a near advantage and a short journey, they would certainly have followed you. But the tedious journey was too long for them. And they swear by Allah, if we had been able, we would certainly have gone forth with you. They caused their own souls to perish, and Allah knows that they are most surely liars. Allah pardon you. Why did you give them leave until those who spoke the truth had become manifest to you, and you had known the liars? They do not ask leave of you who believe in Allah and the latter day to stay away from striving hard with their property and their persons. And Allah knows those who guard against evil. They only ask leave of you who do not believe in Allah and the latter day and their hearts are in doubt so in their doubt do they waver. And if they had intended to go forth, they would certainly have provided equipment for it. But Allah did not like their going forth, so he withheld them, and it was said to them, Hold back with those who hold back. Had they gone forth with you, they would not have added to you aught save corruption, and they would certainly have hurried about among you seeking to sow dissension among you, and among you there are those who hearken for their sake, and Allah knows the unjust. Certainly they sought to sow dissension before, and they meditated plots against you until the truth came, and Allah's commandment prevailed, although they were averse from it. And among them there is he who says, Allow me and do not try me. Surely into trial have they already tumbled down, and most surely hell encompasses the unbelievers. If good befalls you, it grieves them, and if hardship afflicts you, they say, Indeed we had taken care of our affair before, and they turn back and are glad. Say, Nothing will afflict us, save what Allah has ordained for us. He is our patron, and on Allah let the believers rely. Say, do you await for us but one of two most excellent things, and we await for you that Allah will afflict you with punishment from himself, or by our hands, so wait, we too will wait with you. Say, spend willingly or unwillingly, it shall not be accepted from you. Surely you are a transgressing people and nothing hinders their spendings being accepted from them, except that they disbelieve in Allah and in his messenger, and they do not come to prayer but while they are sluggish, 
and they do not spend but while they are unwilling let not then their property and their children excite your admiration allah only wishes to chastise them with these in this world's life and that their souls may depart while they are unbelievers and they swear by allah that they are most surely of you and they are not of you but they are a people who are afraid of you if they could find a refuge or cave or a place to enter into they would certainly have turned there too running away in all haste and of them there are those who blame you with respect to the alms so if they are given from it they are pleased and if they are not given from it lo they are full of rage and if they were content with what allah and his messenger gave them and had said allah is sufficient for us allah will soon give us more out of his grace and his messenger too surely to allah do we make our petition alms are only for the poor and the needy and the officials appointed over them and those whose hearts are made to incline to truth and the ransoming of captives and those in debts and in the way of allah and the wayfarer an ordinance from allah and allah is knowing wise and there are some of them who molest the prophet and say he is one who believes everything that he hears say a hearer of good for you who believes in allah and believes the faithful and the mercy for those of you who believe and as for those who molest the messenger of allah they shall have a painful punishment they swear to you by allah that they might please you and allah as well as his messenger has a greater right that they should please him if they are believers do they not know that whoever acts in opposition to allah and his messenger he shall surely have the fire of hell to abide in it that is the grievous abasement the hypocrites fear lest a chapter should be sent down to them telling them plainly of what is in their hearts say go on mocking surely allah will bring forth what you fear and if you should question them they would certainly say we were only idly discoursing and sporting say was it at allah and his communications and his messenger that you mocked do not make excuses you have denied indeed after you had believed if we pardon a party of you we will chastise another party because they are guilty the hypocritical men and the hypocritical women are all alike they enjoin evil and forbid good and withhold their hands they have forsaken allah so he has forsaken them surely the hypocrites are the transgressors allah has promised the hypocritical men and the hypocritical women and the unbelievers the fire of hell to abide therein it is enough for them and allah has cursed them and they shall have lasting punishment like those before you they were stronger than you in power and more abundant in wealth and children so they enjoyed their portion thus have you enjoyed your portion as those before you enjoyed their portion and you entered into vain discourses like the vain discourses in which entered those before you these are they whose works are null in this world and the hereafter and these are they who are the losers 
has not the news of those before them come to them of the people of Nuh and Ad and Samud and the people of Ibrahim and the dwellers of Madian and the overthrown cities, their messengers came to them with clear arguments. So it was not Allah who should do them injustice, but they were unjust to themselves. And as for the believing men and the believing women, they are guardians of each other. They enjoy in good and forbid evil and keep up prayer and pay the poor rate and obey Allah and his messenger. As for these, Allah will show mercy to them. Surely Allah is mighty wise. Allah has promised to the believing men and the believing women gardens beneath which rivers flow to abide in them and goodly dwellings in gardens of perpetual abode. And best of all is Allah's goodly pleasure, that is the grand achievement. O Prophet, strive hard against the unbelievers and the hypocrites, and be unyielding to them, and their abode is hell, and evil is their destination. They swear by Allah that they did not speak, and certainly they did speak. The word of unbelief and disbelieved after their Islam, and they had determined upon what they have not been able to effect, and they did not find fault except because Allah and his messenger enriched them out of his grace. Therefore, if they repent, it will be good for them, and if they turn back, Allah will chastise them with a painful chastisement in this world and the hereafter, and they shall not have in the land any guardian or a helper. And there are those of them who made a covenant with Allah. If he give us out of his grace, we will certainly give alms, and we will certainly be of the good. But when he gave them out of his grace, they became niggardly of it, and they turned back, and they withdrew. So he made hypocrisy to follow as a consequence into their hearts till the day when they shall meet him, because they failed to perform towards Allah what they had promised with him, and because they told lies. Do they not know that Allah knows their hidden thoughts and their secret counsels, and that Allah is the great knower of the unseen things? They who taunt those of the faithful, who give their alms freely, and those who give to the extent of their earnings and scoff at them, Allah will pay them back their scoffing, and they shall have a painful chastisement. Ask forgiveness for them, or do not ask forgiveness for them. Even if you ask forgiveness for them seventy times, Allah will not forgive them. This is because they disbelieve in Allah and his messenger, and Allah does not guide the transgressing people. Those who were left behind were glad on account of their sitting behind Allah's messenger, and they were averse from striving in Allah's way with their property and their persons, and said, Do not go forth in the heat. See, the fire of hell is much severe in heat. Would that they understood it? Therefore they shall laugh little and weep much as a recompense for what they earned. Therefore, if Allah brings you back to a party of them, and then they ask your permission to go forth, say, by no means shall you ever go forth with me, and by no means shall you fight an enemy with me. Surely you chose to sit the first time, therefore sit now with those who remain behind. 
and never offer prayer for any one of them who dies and do not stand by his grave. Surely they disbelieve in Allah and his messenger, and they shall die in transgression. And let not their property and their children excite your admiration. Allah only wishes to chastise them with these in this world, and that their souls may depart while they are unbelievers. And whenever a chapter is revealed, saying, Believe in Allah and strive hard along with his messenger, those having ampleness of means ask permission of you and say, Leave us behind that we may be with those who sit. They prefer to be with those who remain behind, and the seal is set on their hearts so they do not understand. But the messenger and those who believe with him strive hard with their property and their persons, and these it is who shall have the good things, and these it is who shall be successful. Allah has prepared for them gardens, beneath which rivers flow, to abide in them, that is the great achievement. And the defaulters from among the dwellers of the desert came that permission may be given to them, and they sat at home who lied to Allah and his messenger. A painful chastisement shall afflict those of them who disbelieved. It shall be no crime in the weak, nor in the sick, nor in those who do not find what they should spend to stay behind, so long as they are sincere to Allah and his messenger. There is no way to blame against the doers of good, and Allah is forgiving, merciful, nor in those who, when they came to you, that you might carry them. You said, I cannot find that on which to carry you. They went back while their eyes overflowed with tears on account of grief for not finding that which they should spend. The way to blame is only against those who ask permission of you, though they are rich. They have chosen to be with those who remained behind. And Allah has set a seal upon their hearts so they do not know. They will excuse themselves to you when you go back to them. Say, urge no excuse. By no means will we believe you. Indeed, Allah has informed us of matters relating to you. And now Allah and his messenger will see your doings. Then you shall be brought back to the knower of the unseen and the seen. Then he will inform you of what you did. They will swear to you by Allah when you return to them so that you may turn aside from them. So do turn aside from them. Surely they are unclean and their abode is hell a recompense for what they earned. They will swear to you that you may be pleased with them, but if you are pleased with them, yet surely Allah is not pleased with the transgressing people. The dwellers of the desert are very hard in unbelief and hypocrisy, and more disposed not to know the limits of what Allah has revealed to his messenger, and Allah is knowing wise. And of the dwellers of the desert are those who take what they spend to be a fine, and they wait the befalling of calamities to you. On them will be the evil calamity, and Allah is hearing knowing. And of the dwellers of the desert are those who believe in Allah and the latter day, and take what they spend to be means of the nearness of Allah and the messenger's prayers. Surely it shall be means of nearness for them, 
Allah will make them enter into his mercy. Surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. And as for the foremost, the first of the Muhajireens and the Ansars, and those who followed them in goodness, Allah is well pleased with them, and they are well pleased with him. And he has prepared for them gardens beneath which rivers flow, to abide in them forever. That is the mighty achievement. And from among those who are round about you of the dwellers of the desert, there are hypocrites. And from among the people of Medina also, they are stubborn in hypocrisy. You do not know them. We know them. We will chastise them twice, then shall they be turned back to a grievous chastisement. And others have confessed their faults. They have mingled a good deed and an evil one. Maybe Allah will turn to them mercifully. Surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. Take alms out of their property. You would cleanse them and purify them thereby. And pray for them. Surely your prayer is a relief to them. And Allah is hearing, knowing. Do they not know that Allah accepts repentance from his servants and takes the alms? And that Allah is the oft returning to mercy, the merciful. And say, work, so Allah will see your work, and so will his messenger. And the believers and you shall be brought back to the knower of the unseen and the seen. Then he will inform you of what you did. And others are made to await Allah's command whether he chastise them or whether he turn to them mercifully. And Allah is knowing wise. And those who built a masjid to cause harm and for unbelief and to cause disunion among the believers and an ambush to him who made war against Allah and his messenger before. And they will certainly swear, we did not desire aught but good. And Allah bears witness that they are most surely liars. Never stand in it. Certainly a masjid founded on piety from the very first day is more deserving that you should stand in it. In it are men who love that they should be purified, and Allah loves those who purify themselves. Is he, therefore, better who lays his foundation on fear of Allah and his good pleasure, or he who lays his foundation on the edge of a cracking hollow bank so it broke down with him into the fire of hell, and Allah does not guide the unjust people. The building which they have built will ever continue to be a source of disquiet in their hearts, except that their hearts get cut into pieces, and Allah is knowing wise. Surely Allah has bought of the believers their persons and their property for this, that they shall have the garden, they fight in Allah's way, so they slay and are slain, a promise which is binding on him in the Torah and the Angel and the Quran, and who is more faithful to his covenant than Allah? Rejoice, therefore, in the pledge which you have made, and that is the mighty achievement. They who turn to Allah, who serve Him, who praise Him, who fast, who bow down, who prostrate themselves, who enjoy in what is good and forbid what is evil, and who keep the limits of Allah, and give good news to the believers. It is not fit for the Prophet and those who believe 
that they should ask forgiveness for the polytheists, even though they should be near relatives, after it has become clear to them that they are inmates of the flaming fire. And Ibrahim asking forgiveness for his sire was only owing to a promise which he had made to him. But when it became clear to him that he was an enemy of Allah, he declared himself to be clear of him. Most surely Ibrahim was very tender, hearted for bearing. It is not attributable to Allah that he should lead a people astray after he has guided them. He even makes clear to them what they should guard against. Surely Allah knows all things. Surely Allah's is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. He brings to life and causes to die. And there is not for you besides Allah any guardian or helper. Certainly Allah has turned mercifully to the Prophet and those who fled their homes and the helpers who followed him in the hour of straightness after the hearts of a part of them were about to deviate. Then he turned to them mercifully, surely to them he is compassionate, merciful. And to the three who were left behind until the earth became straight to them, notwithstanding its spaciousness and their souls were also straightened to them. And they knew it for certain that there was no refuge from Allah but in him. Then he turned to them mercifully that they might turn to him. Surely Allah is the oft returning to mercy, the merciful. O you who believe, be careful of your duty to Allah and be with the true ones. It did not beseem the people of Medina and those round about them of the dwellers of the desert to remain behind the messenger of Allah, nor should they desire anything for themselves in preference to him. This is because there afflicts them not thirst or fatigue or hunger in Allah's way, nor do they tread a path which enrages the unbelievers, nor do they attain from the enemy what they attain. But a good work is written down to them on account of it. Surely Allah does not waste the reward of the doers of good, nor do they spend anything that may be spent small or great, nor do they traverse a valley, but it is written down to their credit that Allah may reward them with the best of what they have done. And it does not beseem the believers that they should go forth all together, why should not then a company from every party from among them go forth that they may apply themselves to obtain understanding in religion, and that they may warn their people when they come back to them that they may be cautious? O oh, you who believe, fight those of the unbelievers who are near to you and let them find in you hardness. And know that Allah is with those who guard against evil. And whenever a chapter is revealed, there are some of them who say, Which of you has it strengthened in faith? Then as for those who believe, it strengthens them in faith and they rejoice. And as for those in whose hearts is a disease, it adds uncleanness to their uncleanness, and they die while they are unbelievers. Do they not see that they are tried once or twice in every year? Yet they do not turn to Allah, nor do they mind. And whenever a chapter is revealed, they cast glances at one another. Does anyone see you? Then they turn away. 
Allah has turned away their hearts because they are a people who do not understand. Certainly a messenger has come to you from among yourselves. Grievous to him is your falling into distress. Excessively solicitous respecting you. To the believers he is compassionate. But if they turn back, say, Allah is sufficient for me. There is no God but he. On him do I rely and he is the Lord of mighty power. End of Surah 9 Surah 10 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 10 Jonah, Yunus, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Alif, Lam, Ra. These are the verses of the wise book. What is it a wonder to the people that we reveal to a man from among themselves, saying, warn the people and give good news to those who believe that theirs is a footing of firmness with their Lord. The unbelievers say, this is most surely a manifest enchanter. Surely your Lord is Allah, who created the heavens and the earth in six periods, and he is firm in power, regulating the affair there is no intercessor except after his permission. This is Allah, your Lord, therefore serve him. Will you not then mine? To him is your return. Of all of you, the promise of Allah made in truth. Surely he begins the creation in the first instance. Then he reproduces it, that he may with justice recompense those who believe and do good. And as for those who disbelieve, they shall have a drink of hot water and painful punishment because they disbelieved. He it is who made the sun a shining brightness and the moon a light and ordained for it mansions that you might know the computation of years and the reckoning. Allah did not create it but with truth. He makes the signs manifest for a people who know. Most surely in the variation of the night and the day, and what Allah has created in the heavens and the earth, there are signs for a people who guard against evil. Surely those who do not hope in our meeting and are pleased with this world's life and are content with it, and those who are heedless of our communications. As for those, their abode is the fire because of what they earned. Surely, as for those who believe and do good, their Lord will guide them by their faith. There shall flow from beneath them rivers in gardens of bliss. Their cry in it shall be, Glory to thee, O Allah, and their greeting in it shall be, Peace, and the last of their cry shall be, Praise be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. And if Allah should hasten the evil to men as they desire, the hastening on of good, their doom should certainly have been decreed for them. But we leave those alone who hope not for our meeting in their inordinacy, blindly 
wandering on. And when affliction touches a man, he calls on us, whether lying on his side or sitting or standing. But when we remove his affliction from him, he passes on as though he had never called on us on account of an affliction that touched him. Thus, that which they do is made for seeming to the extravagant. And certainly we did destroy generations before you when they were unjust, and their messengers had come to them with clear arguments, and they would not believe. Thus do we recompense the guilty people, then we made you successors in the land after them, so that we may see how you act. And when our clear communications are recited to them, those who hope not for our meeting say, Bring a Quran other than this, or change it. Say, it does not beseem me that I should change it of myself. I follow not but what is revealed to me. Surely I fear, if I disobey my Lord, the punishment of a mighty day. Say, if Allah had desired otherwise, I would not have recited it to you, nor would he have taught it to you. Indeed, I have lived a lifetime among you before it. Do you not then understand who is then more unjust than who forges a lie against Allah, or who gives the lie to his communications? Surely the guilty shall not be successful. And they serve beside Allah what can neither harm them nor profit them. And they say, these are our intercessors with Allah. Say, do you presume to inform Allah of what he knows? Not in the heavens and the earth. Glory be to him. And supremely exalted is he above what they set up with him. And people are not but a single nation, so they disagree. And had not a word already gone forth from your Lord, the matter would have certainly been decided between them in respect of that concerning which they disagree. And they say, Why is not a sign sent to him from his Lord? Say, the unseen is only for Allah. Therefore, wait. Surely I too with you am of those who wait. And when we make people taste of mercy after an affliction touches them, lo, they devise plans against our communication. Say, Allah is quicker to plan. Surely our messengers write down what you plan. He it is who makes you travel by land and sea until when you are in the ships, and they sail on with them in a pleasant breeze, and they rejoice. A violent wind overtakes them, and the billows surge in on them from all sides and they become certain that they are encompassed about. They pray to Allah, being sincere to him in obedience. If thou dost deliver us from this, we will most certainly be of the grateful ones. But when he delivers them, lo, they are unjustly rebellious in the earth. O oh, men, your rebellion is against your own souls, provision only of this world's life. Then to us shall be your return, so we will inform you of what you did. 
The likeness of this world's life is only as water, which we send down from the cloud, then the herbage of the earth of which men and cattle eat, grows luxuriantly thereby, until when the earth puts on its golden raiment and it becomes garnished and its people think that they have power over it, our command comes to it by night or by day. So we render it as reefed seed, produce as though it had not been in existence yesterday. Thus do we make clear the communications for a people who reflect, and Allah invites to the abode of peace and guides whom he pleases into the right path. For those who do good is good reward, and more than this, and blackness or ignominy shall not cover their faces. These are the dwellers of the garden. In it they shall abide. And as for those who have earned evil, the punishment of an evil is the like of it, and abasement shall come upon them. They shall have none to protect them from Allah as if their faces had been covered with slices of the dense darkness of night. These are the inmates of the fire, in it they shall abide. And on the day when we will gather them all together, then we will say to those who associated others with Allah, keep where you are, you and your associates, then we shall separate them widely, one from another, and their associates would say, It was not us that you served. Therefore Allah is sufficient as a witness between us and you, that we were quite unaware of your serving us. There shall every soul become acquainted with what it sent before and they shall be brought back to Allah, their true patron, and what they devised shall escape from them. Say, who gives you sustenance from the heaven and the earth, or who controls the hearing and the sight, and who brings forth the living from the dead, and brings forth the dead from the living? and who regulates the affairs, then they will say, Allah. Say then, will you not then guard against evil? This then is Allah, your true Lord, and what is there after the truth but error? How are you then turned back? Thus does the word of your Lord prove true against those who transgress that they do not believe. Say, is there anyone among your associates who can bring into existence the creation in the first instance? Then reproduce it. Say, Allah brings the creation into existence. Then he reproduces it. How are you then turned away? Say, is there any of your associates who guides to the truth? Say, Allah guides to the truth. Is he then who guides to the truth more worthy to be followed or he who himself does not go aright unless he is guided? What then is the matter with you? How do you judge? And most of them do not follow anything but conjecture. Surely conjecture will not avail aught against the truth. Surely Allah is cognizant of what they do. And this Quran is not such as could be forged by those besides Allah. But it is a verification of that which is before it and the clear explanation of the book. 
There is no doubt in it from the Lord of the worlds, or do they say he has forged it? Say, then bring a chapter like this and invite whom you can besides Allah if you are truthful. Nay, they reject that of which they have no comprehensive knowledge, and the final sequel of it has not yet come to them. Even thus did those before them reject the truth. See then what was the end of the unjust, and of them is he who believes in it, and of them is he who does not believe in it. And your Lord best knows the mischief makers. And if they call you a liar, say, My work is for me and your work for you. You are clear of what I do and I am clear of what you do. And there are those of them who hear you. But can you make the deaf to hear, though they will not understand? And there are those of them who look at you. But can you show the way to the blind, though they will not see? Surely Allah does not do any injustice to men, but men are unjust to themselves. And on the day when he will gather them as though they had not stayed but an hour of the day, they will know each other, they will perish indeed who called the meeting with Allah to be a lie, and they are not followers of the right direction. And if we show you something of what we threaten them with, or cause you to die, yet to us is their return. And Allah is the bearer of witness to what they do. And every nation had a messenger, so when their messenger came, the matter was decided between them with justice, and they shall not be dealt with unjustly. And they say, when will this threat come about, if you are truthful? Say, I do not control for myself any harm or any benefit except what Allah pleases. Every nation has a term. When their term comes, they shall not then remain behind for an hour, nor can they go before their time. Say, tell me if his punishment overtakes you by night or by day. What then is there of it that the guilty would hasten on? And when it comes to pass, will you believe in it? What? Now you believe, and already you wished to have it hastened on. Then it shall be said to those who were unjust, Taste abiding chastisement. You are not requited except for what you earned. And they ask you, Is that true? Say, I by my Lord, it is most surely the truth and you will not escape. And if every soul that has done injustice had all that is in the earth, it would offer it for ransom, and they will manifest regret when they see the chastisement, and the matter shall be decided between them with justice, and they shall not be dealt with unjustly. Now surely Allah's is what is in the heavens and the earth. Now surely Allah's promise is true, but most of them do not know. He gives life and causes death, and to him you shall be brought back. O men, there has come to you indeed an admonition from your Lord and a healing for what is in the breasts and a guidance and a mercy for the believers. Say, in the grace of Allah and in his mercy, in that they should rejoice. It is better than that which they gather. 
See, tell me what Allah has sent down for you of sustenance. Then you make a part of it unlawful and a part lawful. Say, has Allah commanded you or do you forge a lie against Allah? And what will be the thought of those who forge lies against Allah on the day of resurrection? Most surely Allah is the Lord of grace towards men. But most of them do not give thanks, and you are not engaged in any affair, nor do you recite concerning it any portion of the Quran, nor do you do any work, but we are witnesses over you when you enter into it, and there does not lie concealed from your Lord the weight of an atom in the earth or in the heaven, nor anything less than that nor greater, but it is in a clear book. Now surely the friends of Allah, they shall have no fear nor shall they grieve. Those who believe and guarded against evil, they shall have good news in this world's life and in the hereafter. There is no changing the words of Allah. That is the mighty achievement. And let not their speech grieve you. Surely might is holy Allah's. He is the hearing, the knowing. Now surely whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth is Allah's. And they do not really follow any associates who call on others besides Allah. They do not follow anything but conjunctures, and they only lie. He it is who made for you the night that you might rest in it, and the day giving light. Most surely there are signs in it for a people who would hear. They say Allah has taken a son to himself, Glory be to him. He is the self-sufficient. His is what is in the heavens and what is in the earth. You have no authority for this. Do you say against Allah what you do not know? Say, those who forge a lie against Allah shall not be successful. It is only a provision in this world then to us shall be their return. Then we shall make them taste severe punishment because they disbelieved and recite to them the story of Nuh when he said to his people, O oh my people, if my stay and my reminding you by the communications of Allah is hard on you, yet on Allah do I rely. Then resolve upon your affair and gather your associates. Then let not your affair remain dubious to you. Then have it executed against me and give me no respite. But if you turn back, I did not ask for any reward from you. My reward is only with Allah. And I am commanded that I should be of those who submit. But they rejected him. So we delivered him and those with him in the ark. And we made them rulers and drowned those who rejected our communications. See then what was the end of the people warned. Then did we raise up after him messengers to their people, so they came to them with clear arguments, but they would not believe in what they had rejected before. Thus it is that we set seals upon the hearts of those who exceed the limits. Then did we send up after them Musa and Harun to Pharaoh and his chiefs with our signs, but they showed pride and they were a guilty people. 
So when the truth came to them from us, they said, this is most surely clear enchantment. Musa said, do you say this of the truth when it has come to you? Is it magic? And the magicians are not successful. They said, have you come to us to turn us away from what we found our fathers upon? And that greatness in the land should be for you too. And we are not going to believe in you. And Pharaoh said, bring to me every skillful magician. And when the magicians came, Musa said to them, cast down what you have to cast. So when they cast down, Musa said to them, what you have brought is deception. Surely Allah will make it note. Surely Allah does not make the work of mischief makers to thrive. And Allah will show the truth to be the truth by his words, though the guilty may be averse to it. But none believed in Musa except the offspring of his people on account of the fear of Pharaoh and their chiefs, lest he should persecute them. And most surely Pharaoh was lofty in the land, and most surely he was of the extravagant. And Musa said, O oh my people, if you believe in Allah, then rely on him alone. If you submit to Allah, so they said, on Allah we rely. O our Lord, make us not subject to the persecution of the unjust people, and do thou deliver us by thy mercy from the unbelieving people. And we reveal to Musa and his brother, saying, Take for your people houses to abide in Egypt and make your houses places of worship and keep up prayer and give good news to the believers. And Musa said, Our Lord, surely thou hast given to Pharaoh and his chiefs finery and riches in this world's life. To this end, our Lord, that they lead people astray from thy way. Our Lord, destroy their riches and harden their hearts so that they believe not until they see the painful punishment. He said, the prayer of you both has indeed been accepted. Therefore, continue in the right way and do not follow the path of those who do not know. And we made the children of Israel to pass through the sea. Then Pharaoh and his host followed them for oppression and tyranny. Until when drowning overtook him, he said, I believe that there is no God but he in whom the children of Israel believe, and I am of those who submit. What now? And indeed you disobeyed before, and you were of the mischief makers. But we will this day deliver you with your body, that you may be assigned to those after you. And most surely the majority of the people are heedless to our communications. And certainly we lodged the children of Israel in a goodly abode, and we provided them with good things, but they did not disagree until the knowledge had come to them. Surely your Lord will judge between them on the resurrection day concerning that in which they disagreed. But if you are in doubt as to what we have revealed to you, ask those who read the book before you, Certainly the truth has come to you from your Lord. Therefore, you should not be of the disputers, and you should not be of those who reject the communications of Allah. 
for then you should be one of the losers. Surely those against whom the word of your Lord has proved true will not believe, though every sign should come to them until they witness the painful chastisement. And wherefore was there not a town which should believe so that their belief should have profited them but the people of Eunice, when they believed, we removed from them the chastisement of disgrace in this world's life, and we gave them provision till a time. And if your Lord had pleased, surely all those who are in the earth would have believed, all of them. Will you then force men till they become believers? And it is not for a soul to believe except by Allah's permission. And he casts uncleanness on those who will not understand. Say, consider what is it that is in the heavens and the earth. And signs and warners do not avail a people who would not believe. What do they wait for then but the like of the days of those who passed away before them? Say, wait then, surely I too am with you of those who wait. Then we deliver our messengers and those who believe. Even so now it is binding on us that we deliver the believers. Say, O oh people, if you are in doubt as to my religion, then know that I do not serve those whom you serve besides Allah, but I do serve Allah who will cause you to die, and I am commanded that I should be of the believers, and that you should keep your course towards the religion uprightly, and you should not be of the polytheists. And do not call besides Allah on that which can neither benefit you nor harm you. For if you do then, surely you will in that case be of the unjust. And if Allah should afflict you with harm, then there is none to remove it but he. And if he intends good to you, there is none to repel his grace. He brings it to whom he pleases of his servants, and he is the forgiving, the merciful. Say, O people, indeed there has come to you the truth from your Lord. Therefore, whoever goes aright, he goes aright, only for the good of his own soul. And whoever goes astray, he goes astray only to the detriment of it. And I am not a custodian over you. And follow what is revealed to you and be patient till Allah should give judgment. And he is the best of the judges. End of Surah 10Surah 11 of the Holy Quran translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 11, Hud, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Alif, Lam, Ra. This is a book whose verses are made decisive, then are they made plain, from the wise all aware, that you shall not serve any but Allah. Surely I am a warner for you from him, and a giver of good news. And you that ask forgiveness of your Lord, then turn to him, he will provide you with a goodly provision to an appointed term and bestow his grace on everyone endowed with grace. And if you turn back, 
then surely I fear for you the chastisement of a great day. To Allah is your return, and he has power over all things. Now surely they fold up their breasts that they may conceal their enmity from him. Now surely when they use their garments as a covering, he knows what they conceal and what they make public. Surely he knows what is in the breasts. And there is no animal in the earth, but on Allah is the sustenance of it. And he knows its resting place and its depository. All things are in a manifest book. And he it is who created the heavens and the earth in six periods. And his dominion extends on the water that he might manifest to you which of you is best in action. And if you say, surely you shall be raised up after death, those who disbelieve would certainly say, this is nothing but clear magic. And if we hold back from them the punishment until a stated period of time, they will certainly say, what prevents it? Now surely on the day when it will come to them, it shall not be averted from them, and that which they scoffed at shall be set them. And if we make man taste mercy from us, then take it off from him. Most surely he is despairing, ungrateful. And if we make him taste a favor after distress has afflicted him, he will certainly say, the evils are gone away from me. Most surely he is exulting, boasting, except those who are patient and do good. They shall have forgiveness and a great reward. Then it may be that you will give up part of what is revealed to you and your breast will become straightened by it because they say, Why has not a treasure been sent down upon him or an angel come with him? You are only a warner. And Allah is custodian over all things. Or do they say he has forged it? Say, then bring ten forged chapters like it and call upon whom you can besides Allah if you are truthful. But if they do not answer you, then know that it is revealed by Allah's knowledge and that there is no God but he, will you then submit? Whoever desires this world's life and its finery, we will pay them in full their deeds therein, and they shall not be made to suffer loss in respect of them. These are they for whom there is nothing but fire in the hereafter, and what they wrote in it shall go for nothing, and vain is what they do. Is he then who has with him clear proof from his Lord, and a witness from him, recites it, and before it is the book of Musa, a guide and a mercy, these believe in it, and whoever of the different parties disbelieves in it, Surely it is the truth from your Lord, but most men do not believe. And who is more unjust than he who forges a lie against Allah? These shall be brought before their Lord, and the witnesses shall say, These are they who lied against their Lord. Now surely the curse of Allah is on the unjust who turn away from the path of Allah and desire to make it crooked, and they are disbelievers in the hereafter. These shall not escape in the earth, nor shall they have any guardians besides Allah. The punishment shall be doubled for them. They could not bear to hear, 
and they did not see. These are they who have lost their souls, and what they forged is gone from them. Truly in the hereafter they are the greatest losers. Surely as to those who believe and do good and humble themselves to their Lord, these are the dwellers of the garden, in it they will abide. The likeness of the two parties is as the blind and the deaf, and the seeing and the hearing. Are they equal in condition? Will you not then mind? And certainly we sent Noah to his people, surely I am a plain warner for you, that you shall not serve any but Allah. Surely I fear for you the punishment of a painful day. But the chiefs of those who disbelieved from among his people said, We do not consider you but a mortal like ourselves, and we do not see any have followed you but those who are the meanest of us at first thought, and we do not see in you any excellence over us, nay, we deem you liars. He said, O my people, tell me if I have with me clear proof from my Lord, and he has granted me mercy from himself, and it has been made obscure to you. Shall we constrain you to accept it while you are averse from it? And, O oh my people, I ask you not for wealth in return for it. My reward is only with Allah, and I am not going to drive away those who believe. Surely they shall meet their Lord, but I consider you a people who are ignorant. And O oh my people, who will help me against Allah if I drive them away, will you not then mind? And I do not say to you that I have the treasures of Allah and I do not know the unseen, nor do I say that I am an angel, nor do I say about those whom your eyes hold in mean estimation that Allah will never grant them any good. Allah knows best what is in their souls, for then most surely I should be of the unjust. They said, O Nuh, indeed you have disputed with us and lengthened dispute with us. Therefore bring to us what you threaten us with, if you are of the truthful ones. He said, Allah only will bring it to you if he please, and you will not escape. And if I intend to give you good advice, my advice will not profit you if Allah intended that he should leave you to go astray. He is your Lord, and to him shall you be returned. Or do they say he has forged it? Say, if I have forged it, on me is my guilt, and I am clear of that of which you are guilty. And it was revealed to Nuh that none of your people will believe except those who have already believed. Therefore do not grieve at what they do, and make the ark before our eyes and according to our revelation, and do not speak to me in respect of those who are unjust. Surely they shall be drowned. And he began to make the ark, and whenever the sheaves from among his people passed by him, they laughed at him. He said, If you laugh at us, surely we too laugh at you as you laugh at us. So shall you know who it is on whom will come a chastisement which will disgrace him, and on whom will lasting chastisement come down. Until when our command came and water came forth from the valley, we said, Carry in it two of all things, a pair, and your own family, except those against whom the word has already gone forth. 
and those who believe, and there believed not with him but a few. And he said, Embark in it, in the name of Allah be its sailing and its anchoring. Most surely my Lord is forgiving, merciful. And it moved on with them amid waves like mountains. And Nuh called out to his son, and he was aloof. O oh, my son, embark with us and be not with the unbelievers. He said, I will betake myself for refuge to a mountain that shall protect me from the water. Nuh said, There is no protector today from Allah's punishment, but he who has mercy and a wave intervened between them, so he was of the drowned. And it was said, O earth, swallow down your water, and O cloud, clear away. And the water was made to abate, and the affair was decided. And the ark rested on the Judy, and it was said, Away with the unjust people. And Nuh cried out to his lord and said, My lord, surely my son is of my family, and thy promise is surely true, and thou art the most just of the judges. He said, O Nuh, surely he is not of your family, surely he is the doer of other than good deeds. Therefore ask not of me that of which you have no knowledge, Surely I admonish you, lest you may be of the ignorant. He said, My Lord, I seek refuge in thee from asking thee that of which I have no knowledge. And if thou shouldest not forgive me and have mercy on me, I should be of the losers. It was said, O Nuh, Descend with peace from us and blessings on you and on the people from among those who are with you. And there shall be nations whom we will afford the provisions. Then a painful punishment from us shall afflict them. These are announcements relating to the unseen which we reveal to you. You did not know them neither you nor your people before this therefore be patient surely the end is for those who guard against evil and to add we sent their brotherhood he said o my people serve allah you have no god other than he you are nothing but forgers of lies o my people i do not ask of you any reward for it my reward is only with him who created me. Do you not then understand? And O oh, my people, ask forgiveness of your Lord, then turn to him. He will send on you clouds pouring down abundance of rain and add strength to your strength and do not turn back guilty. They said, O Hood, you have not brought to us any clear argument, and we are not going to desert our gods for your word, and we are not believers in you. We cannot say aught but that some of our gods have smitten you with evil. He said, Surely I call Allah to witness, and do you bear witness too? that I am clear of what you associate with Allah. Besides him, therefore scheme against me altogether, then give me no respite. Surely I rely on Allah, my Lord and your Lord. There is no living creature, but he holds it by its forelock. Surely my Lord is on the right path. But if you turn back, then indeed I have delivered to you the message with which I have been sent to you, and my Lord will bring another people in your place, and you cannot do him any harm. Surely my Lord is the preserver of all things. And when our decree came to pass, 
we delivered Hud and those who believed with him with mercy from us, and we delivered them from a hard chastisement. And this was Aid. They denied the communications of their Lord and disobeyed his messengers and followed the bidding of every insolent opposer of truth. And they were overtaken by curse in this world and on the resurrection day. Now surely Aad disbelieved in their Lord. Now surely away with Aad the people of Hud. And to Samud we sent their brother Saleh. He said, O oh my people, serve Allah. You have no God other than he. He brought you into being from the earth and made you dwell in it. Therefore ask forgiveness of him. Then turn to him. Surely my Lord is nigh answering. They said, O oh Saleh, Surely you were one amongst us in whom great expectations were placed before this. Do you now forbid us from worshipping what our fathers worshipped? And as to that which you call us to, most surely we are in disquieting doubt. He said, O oh my people, tell me if I have clear proof from my Lord and he has granted to me mercy from himself. Who will then help me against Allah if I disobey him? Therefore you do not add to me other than loss. And, O oh my people, this will be as Allah's she-camel for you, a sign. Therefore leave her to pasture on Allah's earth, and do not touch her with evil, for then a near chastisement will overtake you. But they slew her. So he said, Enjoy yourselves in your abode for three days. That is a promise not to be belied. So when our decree came to pass, we delivered Saleh and those who believed with him by mercy from us, and we saved them from the disgrace of that day. Surely your Lord is the strong, the mighty. And the rumbling overtook those who were unjust. So they became motionless bodies in their abodes. As though they had never dwelt in them, now surely did Samud disbelieve in their Lord. Now surely away with Samud. And certainly our messengers came to Ibrahim with good news. They said, Peace. Peace, said he, and he made no delay in bringing a roasted calf. But when he saw that their hands were not extended towards it, he deemed them strange and conceived the fear of them. They said, Fear not. Surely we are sent to Lot's people. And his wife was standing by, so she laughed then. We gave her the good news of Ishaq, and after Ishaq of a son's son Yaqub. She said, O oh wonder, shall I bear a son when I am an extremely old woman, and this my husband an extremely old man? Most surely this is a wonderful thing. They said, Do you wonder at Allah's bidding? The mercy of Allah and his blessings are on you. O people of the house, surely he is praised glorious. So when fear had gone away from Ibrahim and good news came to him, he began to plead with us for Lot's people. Most surely Ibrahim was forbearing, tender-hearted, oft returning to Allah. O Ibrahim, leave off this. Surely the decree of your Lord has come to pass, and surely there must come to them a chastisement that cannot be averted. And when our messengers came to Lot, he was grieved for them, and he lacked the strength to protect them, and said, This is a hard day. 
and his people came to him as if rushed on towards him and already they did evil deeds he said o oh my people these are my daughters they are purer for you so guard against the punishment of allah and do not disgrace me with regard to my guests is there not among you one right-minded man they said certainly you know that we have no claim on your daughters and most surely you know what we desire he said ah that i had power to suppress you rather i shall have recourse to a strong support they said o lut we are the messengers of your lord they shall by no means reach you so remove your followers in a part of the night and let none of you turn back except your wife for surely whatsoever befalls them shall befall her surely their appointed time is the morning is not the morning nigh so when our decree came to pass we turned them upside down and rained down upon them stones of what had been decreed one after another marked for punishment with your lord and it is not far off from the unjust and to Majin we sent their brother shuaib he said o oh my people serve allah you have no god other than he and do not give short measure and wait surely i see you in prosperity and surely i fear for you the punishment of an all-encompassing day and o oh my people give full measure and wait fairly and defraud not men their things and do not act corruptly in the land making mischief what remains with allah is better for you if you are believers and i am not a keeper over you they said o oh, shuaib does your prayer enjoin you that we should forsake what our fathers worshipped or that we should not do what we please with regard to our property forsooth you are the forbearing the right directing one he said o oh, my people have you considered if i have a clear proof from my lord and he has given me a goodly sustenance from himself and i do not desire that in opposition to you i should betake myself to that which i forbid you i desire nothing but reform so far as i am able and with none but allah is the direction of my affair to a right issue on him do i rely and to him do i turn and o oh my people let not opposition to me make you guilty so that there may befall you the like of what befell the people of nuh or the people of hud or the people of saleh nor are the people of lut far off from you and ask forgiveness of your lord then turn to him surely my lord is merciful loving kind they said o shuaib we do not understand much of what you say and most surely we see you to be weak among us and were it not for your family we would surely stone you and you are not mighty against us he said o oh my people is my family more esteemed by you than allah and you neglect him as a thing cast behind your back surely my lord encompasses what you do and o oh my people act according to your ability i too am acting you will come to know soon who it is on whom will light the punishment that will disgrace him and who it is that is a liar and watch surely i too am watching with you and when our decree came to pass 
we delivered Shu'aib and those who believed with him by mercy from us and the rebelling overtook those who were unjust so they became motionless bodies in their abodes as though they had never dwelt in them now surely perdition overtook madian as had perished samud and certainly we sent musa with our communications and a clear authority to pharaoh and his chiefs but they followed the bidding of pharaoh and pharaoh's bidding was not right directing he shall lead his people on the resurrection day and bring them down to the fire and evil the place to which they are brought and they are overtaken by curse in this world and on the resurrection day evil the gift which shall be given this is an account of the fate of the towns which we relate to you of them are some that stand and others mourn down and we did not do them injustice but they were unjust to themselves so their gods whom they called upon besides allah did not avail them aught when the decree of your lord came to pass and they added but to their ruin and such is the punishment of your lord when he punishes the towns while they are unjust surely his punishment is painful severe most surely there is a sign in this for him who fears the chastisement of the hereafter this is a day on which the people shall be gathered together and this is a day that shall be witnessed and we do not delay it but to an appointed term on the day when it shall come no soul shall speak except with his permission then some of them shall be unhappy and others happy so as to those who are unhappy they shall be in the fire for them shall be sighing and groaning in it abiding therein so long as the heavens and the earth endure except as your lord please surely your lord is the mighty doer of what he intends and as to those who are made happy they shall be in the garden abiding in it as long as the heavens and the earth endure except as your lord please a gift which shall never be cut off therefore be not in doubt as to what these worship they do not worship but as their fathers worshipped before and most surely we will pay them back in full their portion undiminished and certainly we gave the book to musa but it was gone against and had not a word gone forth from your lord the matter would surely have been decided between them and surely they are in a disquieting doubt about it and your lord will most surely pay back to all their deeds in full surely he is aware of what they do continue then in the right way as you are commanded as also he who has turned to allah with you and be not inordinate o men surely he sees what you do and do not incline to those who are unjust lest the fire touch you and you have no guardians besides allah then you shall not be helped and keep up prayer in the two parts of the day and in the first hours of the night surely good deeds take away evil deeds this is a reminder to the mindful and be patient for surely allah does not waste the reward of the good doers but why were there not among the generations before you those possessing understanding who should have forbidden the making of mischief in the earth 
except a few of those whom we delivered from among them. And those who were unjust went after what they are made to enjoy of plenty, and they were guilty. And it did not beseem your Lord to have destroyed the towns tyrannously while their people acted well. And if your Lord had pleased, he would certainly have made people a single nation, and they shall continue to differ, except those on whom your Lord has mercy. And for this did he create them. And the word of your Lord is fulfilled. Certainly I will fill hell with the jinn and the men all together. And all we relate to you of the accounts of the messengers is to strengthen your heart therewith. And in this has come to you the truth and an admonition and a reminder to the believers. And say to those who do not believe, act according to your state. Surely we too are acting. And wait surely we are waiting also and allah's is the unseen in the heavens and the earth and to him is returned the whole of the affair therefore serve him and rely on him and your lord is not heedless of what you do end of surah 11 Surah 12 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 12, Joseph, Yusuf, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Alif, Lam, Ra. These are the verses of the book that makes things manifest. Surely we have revealed it, an Arabic Quran that you may understand. We narrate to you the best of narratives by our revealing to you this Quran, though before this you were certainly one of those who did not know. When Yusuf said to his father, O oh my father, surely I saw eleven stars and the sun and the moon, I saw them making obeisance to me. He said, O oh my son, do not relate your vision to your brothers, lest they devise a plan against you. Surely the shaitan is an open enemy to man. And thus will your Lord choose you and teach you the interpretation of sayings and make his favor complete to you and to the children of Yaqub, as he made it complete before to your fathers, Ibrahim and Ishaq. Surely your Lord is knowing wise. Certainly in Yusuf and his brothers there are signs for the inquirers. When they said, Certainly Yusuf and his brother are dearer to our father than we, though we are a stronger company, most surely our father is in manifest error. Slay Yusuf or cast him forth into some land, so that your father's regard may be exclusively for you, and after that you may be a righteous people. A speaker from among them said, Do not slay Yusuf, and cast him down into the bottom of the pit, if you must do it, so that some of the travelers may pick him up. They said, O our father, what reason have you that you do not trust in us with respect to Yusuf? And most surely we are his sincere well-wishers. 
send him with us tomorrow that he may enjoy himself and sport and surely we will guard him well he said surely it grieves me that you should take him off and i fear lest the wolf devour him while you are heedless of him they said surely if the wolf should devour him notwithstanding that we are a strong company we should then certainly be losers so when they had gone off with him and agreed that they should put him down at the bottom of the pit and we revealed to him you will most certainly inform them of this their affair while they do not perceive and they came to their father at nightfall weeping they said o our father surely we went off racing and left yusuf by our goods so the wolf devoured him and you will not believe us though we are truthful and they brought his shirt with false blood upon it he said nay your souls have made the matter light for you but patience is good and allah is he whose help is sought for against what you describe and there came travellers and they sent their water drawer and he let down his bucket he said o oh, good news this is a youth and they concealed him as an article of merchandise and allah knew what they did and they sold him for a small price a few pieces of silver and they showed no desire for him and the egyptian who bought him said to his wife give him an honorable abode maybe he will be useful to us or we may adopt him as a son and thus did we establish yusuf in the land and that we might teach him the interpretation of sayings and allah is the master of his affair but most people do not know and when he had attained his maturity we gave him wisdom and knowledge and thus do we reward those who do good and she in whose house he was thought to make himself yield to her and she made fast the doors and said come forward he said i seek allah's refuge surely my lord made good my abode surely the unjust do not prosper and certainly she made for him and he would have made for her were it not that he had seen the manifest evidence of his lord thus it was that we might turn away from him evil and indecency surely he was one of our sincere servants and they both hastened to the door and she rent his shirt from behind and they met her husband at the door she said what is the punishment of him who intends evil to your wife except imprisonment or a painful chastisement he said she sought to make me yield to her and the witness of her own family bore witness if his shirt is rent from front she speaks the truth and he is one of the liars and if his shirt is rent from behind she tells a lie and he is one of the truthful so when he saw his shirt rent from behind he said surely it is a guile of you women surely your guile is great o yusuf 
turn aside from this and O oh, my wife ask forgiveness for your fault surely you are one of the wrongdoers and women in the city said the chief's wife seeks her slave to yield himself to her surely he has affected her deeply with his love most surely we see her in manifest error so when she heard of their sly talk she sent for them and prepared for them a repast and gave each of them a knife and said to yusuf come forth to them so when they saw him they deemed him great and cut their hands in amazement and said remote is allah from imperfection this is not a mortal this is but a noble angel she said this is he with respect to whom you blamed me and certainly i sought his yielding himself to me but he abstained and if he does not do what i bid him he shall certainly be imprisoned and he shall certainly be of those who are in a state of ignominy he said my lord the prison house is dearer to me than that to which they invite me and if thou turn not away their device from me i will yearn towards them and become one of the ignorant thereupon his lord accepted his prayer and turned away their guile from him surely he is the hearing the knowing then it occurred to them after they had seen the signs that they should imprison him till a time and two youth entered the prison with him one of them said i saw myself pressing wine and the other said i saw myself carrying bread on my head of which birds ate inform us of its interpretation surely we see you to be of the doers of good he said there shall not come to you the food with which you are fed but i will inform you both of its interpretation before it comes to you this is of what my lord has taught me surely i have forsaken the religion of a people who do not believe in allah and they are deniers of the hereafter and i follow the religion of my fathers ibrahim and ishaq and jacob it beseems us not that we should associate oath with allah this is by allah's grace upon us and on mankind but most people do not give thanks o my two mates of the prison are sundry lords better or allah the one the supreme you do not serve besides him but names which you have named you and your fathers allah has not sent down any authority for them judgment is only allah's he has commanded that you shall not serve aught but him this is the right religion but most people do not know o my two mates of the prison as for one of you he shall give his lord to drink wine and as for the other he shall be crucified so that the birds shall eat from his head the matter is decreed concerning which you inquired and he said to him whom he knew would be delivered of the two remember me with your lord but the shaitan caused him to forget mentioning it to his lord so he remained in the prison a few years and the king said surely i see seven fat kine 
which seven lean ones devoured, and seven green ears, and seven others dry. O sheaths, explain to me my dream, if you can interpret the dream. They said confused dreams, and we do not know the interpretation of dreams. And of the two prisoners, he who had found deliverance and remembered after a long time, said, I will inform you of its interpretation, so let me go. Yusuf, O truthful one, explain to us seven fat kine, which seven lean ones devoured, and seven green ears, and seven others dry, that I may go back to the people so that they may know. He said, you shall sow for seven years continuously, then what you reap, leave it in its ear, except a little of which you eat. Then there shall come after that seven years of hardship which shall eat away all that you have beforehand laid up in store for them, except a little of what you shall have preserved. Then there will come after that a year in which people shall have rain and in which they shall press grapes. And the king said, Bring him to me. So when the messenger came to him, he said, Go back to your lord and ask him, What is the case of the women who cut their hands? Surely my lord knows their guile. He said, How was your affair when you sought Yusuf to yield himself to you? They said, Remote is Allah from imperfection we knew of no evil on his part the chief's wife said now has the truth become established i sought him to yield himself to me and he is most surely of the truthful ones this is that he might know that i have not been unfaithful to him in secret and that allah does not guide the device of the unfaithful, and I do not declare myself free. Most surely man's self is wont to command him to do evil, except such as my Lord has had mercy on. Surely my Lord is forgiving, merciful. And the king said, Bring him to me, I will choose him for myself. So when he had spoken with him, he said, Surely you are in our presence today an honorable, a faithful one. He said, Place me in authority over the treasures of the land. Surely I am a good keeper, knowing well. And thus did we give to Yusuf power in the land. He had mastery in it wherever he liked we send down our mercy on whom we please and we do not waste the reward of those who do good and certainly the reward of the hereafter is much better for those who believe and guard against evil and yusuf's brothers came and went in to him and he knew them while they did not recognize him. And when he furnished them with their provision, he said, Bring to me a brother of yours from your father. Do you not see that I give full measure and that I am the best of hosts? But if you do not bring him to me, you shall have no measure of corn from me nor shall you come near me. They said, We will strive to make his father yield in respect of him, and we are sure to do it. And he said to his servants, Put their money into their bags, that they may recognize it when they go back to their family. 
so that they may come back. So when they returned to their father, they said, O oh, our father, the measure is withheld from us. Therefore send with us our brother, so that we may get the measure, and we will most surely guard him. He said, I cannot trust in you with respect to him, except as I trusted in you with respect to his brother before. But Allah is the best keeper, and he is the most merciful of the merciful ones. And when they opened their goods, they found their money returned to them. They said, O oh, our father, what more can we desire? This is our property returned to us, and we will bring corn for our family and guard our brother, and will have in addition the measure of a camel load. This is an easy measure. He said, I will by no means send him with you until you give me a firm covenant in Allah's name that you will most certainly bring him back to me unless you are completely surrounded. And when they gave him their covenant, he said, Allah is the one in whom trust is placed as regards what we say. And he said, O oh my sons, do not all enter by one gate and enter by different gates, and I cannot avail you oath against Allah. Judgment is only Allah's. On him do I rely, and on him let those who are reliant rely. And when they had entered as their father had bidden them, it did not avail them oath against Allah, but it was only a desire in the soul of Ya'qub, which he satisfied, and surely he was possessed of knowledge, because we had given him knowledge, but most people do not know. And when they went in to Yusuf, he lodged his brother with himself, saying, I am your brother therefore grieve not at what they do so when he furnished them with their provisions someone placed the drinking cup in his brother's bag then a crier cried out o caravan you are most surely thieves they said while they were facing them what is it that you miss they said, We miss the king's drinking cup, and he who shall bring it shall have a camel load, and I am responsible for it. They said, By Allah, you know for certain that we have not come to make mischief in the land, and we are not thieves. They said, But what shall be the requital of this if you are liars? They said, the requital of this is that the person in whose bag it is found shall himself be held for the satisfaction thereof. Thus do we punish the wrongdoers. So he began with their sacks before the sack of his brother. Then he brought it out from his brother's sack. Thus did we plan for the sake of Yusuf. It was not lawful that he should take his brother under the king's law unless Allah pleased. We raise the degrees of whomsoever we please, and above everyone possessed of knowledge is the all-knowing one. They said, if he steal, a brother of his did indeed steal before, but Yusuf kept it secret in his heart and did not disclose it to them. He said, you are in an evil condition and Allah knows best what you state. They said, O chief, he has a father, a very old man, therefore... Retain one of us in his stead.
Surely we see you to be of the doers of good. He said, Allah protect us that we should seize other than him with whom we found our property. For then most surely we would be unjust. Then when they despaired of him, they retired conferring privately together. The eldest of them said, Do you not know that your father took from you a covenant in Allah's name? And how you fell short of your duty with respect to Yusuf before? Therefore, I will by no means depart from this land until my father permits me or Allah decides for me and he is the best of the judges. Go back to your father and say, O our father, surely your son committed theft, and we do not bear witness except to what we have known, and we could not keep watch over the unseen, and inquire in the town in which we were, and the caravan with which we proceeded, and most surely we are truthful. He, Yaqub, said, Nay, your souls have made a matter light for you, so patience is good. Maybe Allah will bring them all together to me. Surely he is the knowing, the wise. And he turned away from them and said, O oh, my sorrow for Yusuf, and his eyes became white on account of the grief, and he was a repressor of grief. They said, By Allah, you will not cease to remember Yusuf until you are a prey to constant disease or until you are of those who perish. He said, I only complain of my grief and sorrow to Allah. And I know from Allah what you do not know. O my sons, go and inquire respecting Yusuf and his brother, and despair not of Allah's mercy. Surely none despairs of Allah's mercy except the unbelieving people. So when they came in to him, they said, O chief, distress has afflicted us, and our family, and we have brought scanty money, so give us full measure and be charitable to us. Surely Allah rewards the charitable. He said, Do you know how you treated Yusuf and his brother when you were ignorant? They said, Are you indeed Yusuf? He said, I am Yusuf, and this is my brother. Allah has indeed been gracious to us. Surely he who guards against evil and is patient is rewarded, for surely Allah does not waste the reward of those who do good. They said by Allah, now has Allah certainly chosen you over us, and we were certainly sinners. He said, there shall be no reproof against you this day. Allah may forgive you, and he is the most merciful of the merciful. Take this my shirt and cast it on my father's face. He will again be able to see. And come to me with all your families. And when the caravan had departed, their father said, most surely I perceive the greatness of Yusuf, unless you pronounce me to be weak in judgment. They said, By Allah, you are most surely in your old error. So when the bearer of good news came, he cast it on his face. So forthwith he regained his sight. He said, Did I not say to you, that I know from Allah what you do not know. They said, O our father, ask forgiveness of our faults for us. Surely we were sinners. He said, I will ask for you forgiveness from my Lord. 
surely he is the forgiving, the merciful. Then when they came into Yusuf, he took his parents to lodge with him and said, Enter safe into Egypt, if Allah please. And he raised his parents upon the throne, and they fell down in prostration before him. And he said, O oh my father, this is the significance of my vision of old. My Lord has indeed made it to be true, and he was indeed kind to me when he brought me forth from the prison and brought you from the desert after the shaitan had sown dissensions between me and my brothers. Surely my Lord is benignant to whom he pleases. Surely he is the knowing, the wise. My Lord, thou hast given me of the kingdom and taught me of the interpretation of sayings. Originator of the heavens and the earth, thou art my guardian in this world and the hereafter. Make me die a Muslim and join me with the good. This is of the announcements relating to the unseen which we reveal to you, and you were not with them when they resolved upon their affair and they were devising plans. And most men will not believe, though you desire it eagerly. And you do not ask them for a reward for this. It is nothing but a reminder for all mankind. And how many a sign in the heavens and the earth which they pass by, yet they turn aside from it. And most of them do not believe in Allah without associating others with him. Do they then feel secure that there may come to them an extensive chastisement from Allah or that the hour may come to them suddenly while they do not perceive? Say, this is my way. I call to Allah. I and those who follow me being certain and glory be to Allah, and I am not one of the polytheists. And we have not sent before you but men from among the people of the towns, to whom we sent revelations. Have they not then traveled in the land and seen what was the end of those before them? And certainly the abode of the hereafter is best for those who guard against evil. Do you not then understand? Until when the messengers despaired and the people became sure that they were indeed told a lie, our help came to them and whom we pleased was delivered, and our punishment is not averted from the guilty people. In their histories, there is certainly a lesson for men of understanding. It is not a narrative which could be forged, but a verification of what is before it and a distinct explanation of all things and a guide and a mercy to a people who believe. End of Surah 12سورة 13 of the Holy Quran translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker This LibriVox recording is in the public domain سورة 13 The Thunder Ra'an revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah the most beneficent the most merciful Alif Lam Mim Ra these are the verses of the book and that which is revealed to you from your lord is the truth but most people do not believe allah is he who raised the heavens without any pillars that you see 
and he is firm in power and he made the sun and the moon subservient to you each one pursues its course to an appointed time he regulates the affair making clear the signs that you may be certain of meeting your lord and he it is who spread the earth and made in it firm mountains and rivers and of all fruits he has made in it two kinds he makes the night cover the day most surely there are signs in this for a people who reflect and in the earth there are tracts side by side and gardens of grapes and corn and palm trees having one root and others having distinct roots they are watered with one water and we make some of them excel others in fruit most surely there are signs in this for a people who understand and if you would wonder then wondrous is their saying what when we are dust shall we then certainly be in a new creation these are they who disbelieve in their lord and these have chains on their necks and they are the inmates of the fire in it they shall abide and they ask you to hasten on the evil before the good and indeed there have been exemplary punishments before them and most surely your lord is the lord of forgiveness to people notwithstanding their injustice and most surely your lord is severe in requiting evil and those who disbelieve say why has not a sign been sent down upon him from his lord you are only a warner and there is a guide for every people allah knows what every female bears and that of which the wombs fall short of completion and that in which they increase and there is a measure with him of everything the knower of the unseen and the seen the great the most high alike to him among you is he who conceals his words and he who speaks them openly and he who hides himself by night and who goes forth by day for his sake there are angels following one another before him and behind him who guard him by allah's commandment surely allah does not change the condition of a people until they change their own condition and when allah intends evil to a people there is no averting it and besides him they have no protector he it is who shows you the lighting causing fear and hope and who brings up the heavy cloud and the thunder declares his glory with his praise and the angels too for awe of him and he sends the thunderbolts and smites with them whom he pleases yet they dispute concerning allah and he is mighty in prowess to him is due the true prayer and those whom they pray to besides allah give them no answer but they are like one who stretches forth his two hands towards water that it may reach his mouth but it will not reach it and the prayer of the unbelievers is only in error and whoever is in the heavens and the earth makes obeisance to allah only willingly and unwillingly and their shadows too at morn and eve
see who is the lord of the heavens and the earth say allah say do you take then besides him guardians who do not control any profit or harm for themselves say are the blind and the seeing alike or can the darkness and the light be equal or have they set up with allah associates who have created creation like his so that what is created became confused to them say allah is the creator of all things and he is the one the supreme he sends down water from the cloud then water courses flow with water according to their measure and the torrent bears along the swelling foam and from what they melt in the fire for the sake of making ornaments or apparatus arises a scum like it thus does allah compare truth and falsehood then as for the scum it passes away as a worthless thing and as for that which profits the people it tears in the earth thus does allah set forth parables for those who respond to their lord is good and as for those who do not respond to him had they all that is in the earth and the like thereof with it they would certainly offer it for a ransom as for those an evil reckoning shall be theirs and their abode is hell and evil is the resting place is he then who knows that what has been revealed to you from your lord is the truth like him who is blind only those possessed of understanding will mind those who fulfill the promise of allah and do not break the covenant and those who join that which allah has bidden to be joined and have awe of their lord and fear the evil reckoning and those who are constant seeking the pleasure of their lord and keep up prayer and spend benevolently out of what we have given them secretly and openly and repel evil with good as for those they shall have the happy issue of the abode the gardens of perpetual abode which they will enter along with those who do good from among their parents and their spouses and their offspring and the angels will enter in upon them from every gate peace be on you because you were constant how excellent is then the issue of the abode and those who break the covenant of allah after its confirmation and cut asunder that which allah has ordered to be joined and make mischief in the land as for those upon them shall be curse and they shall have the evil issue of the abode allah amplifies and straightens the means of subsistence for whom he pleases and they rejoice in this world's life and this world's life is nothing compared with the hereafter but a temporary enjoyment and those who disbelieve say why is not a sign sent down upon him by his lord say surely allah makes him who will go astray and guides to himself those who turn to him those who believe and whose hearts are set at rest by the remembrance of allah now surely by allah's remembrance are the hearts set at rest as for those who believe and do good 
a good final state shall be theirs and a goodly return. And thus we have sent you among a nation before which other nations have passed away, that you might recite to them what we have revealed to you, and still they deny the beneficent Allah. Say he is my Lord, there is no God but he, on him do I rely, and to him is my return. And even if there were a Quran with which the mountains were made to pass away, or the earth were traveled over with it, or the dead were made to speak thereby, nay, the commandment is holy Allah's. Have not yet those who believe known that if Allah please, he would certainly guide all the people? And as for those who disbelieve, there will not cease to afflict them because of what they do, a repelling calamity, or it will alight close by their abodes. Until the promise of Allah comes about, surely Allah will not fail in his promise. And messengers before you were certainly mocked at, but I gave respite to those who disbelieved. Then I destroyed them. How then was my requital of evil? Is he then who watches every soul as to what it earns, and yet they give associates to Allah? Say, give them a name. Nay, do you mean to inform him of what he does not know in the earth? Or do you affirm this by an outward saying? Rather, their plans are made to appear fair-seeming to those who disbelieve, and they are kept back from the path, and whom Allah makes err, he shall have no guide. They shall have chastisement in this world's life, and the chastisement of the hereafter is certainly more grievous, and they shall have no protector against Allah. A likeness of the garden which the righteous are promised, their flow beneath its rivers, its food and shades are perpetual, this is the requital of those who guarded against evil, and the requital of the unbelievers is the fire. And those to whom we have given the book rejoice in that which has been revealed to you, and of the confederates are some who deny a part of it. Say I am only commanded that I should serve Allah, and not associate anything with him. To him do I invite you, and to him is my return. And thus have we revealed it, a true judgment in Arabic. And if you follow their low desires, after what has come to you of knowledge, you shall not have against Allah any guardian or a protector. And certainly we sent messengers before you and gave them wives and children. And it is not in the power of a messenger to bring a sign except by Allah's permission. For every term there is an appointment. Allah makes to pass away and establishes what he pleases. And with him is the basis of the book. And we will either let you see part of what we threaten them with, or cause you to die, for only the delivery of the message is incumbent on you, while calling them to account is our business. Do they not see that we are bringing destruction upon the land by curtailing it of its sides? And Allah pronounces a doom, there is no repeller of his decree, and he is swift to take account.
and those before them did indeed make plans but all planning is allah's he knows what every soul earns and the unbelievers shall come to know for whom is the better issue of the abode and those who disbelieve say you are not a messenger say allah is sufficient as a witness between me and you and whoever has knowledge of the book end of surah 30Surah 14 of the Holy Quran translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker This LibriVox recording is in the public domain Surah 14 Abraham revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah the most beneficent the most merciful Alif Lam Ra This is a book which we have revealed to you that you may bring forth men by their lord's permission from utter darkness into light to the way of the mighty the praised one of allah whose is whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth and woe to the unbelievers on account of the severe chastisement to those who love this world's life more than the hereafter and turn away from allah's path and desire to make it crooked these are in a great error and we did not send any messenger but with the language of his people so that he might explain to them clearly then allah makes whom he pleases err and he guides whom he pleases and he is the mighty the wise and certainly we sent musa with our communications saying bring forth your people from utter darkness into light and remind them of the days of allah most surely there are signs in this for every patient grateful one and when musa said to his people Call to mind Allah's favor to you when he delivered you from Pharaoh's people who subjected you to severe torment and slew your sons and spared your women. And in this there was a great trial from your Lord. And when your Lord made it known, if you are grateful, I would certainly give to you more. And if you are ungrateful, my chastisement is truly severe and musa said if you are ungrateful you and those on earth all together most surely allah is self-sufficient praised has not the account reached you of those before you of the people of nuh and ad and samud and those after them none knows them but allah their messengers come to them with clear arguments but they thrust their hands into their mouth and said surely we deny that with which you are sent and most surely we are in serious doubt as to that to which you invite us their messengers said is there doubt about allah the maker of the heavens and the earth he invites you to forgive you your faults and to respite you till an appointed term they said you are nothing but mortals like us you wish to turn us away from what our fathers used to worship bring us therefore some clear authority their messengers said to them we are nothing but mortals like yourselves but allah bestows his favors on whom he pleases of his servants and it is not for us that we should bring you an authority except by allah's permission and on allah should the believers rely and what reason have we that we should not rely on allah and he has indeed guided us in our ways and certainly we would bear with patience your persecution of us 
and on Allah should the reliant rely. And those who disbelieved said to their messengers, We will most certainly drive you forth from our land, or else you shall come back into our religion. So their Lord revealed to them, Most certainly we will destroy the unjust, and most certainly we will settle you in the land after them. This is for him who fears standing in my presence and who fears my threat. And they asked for judgment, and every insolent opposer was disappointed. Hell is before him, and he shall be given to drink of festering water. He will drink it little by little, and will not be able to swallow it agreeably, and death will come to him from every quarter, but he shall not die, and there shall be vehement chastisement before him. The parable of those who disbelieve in their Lord. Their actions are like ashes on which the wind blows, hard on a stormy day. They shall not have power over anything out of what they have earned. This is the great error. Do you not see that Allah created the heavens and the earth with truth? If he please, he will take you off and bring a new creation and this is not difficult for Allah, and they shall all come forth before Allah. Then the weak shall say to those who were proud, Surely we were your followers. Can you therefore avert from us any part of the chastisement of Allah? They would say, If Allah had guided us, we too would have guided you. It is the same to us whether we are impatient now or patient. There is no place for us to fly to. And the shaitan shall say after the affair is decided, Surely Allah promised you the promise of truth, and I gave you promises, then failed to keep them to you, and I had no authority over you, except that I called you and you obeyed me. Therefore, do not blame me, but blame yourselves. I cannot be your aider now, nor can you be my aiders. Surely I disbelieved in your associating me with Allah before. Surely it is the unjust that shall have the painful punishment. And those who believe and do good are made to enter gardens beneath which rivers flow, to abide in them by their Lord's permission, their greeting therein is peace. Have you not considered how Allah sets forth a parable of a good word being like a good tree, whose root is firm and whose branches are in heaven, yielding its fruit in every season by the permission of its Lord? And Allah sets forth parables for men that they may be mindful. And the parable of an evil word is as an evil tree pulled up from the earth's surface. It has no stability. Allah confirms those who believe with the sure word in this world's life and in the hereafter. And Allah causes the unjust to go astray. And Allah does what he pleases. Have you not seen those who have changed Allah's favor for ungratefulness and made their people to alight into the abode of perdition, into hell? They shall enter into it, and an evil place it is to settle in. And they set up equals with Allah, that they may lead people astray from his path. Say, Enjoy yourselves, for surely your return is to the fire. Say to my servants who believe that they should keep up prayer and spend out of what we have given them secretly and openly before the coming of the day in which there shall be no bartering nor mutual befriending. Allah is he who created the heavens and the earth and sent down water from the clouds, then brought forth with it fruits as a sustenance for you and he has made the ships subservient to you, that they might run their course in the sea by his command, 
and he has made the rivers subservient to you and he has made subservient to you the sun and the moon pursuing their courses and he has made subservient to you the night and the day and he gives you of all that you ask him and if you count allah's favors you will not be able to number them most surely man is very unjust very ungrateful and when ibrahim said my lord make this city secure and save me and my sons from worshipping idols my lord surely they have led many men astray then whoever follows me he is surely of me and whoever disobeys me thou surely art forgiving merciful o our lord surely i have settled a part of my offspring in a valley unproductive of fruit near thy sacred house our lord that they may keep up prayer therefore make the hearts of some people yearn towards them and provide them with fruits haply they may be grateful o our lord surely thou knowest what we hide and what we make public and nothing in the earth nor anything in heaven is hidden from allah praise be to allah who has given me in old age ismail and ishaq most surely my lord is the hearer of prayer my lord make me keep up prayer and from my offspring too o our lord and accept my prayer o our lord grant me protection and my parents and the believers on the day when the reckoning shall come to pass and do not think allah to be heedless of what the unjust do he only respites them to a day on which the eyes shall be fixedly open hastening forward their heads upraised their eyes not reverting to them and their hearts vacant and warn people of the day when the chastisement shall come to them then those who were unjust will say o our lord respite us to a near term so we shall respond to thy call and follow the messengers what did you not swear before that there will be no passing away for you and you dwell in the abodes of those who were unjust to themselves and it is clear to you how we dealt with them and we have made them examples to you and they have indeed planned their plan but their plan is with allah though their plan was such that the mountains should pass away thereby therefore do not think allah to be one failing in his promise to his messengers surely allah is mighty the lord of retribution on the day when the earth shall be changed into a different earth and the heavens as well and they shall come forth before allah the one the supreme and you will see the guilty on that day linked together in chains their shirts made of pitch and the fire covering their faces that allah may requite each soul according to what it has earned surely allah is swift in reckoning this is a sufficient exposition for the people and that they may be warned thereby and that they may know that he is one allah and that those possessed of understanding may mind end of sura 14These are the verses of the book and of a Quran that makes things clear. 
Often will those who disbelieve wish that they had been Muslims. Leave them that they may eat and enjoy themselves and that hope may beguile them. For they will soon know. And never did we destroy a town, but it had a term made known. No people can hasten on their doom, nor can they postpone it. And they say, O oh, you to whom the reminder has been revealed, you are most surely insane. Why do you not bring to us the angels if you are of the truthful ones? We do not send the angels but with truth, and then they would not be respited. Surely we have revealed the reminder, and we will most surely be its guardian. And certainly we sent messengers before you, among the nations of yore, and there never came a messenger to them, but they mocked him. Thus do we make it to enter into the hearts of the guilty. They do not believe in it, and indeed the example of the former people has already passed, and even if we open to them a gateway of heaven, so that they ascend into it all the while. They would certainly say, only our eyes have been covered over. Rather, we are an enchanted people, and certainly we have made strongholds in the heaven, and we have made it fair-seeming to the beholders, and we guard it against every accursed shaitan. But he who steals a hearing, so there follows him a visible flame. And the earth we have spread it forth and made in it fair mountains, and caused to grow in it of every suitable thing. And we have made in it means of subsistence for you and for him, for whom you are not the suppliers. And there is not a thing but with us are the treasures of it. And we do not send it down but in a known measure. And we send the winds fertilizing, then send down water from the cloud. So we give it to you to drink of, nor is it you who store it up. And most surely we bring to life and cause to die, and we are the heirs. And certainly we know those of you who have gone before, and we certainly know those who shall come later. And surely your Lord will gather them together. Surely he is wise knowing. And certainly we created man of clay that gives forth sound of black mud fashioned in shape. And the jinn we created before of intensely hot fire. And when your Lord said to the angels, Surely I am going to create a mortal of the essence of black mud fashioned in shape. So when I have made him complete and breathed into him of my spirit, fall down making obeisance to him. So the angels made obeisance, all of them together, but Iblis did not. He refused to be with those who made obeisance. He said, O Iblis, what excuse have you that you are not with those who make obeisance? He said, I am not such that I should make obeisance to a mortal whom thou hast created of the essence of black mud fashioned in shape. He said, Then get out of it, 
for surely you are driven away, and surely on you is curse until the day of judgment. He said, My Lord, then respite me till the time when they are raised. He said, So surely you are of the respited ones till the period of the time made known. He said, My Lord, because thou hast made life evil to me, I will certainly make evil fair seeming to them on earth, and I will certainly cause them all to deviate except thy servants from among them, the devoted ones. He said, This is a right way with me. Surely, as regards my servants, you have no authority over them, except those who follow you of the deviators. And surely hell is the promised place of them all. It has seven gates. For every gate there shall be a separate party of them. Surely those who guard against evil shall be in the midst of gardens and fountains. Enter them in peace, secure, and we will root out whatever of rancor is in their breasts. They shall be as brethren on raised couches face to face. Toil shall not afflict them in it nor shall they be ever ejected from it. Inform my servants that I am the forgiving, the merciful, and that my punishment, that is the painful punishment, and inform them of the guests of Ibrahim. When they entered upon him, they said, Peace. He said, Surely we are afraid of you. They said, Be not afraid. Surely we give you the good news of a boy, possessing knowledge. He said, Do you give me good news of a son, when old age has come upon me? Of what then do you give me good news? They said, We give you good news with truth. Therefore be not of the despairing. He said, And who despairs of the mercy of his Lord, but the erring ones? He said, What is your business then, O messengers? They said, Surely we are sent towards a guilty people. Except Lut's followers, we will most surely deliver them all. Except his wife, we ordained that she shall surely be of those who remain behind. So when the messengers came to Lut's followers, he said, Surely you are an unknown people. They said, Nay, we have come to you with that about which they disputed. And we have come to you with the truth and we are most surely truthful. Therefore go forth with your followers in a part of the night, and yourself follow their rear, and let not any one of you turn round, and go forth whither you are commanded. And we reveal to him this decree, that the roots of these shall be cut off in the morning, and the people of the town came rejoicing. He said, Surely these are my guests, therefore do not disgrace me, and guard against the punishment of Allah, and do not put me to shame. They said, Have we not forbidden you from other people? He said, These are my daughters, if you will do aught. By your life they were blindly wandering on in their intoxication. So the rumbling overtook them while entering upon the time of sunrise. Thus did we turn it upside down, 
and rain down upon them stones of what had been decreed. Surely in this are signs for those who examine, and surely it is on a road that still abides. Most surely there is a sign in this for the believers, and the dwellers of the thicket also were most surely unjust, so we inflicted retribution on them, and they are both indeed on an open road still pursued. And the dwellers of the rock certainly rejected the messengers, and we gave them our communications, but they turned aside from them, and they hewed houses in the mountains in security. So the rumbling overtook them in the morning, and what they earned did not avail them. And we did not create the heavens and the earth and what is between them, too, but in truth. And the hour is most surely coming, so turn away with kindly forgiveness. Surely your Lord is the creator of all things, the knowing, and certainly we have given you seven of the oft-repeated verses and the grand Quran. Do not strain your eyes after what we have given certain classes of them to enjoy, and do not grieve for them, and make yourself gentle to the believers, and say, Surely I am the plain warner, like as we sent down on the dividers, those who made the Quran into shreds, so, by your Lord, we would most certainly question them all as to what they did. Therefore, declare openly what you are bidden and turn aside from the polytheists. Surely we will suffice you against the scoffers, those who set up another god with Allah so they shall soon know, and surely we know that your breast straightens at what they say. Therefore celebrate the praise of your Lord, and be of those who make obeisance, and serve your Lord until there comes to you that which is certain. End of Surah 15 Surah 16 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 16, the Bee, and Nahl, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Allah's commandment has come, therefore do not desire to hasten it. Glory be to him, and highly exalted be he above what they associate with him. He sends down the angels with the inspiration by his commandment on whom he pleases of his servants, saying, Give the warning that there is no God but me. Therefore, be careful of your duty to me. He created the heavens and the earth with the truth. Highly exalted be he above what they associate with him. He created man from a small seed, and lo, he is an open contender. And he created the cattle for you. You have in them warm clothing and many advantages, and of them do you eat. And there is beauty in them for you when you drive them back to home and when you send them forth to pasture. And they carry your heavy loads to regions which you could not reach but with distress of the souls. Most surely your Lord is compassionate, merciful, and he made horses and mules and asses 
that you might ride upon them and as an ornament and he creates what you do not know and upon allah it rests to show the right way and there are some deviating ways and if he please he would certainly guide you all aright he it is who sends down water from the cloud for you it gives drink and by it grow the trees upon which you pasture he causes to grow for you thereby herbage and the olives and the palm trees and the grapes and of all the fruits most surely there is a sign in this for a people who reflect and he has made subservient for you the night and the day and the sun and the moon and the stars are made subservient by his commandment most surely there are signs in this for a people who ponder and what he has created in the earth of varied hues most surely there is a sign in this for a people who are mindful and he it is who has made the sea subservient that you may eat fresh flesh from it and bring forth from it ornaments which you wear and you see the ships cleaving through it and that you might seek of his bounty and that you may give thanks and he has caused the great mountains in the earth lest it might be convulsed with you and rivers and roads that you may go aright and landmarks and by the stars they find the right way is he then who creates like him who does not create do you not then mind and if you would count allah's favors you will not be able to number them most surely allah is forgiving merciful and allah knows what you conceal and what you do openly and those whom they call on besides allah have not created anything while they are themselves created dead are they not living and they know not when they shall be raised your god is one allah so as for those who do not believe in the hereafter their hearts are ignorant and they are proud truly allah knows what they hide and what they manifest surely he does not love the proud and when it is said to them what is it that your lord has revealed they say stories of the ancients that they may bear their burdens entirely on the day of resurrection and also of the burdens of those whom they lead astray without knowledge now surely evil is what they bear those before them did indeed devise plans but allah demolished their building from the foundations so the roof fell down on them from above them and the punishment came to them from whence they did not perceive then on the resurrection day he will bring them to disgrace and say where are the associates you gave me for whose sake you became hostile those who are given the knowledge will say surely the disgrace and the evil are this day upon the unbelievers those whom the angels cause to die while they are unjust to themselves then would they offer submission we use not to do any evil i surely allah knows what you did therefore enter the gates of hell to abide therein so certainly evil is the dwelling place of the proud and it is said to those who guard against evil what is it that your lord has revealed they say good for those who do good in this world is good and certainly the abode of the hereafter is better 
and certainly most excellent is the abode of those who guard against evil the gardens of perpetuity they shall enter them rivers flowing beneath them they shall have in them what they please thus does allah reward those who guard against evil those whom the angels cause to die in a good state saying peace be on you enter the garden for what you did they do not wait out but that the angels should come to them or that the commandment of your lord should come to pass thus did those before them and allah was not unjust to them but they were unjust to themselves so the evil consequences of what they did shall afflict them and that which they mocked shall encompass them and they who give associates to allah say if allah had pleased we would not have served anything besides allah neither we nor our fathers nor would we have prohibited anything without order from him thus did those before them is then ought incumbent upon the messengers except a plain delivery of the message and certainly we raised in every nation a messenger saying serve allah and shun the shaitan so there were some of them whom allah guided and there were others against whom error was due therefore travel in the land then see what was the end of the rejecters if you desire for their guidance yet surely allah does not guide him who leads astray nor shall they have any helpers and they swear by allah with the most energetic of their oath allah will not raise up him who dies yea it is a promise binding on him quite true but most people do not know so that he might make manifest to them that about which they differ and that those who disbelieve might know that they were liars our word for a thing when we intend it is only that we say to it be and it is and those who fly for allah's sake after they are oppressed we will most certainly give them a good abode in the world and the reward of the hereafter is certainly much greater did they but know those who are patient and on their lord do they rely and we did not send before you any but men to whom we sent revelation so ask the followers of the reminder if you do not know with clear arguments and scriptures and we have revealed to you the reminder that you may make clear to men what has been revealed to them and that haply they may reflect do they then who plan evil deeds feel secure of this that allah will not cause the earth to swallow them or that punishment may not overtake them from whence they do not perceive or that he may not seize them in the course of their journeys then shall they not escape or that he may not seize them by causing them to suffer gradual loss for your lord is most surely compassionate merciful do they not consider everything that allah has created its very shadows return from right and left making obeisance to allah while they are in utter abasement and whatever creature that is in the heavens and that is in the earth makes obeisance to allah only and the angels too and they do not show pride they fear their lord above them and do what they are commanded and allah has said take not two gods he is only one allah 
So of me alone should you be afraid. And whatever is in the heavens and the earth is his. And to him should obeisance be rendered constantly. Will you then guard against other than the punishment of Allah? And whatever favor is bestowed on you, it is from Allah. Then when evil afflicts you, to him do you cry for aid. Yet when he removes the evil from you, lo, a part of you associate others with their Lord, so that they be ungrateful for what we have given them. Then enjoy yourselves, for soon will you know. And they set apart for what they do not know, a portion of what we have given them. By Allah, you shall most certainly be questioned about that which you forged. And they ascribe daughters to Allah. Glory be to him. And for themselves, they would have what they desire. And when a daughter is announced to one of them, his face becomes black and he is full of wrath. He hides himself from the people because of the evil of that which is announced to him. Shall he keep it with disgrace or bury it alive in the dust? Now surely evil is what they judge. For those who do not believe in the hereafter is an evil attribute, and Allah's is the loftiest attribute, and he is the mighty, the wise. And if Allah had destroyed men for their iniquity, he would not leave on the earth a single creature, but he respites them till an appointed time. So when their doom will come, they shall not be able to delay it an hour, nor can they bring it on before its time. And they ascribe to Allah what they themselves hate, and their tongues relate the lie that they shall have the good. There is no avoiding it that for them is the fire, and that they shall be sent before. By Allah, most certainly we sent messengers to nations before you, but the shaitan made their deeds fair seeming to them, so he is their guardian today, and they shall have a painful punishment. And we have not revealed to you the book, except that you may make clear to them that about which they differ, and as a guidance and a mercy for a people who believe. And Allah has sent down water from the cloud and therewith given life to the earth after its death. Most surely there is a sign in this for a people who would listen. And most surely there is a lesson for you in the cattle. We give you to drink of what is in their bellies from betwixt the feces and the blood. Pure milk, easy and agreeable to swallow for those who drink. And of the fruits of the palms and the grapes, you obtain from them intoxication and goodly provision. Most surely there is a sign in this for a people who ponder. And your Lord revealed to the bee, saying, Make hives in the mountains and in the trees and in what they build. Then eat of all the fruits and walk in the ways of your Lord submissively. There comes forth from within it a beverage of many colors in which there is healing for men. Most surely there is a sign in this for a people who reflect. And Allah has created you, then he causes you to die, and of you is he who is brought back to the worst part of life, so that after having knowledge, he does not know anything. Surely Allah is knowing powerful. And Allah has made some of you excel others in the means of subsistence. 
So those who are made to excel do not give away their sustenance to those whom their right hands possess so that they should be equal therein. Is it then the favor of Allah which they deny? And Allah has made wives for you from among yourselves and has given you sons and grandchildren from your wives and has given you of the good things. Is it then in the falsehood that they believe while it is in the favor of Allah that they disbelieve? And they serve besides Allah that which does not control for them any sustenance at all from the heavens and the earth, nor have they any power. Therefore do not give likeness to Allah, surely Allah knows and you do not know. Allah sets forth a parable, consider a slave the property of another, who has no power over anything, and one whom we have granted from ourselves a goodly sustenance. So he spends from it secretly and openly. Are the two alike? All praise is due to Allah. Nay, most of them do not know. And Allah sets forth a parable of two men. One of them is dumb, not able to do anything, and he is a burden to his master. Wherever he sends him, he brings no good. Can he be held equal with him who enjoins what is just, and he himself is on the right path? And Allah's is the unseen of the heavens and the earth, and the matter of the hour is but as the twinkling of an eye, or it is higher still. Surely Allah has power over all things. And Allah has brought you forth from the wombs of your mothers. You did not know anything, and he gave you hearing and sight and hearts that you may give thanks. Do they not see the birds constrained in the middle of the sky? None withholds them but Allah. Most surely there are signs in this for a people who believe. And Allah has given you a place to abide in your houses. And he has given you tents of the skins of cattle, which you find light to carry on the day of your march, and on the day of your halting. And of their wool and their fur and their hair, he has given you household stuff and a provision for a time. And Allah has made for you of what he has created shelters. And he has given you in the mountains places of retreat. And he has given you garments to preserve you from the heat and coats of mail to preserve you in your fighting. Even thus does he complete his favor upon you, that haply you may submit. But if they turn back, then on you devolves only the clear deliverance of the message. They recognize the favor of Allah, yet they deny it and most of them are ungrateful. And on the day when we will raise up a witness out of every nation, then shall no permission be given to those who disbelieve, nor shall they be made to solicit favor. And when those who are unjust shall see the chastisement, it shall not be lightened for them nor shall they be respited. And when those who associate others with Allah shall see their associate gods, they shall say, Our Lord, these are our associate gods on whom we called besides thee, but they will give them back the reply, Most surely you are liars and they shall tender submission to Allah on that day, and what they used to forge shall depart from them. 
As for those who disbelieve and turn away from Allah's way, we will add chastisement to their chastisement because they made mischief. And on the day when we will raise up in every people a witness against them from among themselves and bring you as a witness against these, and we have revealed the book to you, explaining clearly everything, and a guidance and mercy and good news for those who submit. Surely Allah enjoins the doing of justice and the doing of good to others, and the giving of the kindred, and he forbids indecency and evil and rebellion. He admonishes you that you may be mindful and fulfill the covenant of Allah when you have made a covenant and do not break the oath after making them fast. And you have indeed made Allah a surety for you. Surely Allah knows what you do. And be not like her who unravels her yarn disintegrating it into pieces after she has spun it strongly. You make your oath to be means of deceit between you because one nation is more numerous than another nation. Allah only tries you by this and he will most certainly make clear to you on the resurrection day that about which you differed. And if Allah please, he would certainly make you a single nation, but he causes to err whom he pleases and guides whom he pleases. And most certainly you will be questioned as to what you did. And do not make your oath a means of deceit between you, lest a foot should slip after its stability and you should taste evil because you turned away from Allah's way and grievous punishment be your lot. And do not take a small price in exchange for Allah's covenant. Surely what is with Allah is better for you. Did you but know what is with you passes away and what is with Allah is enduring. And we will most certainly give to those who are patient their reward for the best of what they did. Whoever does good, whether male or female, and he is a believer, we will most certainly make him live a happy life. And we will most certainly give them their reward for the best of what they did. So when you recite the Qur'an, seek refuge with Allah from the accursed shaitan. Surely he has no authority over those who believe and rely on their Lord. His authority is only over those who befriend him and those who associate others with him. And when we change one communication for another communication, and Allah knows best what he reveals, they say, you are only a forger. Nay, most of them do not know. Say, the Holy Spirit has revealed it from your Lord with the truth, that it may establish those who believe, and as a guidance and good news for those who submit. And certainly we know that they say only a mortal teaches him. The tongue of him whom they reproach is barbarous, and this is clear Arabic tongue. As for those who do not believe in Allah's communications, surely Allah will not guide them, and they shall have a painful punishment. Only they forge the lie who do not believe in Allah's communications, and these are the liars. He who disbelieves in Allah after his having believed, not he who is compelled while his heart is at rest on account of faith, but he who opens his breast 
to disbelief on these is the wrath of Allah and they shall have a grievous chastisement. This is because they love this world's life more than the hereafter and because Allah does not guide the unbelieving people. These are they on whose hearts and their hearing and their eyes Allah has set a seal and these are the heedless ones. No doubt that in the hereafter they will be the losers. Yet surely your Lord, with respect to those who fly after they are persecuted, then they struggle hard and are patient. Most surely your Lord after that is forgiving, merciful. Remember the day when every soul shall come pleading for itself and every soul shall be paid in full what it has done and they shall not be dealt with unjustly and allah sets forth a parable consider a town safe and secure to which its means of subsistence come in abundance from every quarter but it became ungrateful to Allah's favors. Therefore Allah made it to taste the utmost degree of hunger and fear because of what they wrote. And certainly there came to them a messenger from among them, but they rejected him. So the punishment overtook them while they were unjust. Therefore eat of what Allah has given you, lawful and good things and give thanks for Allah's favor if him do you serve. He has only forbidden you what dies of itself and blood and flesh of swine and that over which any other name than that of Allah has been invoked. But whoever is driven to necessity, not desiring nor exceeding the limit, then surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. And for what your tongues describe, do not utter the lie, saying, this is lawful and this is unlawful, in order to forge a lie against Allah. Surely those who forge the lie against Allah shall not prosper. A little enjoyment and they shall have a painful punishment. And for those who were Jews, we prohibited what we have related to you already, and we did them no injustice, but they were unjust to themselves. Yet surely your Lord, with respect to those who do an evil in ignorance, then turn after that and make amends, most surely your Lord after that is forgiving, merciful." Surely Ibrahim was an exemplar, obedient to Allah, upright, and he was not of the polytheists. Grateful for his favors, he chose him and guided him on the right path, and we gave him good in this world, and in the next he will most surely be among the good. Then we reveal to you, follow the faith of Ibrahim, the upright one, and he was not of the polytheists. The Sabbath was ordained only for those who differed about it, and most surely your Lord will judge between them on the resurrection day, concerning that about which they differed. Call to the way of your Lord with wisdom and goodly exhortation and have disputations with them in the best manner surely your lord best knows those who go astray from his path and he knows best those who follow the right way and if you take your turn then retaliate with the like of that with which you were afflicted but if you are patient, it will certainly be best for those who are patient. And be patient, and your patience is not but by the assistance of Allah. 
and grieve not for them and do not distress yourself at what they plan. Surely Allah is with those who guard against evil and those who do good to others. End of Surah 16. Surah 17 of the Holy Quran translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 17, The Night Journey, Al-Isra, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, glory be to him who made his servant to go on a night from the sacred mosque to the remote mosque of which we have blessed the precepts so that we may show to him some of our signs surely he is the hearing the seeing and we gave musa the book and made it a guidance to the children of israel saying do not take a protector besides me the offspring of those whom we bore with Nuh, surely he was a grateful servant. And we had made known to the children of Israel in the book, Most certainly you will make mischief in the land twice, and most certainly you will behave insolently with great insolence. So when the promise for the first of the two came, we sent over you our servants of mighty prowess, so they went to and fro among the houses, and it was a promise to be accomplished. Then we gave you back the turn to prevail against them, and aided you with wealth and children, and made you a numerous band. If you do good, you will do good for your own souls. And if you do evil, it shall be for them. So when the second promise came, we raised another people that they may bring you to grief and that they may enter the mosque as they entered it the first time and that they might destroy whatever they gained ascendancy over with utter destruction. It may be that your Lord will have mercy on you, and if you again return to disobedience, we too will return to punishment, and we have made hell a prison for the unbelievers. Surely this Qur'an guides to that which is most upright and gives good news to the believers who do good that they shall have a great reward, and that as for those who do not believe in the hereafter, we have prepared for them a painful chastisement. And man prays for evil as he ought to pray for good, and man is ever hasty. And we have made the night and the day two signs. Then we have made the sign of the night to pass away, and we have made the sign of the day manifest, so that you may seek grace from your Lord, and that you might know the numbering of years and the reckoning and we have explained everything with distinctness, and we have made every man's actions to cling to his neck, and we will bring forth to him on the resurrection day a book, which he will find wide open. Read your book. Your own self is sufficient as a reckoner against you this day. Whoever goes aright, for his own soul does he go aright, and whoever goes astray to its detriment only does he go astray.
nor can the bearer of a burden bear the burden of another nor do we chastise until we raise a messenger and when we wish to destroy a town we send our commandment to the people of it who lead easy lives but they transgress therein thus the word proves true against it so we destroy it with utter destruction and how many of the generations did we destroy after nuh and your lord is sufficient as knowing and seeing with regard to his servants faults whoever desires this present life we hasten to him therein what we please for whomsoever we desire then we assign to him the hell he shall enter it despised driven away and whoever desires the hereafter and strives for it as he ought to strive and he is a believer as for these their striving shall surely be accepted all do we aid these as well as those out of the bounty of your lord and the bounty of your lord is not confined see how we have made some of them to excel others and certainly the hereafter is much superior in respect of excellence do not associate with allah any other god lest you sit down despised neglected and your lord has commanded that you shall not serve any but him and goodness to your parents if either or both of them reach old age with you say not to them so much as ugh nor chide them and speak to them a generous word and make yourself submissively gentle to them with compassion and say o my lord have compassion on them as they brought me up when i was little your lord knows best what is in your minds if you are good then he is surely forgiving to those who turn to him frequently and give to the near of kin his due and to the needy and the wayfarer and do not squander wastefully surely the squanderers are the fellows of the shaitans and the shaitan is ever ungrateful to his lord and if you turn away from them to seek mercy from your lord which you hope for speak to them a gentle word and do not make your hand to be shackled to your neck nor stretch it forth to the utmost limit of its stretching forth lest you should afterwards sit down blamed stripped off surely your lord makes plentiful the means of subsistence for whom he pleases and he straightens them surely he is ever aware of seeing his servants and do not kill your children for fear of poverty we give them sustenance and yourselves too surely to kill them is a great wrong and go not nigh to fornication surely it is an indecency and an evil way and do not kill any one whom allah has forbidden except for a just cause and whoever is slain unjustly we have indeed given to his heir authority so let him not exceed the just limits in slaying surely he is aided and draw not near to the property of the orphan except in a goodly way till he attains his maturity and fulfil the promise 
surely every promise shall be questioned about and give full measure when you measure out and weigh with the true balance this is fair and better in the end and follow not that of which you have not the knowledge surely the hearing and the sight and the heart all of these shall be questioned about that and do not go about in the land exultingly for you cannot cut through the earth nor reach the mountains in height all this the evil of it is hateful in the sight of your lord this is of what your lord has revealed to you of wisdom and do not associate any other god with allah lest you should be thrown into hell blamed cast away what has then your lord preferred to give you sons and for himself taken daughters from among the angels most surely you utter a grievous saying and certainly we have repeated warnings in this quran that they may be mindful but it does not add save to their aversion say if there were with him gods as they say then certainly they would have been able to seek a way to the lord of power glory be to him and exalted be he in high exaltation above what they say the seven heavens declare his glory and the earth too and those who are in them and there is not a single thing but glorifies him with his praise but you do not understand their glorification surely he is forbearing forgiving and when you recite the quran we place between you and those who do not believe in the hereafter a hidden barrier and we have placed coverings on their hearts and a heaviness in their ears lest they understand it and when you mention your lord alone in the quran they turn their backs in aversion we know best what they listen to when they listen to you and when they take counsel secretly when the unjust say you follow only a man deprived of reason see what they liken you to so they have gone astray and cannot find the way and they say what when we shall have become bones and decayed particles shall we then certainly be raised up being a new creation say become stones or iron or some other creature of those which are too hard to receive life in your minds but they will say who will return us say who created you at first still they will shake their heads at you and say when will it be say maybe it has drawn nigh on the day when he will call you forth then shall you obey him giving him praise and you will think that you tarried but a little while and say to my servants that they speak that which is best surely the shaitan sows dissensions among them surely the shaitan is an open enemy to man your lord knows you best he will have mercy on you if he pleases or he will chastise you if he pleases and we have not sent you as being in charge of them and your lord best knows those who are in the heavens and the earth and certainly we have made some of the prophets to excel others and to the wood we gave a scripture say 
call on those whom you assert besides him, so they shall not control the removal of distress from you nor its transference. Those whom they call upon themselves seek the means of access to their Lord, whoever of them is nearest, and they hope for his mercy and fear his chastisement. Surely the chastisement of your Lord is a thing to be cautious of. And there is not a town, but we will destroy it before the day of resurrection, or chastise it with a severe chastisement. This is written in the divine ordinance, and nothing could have hindered us that we should send signs except that the ancients rejected them, and we gave to Samud the she camel a manifest sign but on her account they did injustice and we do not send signs but to make men fear and when we said to you surely your lord encompasses men and we did not make the vision which we showed you but a trial for men and the cursed tree in the Quran as well, and we cause them to fear, but it only adds to their great inordinancy. And when we said to the angels, Make obeisance to Adam, they made obeisance, but Iblis did it not. He said, Shall I make obeisance to him whom thou hast created of dust? He said, Tell me, is this he whom thou hast honored above me? If thou shouldest respite me to the day of resurrection, I will most certainly cause his progeny to perish except a few. He said, Be gone, for whoever of them will follow you, then surely hell is your recompense a full recompense and beguile whomsoever of them you can with your voice and collect against them your forces riding and on foot and share with them in wealth and children and hold out promises to them and the shaitan makes not promises to them but to deceive surely as for my servants you have no authority over them, and your Lord is sufficient as a protector. Your Lord is he who speeds the ships for you in the sea, that you may seek of his grace. Surely he is ever merciful to you. And when distress afflicts you in the sea, away go those whom you call on except he. But when he brings you safe to the land, you turn aside, and man is ever ungrateful. What? Do you then feel secure that he will not cause a tract of land to engulf you, or send on you a tornado? Then you shall not find a protector for yourselves. Or do you feel secure that he will not take you back? into it another time then send on you a fierce gale and thus drown you on account of your ungratefulness then you shall not find any aider against us in the matter and surely we have honored the children of adam and we carry them in the land and the sea and we have given them of the good things and we have made them to excel by an appropriate excellence over most of those whom we have created. Remember the day when we will call every people with their imam. Then whoever is given his book in his right hand, these shall read their book, and they shall not be dealt with a wit unjustly.
And whoever is blind in this, he shall also be blind in the hereafter, and more erring from the way. And surely they had purposed to turn you away from that which we have revealed to you, that you should forge against us other than that, and then they would certainly have taken you for a friend. And had it not been that we had already established you, you would certainly have been near to incline to them a little. In that case, we would certainly have made you to taste a double punishment in this life and a double punishment after death. Then you would not have found any helper against us. And surely they purposed to unsettle you from the land that they might expel you from it. And in that case, they will not tarry behind you but a little. This is our course with regard to those of our messengers whom we sent before you. And you shall not find a change in our course. Keep up prayer from the declining of the sun till the darkness of the night and the morning recitation surely the morning recitation is witnessed and during a part of the night pray tahaggud beyond what is incumbent on you maybe your lord will raise you to a position of great glory and say my lord make me to enter a goodly entering and cause me to go forth a goodly going forth and grant me from near the power to assist me and say the truth has come and the falsehood has vanished surely falsehood is a vanishing thing and we reveal of the quran that which is a healing and a mercy to the believers and it adds only to the perdition of the unjust and when we bestow favor on man he turns aside and behaves proudly, and when evil afflicts him, he is despairing. Say, everyone acts according to his manner, but your Lord best knows who is best guided in the path. And they ask you about the soul. Say, the soul is one of the commands of my Lord, and you are not given aught of knowledge but a little and if we please we should certainly take away that which we have revealed to you then you would not find for it any protector against us but on account of mercy from your lord surely his grace to you is abundant see if men and jinn should combine together to bring the like of this quran they could not bring the like of it, though some of them were aiders of others. And certainly we have explained for men in this Quran every kind of similitude. But most men do not consent to aught, but denying. And they say, we will by no means believe in you until you cause a fountain to gush forth from the earth for us or you should have a garden of palms and grapes in the midst of which you should cause rivers to flow forth gushing out or you should cause the heaven to come down upon us in pieces as you think or bring allah and the angels face to face with us or you should have a house of gold or you should ascend into heaven and we will not believe in your ascending until you bring down to us a book which we may read say glory be to my lord am i aught but a mortal messenger and nothing prevented people from believing when the guidance came to them except that they said what has Allah raised up a mortal to be a messenger? 
See, had there been in the earth angels walking about as settlers, we would certainly have sent down to them from the heaven an angel as a messenger. See, Allah suffices as a witness between me and you. Surely he is aware of his servants, seeing, and whomsoever Allah guides, he is the follower of the right way, and whomsoever he causes to err, you shall not find for him guardians besides him, and we will gather them together on the day of resurrection, on their faces, blind and dumb and deaf, their abode is hell. Whenever it becomes allayed, we will add to their burning. This is their retribution, because they disbelieved in our communications, and said, What? When we shall have become bones and decayed particles, shall we then indeed be raised up into a new creation? Do they not consider that Allah, who created the heavens and the earth, is able to create their like, and he has appointed for them a doom about which there is no doubt, but the unjust do not consent to oath but denying. Say, if you control the treasures of the mercy of my Lord, then you would withhold them from fear of spending, and man is niggardly. And certainly we gave Musa nine clear signs. So ask the children of Israel, when he came to them. Pharaoh said to him, Most surely I deem you, O Musa, to be a man deprived of reason. He said, Truly you know that none but the Lord of the heavens and the earth has sent down these as clear proof, and most surely I believe you, O Pharaoh, to be given over to perdition. So he desired to destroy them out of the earth, but we drowned him and those with him all together. And we said to the Israelites after him, Dwell in the land, and when the promise of the next life shall come to pass, we will bring you both together in judgment. And with truth have we revealed it, and with truth did it come, and we have not sent you but as the giver of good news, and as a warner. And it is a Quran which we have revealed in portions, so that you may read it to the people by slow degrees, and we have revealed it, revealing in portions. Say, believe in it or believe not. Surely those who are given the knowledge before it fall down on their faces, making obeisance when it is recited to them. And they say, Glory be to our Lord. Most surely the promise of our Lord was to be fulfilled. And they fall down on their faces weeping, and it adds to their humility. Say, Call upon Allah or Call upon the Beneficent Allah, whichever you call upon. He has the best names, and do not utter your prayer with a very raised voice, nor be silent with regard to it, and seek a way between these. And say, all praise is due to Allah, who has not taken a son, and who has not a partner in the kingdom and who has not a helper to save him from disgrace, and proclaim his greatness, magnifying him. End of Surah 17 Surah 18 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker this LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 18, The Cave, 
Al-Kahf, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. All praise is due to Allah, who revealed the book to his servant and did not make in it any crookedness, rightly directing that he might give warning of severe punishment from him and give good news to the believers who do good that they shall have a goodly reward, staying in it forever, and warn those who say, Allah has taken a son. They have no knowledge of it, nor had their fathers a grievous word it is that comes out of their mouths. They speak nothing but a lie. Then maybe you will kill yourself with grief, sorrowing after them, if they do not believe in this announcement. Surely we have made whatever is on the earth an embellishment for it, so that we may try them as to which of them is best in works. And most surely we will make what is on it bare ground, without herbage. Or do you think that the fellows of the cave and the inscription were of our wonderful signs? When the youth sought refuge in the cave, they said, Our Lord, grant us mercy from thee, and provide for us a right course in our affair. So we prevented them from hearing in the cave for a number of years. Then we raised them up that we might know which of the two parties was best able to compute the time for which they remained. We relate to you their story with the truth. Surely they were youth who believed in their Lord, and we increased them in guidance. And we strengthened their hearts with patience. When they stood up and said, Our Lord is the Lord of the heavens and the earth, we will by no means call upon any God besides him, for then indeed we should have said an extravagant thing. These our people have taken gods besides him. Why do they not produce any clear authority in their support? Who is then more unjust than he who forges a lie against Allah. And when you forsake them and what they worship, save Allah, betake yourselves for refuge to the cave. Your Lord will extend to you largely of his mercy and provide for you a profitable course in your affair. And you might see the sun when it rose decline from their cave towards the right hand, and when it set, leave them behind on the left while they were in a wide space thereof. This is of the signs of Allah, whomsoever Allah guides, he is the rightly guided one, and whomsoever he causes to err, you shall not find for him any friend to lead him aright. And you might think them awake while they were asleep, and we turned them about to the right and to the left, while their dog lay outstretching its paws at the entrance. If you looked at them, you would certainly turn back from them in flight, and you would certainly be filled with awe because of them. And thus did we rouse them that they might question each other. 
A speaker among them said, How long have you tarried? They said, We have tarried for a day or a part of a day. Others said, Your Lord knows best how long you have tarried. Now send one of you with this silver coin of yours to the city. Then let him see which of them has purest food. So let him bring you provision from it, and let him behave with gentleness, and by no means make your case known to anyone. For surely, if they prevail against you, they would stone you to death or force you back to their religion, and then you will never succeed. And thus did we make men to get knowledge of them that they might know that Allah's promise is true, and that as for the hour there is no doubt about it. When they disputed among themselves about their affair and said, Erect an edifice over them. Their Lord best knows them. Those who prevailed in their affair said, We will certainly raise a masjid over them. Some say they are three, the fourth of them being their dog and others say five, the six of them being their dog, making conjectures at what is unknown, and others yet say seven, and the eighth of them is their dog, say, my Lord best knows their number, none knows them but a few, therefore contend not in the matter of them, but with an outward contention, and do not question concerning them, any of them. And do not say of anything, surely I will do it tomorrow, unless Allah pleases. And remember your Lord, when you forget and say, maybe my Lord will guide me to a nearer course to the right than this. And they remained in their cave three hundred years, and some add another nine. Say Allah knows best how long they remained. To him are known the unseen things of the heavens and the earth, how clear his sight and how clear his hearing. There is none to be a guardian for them besides him and he does not make anyone his associate in his judgment. And recite what has been revealed to you of the book of your Lord. There is none who can alter his words, and you shall not find any refuge besides him. And withhold yourself with those who call on their Lord morning and evening, desiring his good will, and let not your eyes pass from them, desiring the beauties of this world's life, and do not follow him whose heart we have made unmindful to our remembrance, and he follows his low desires, and his case is one in which due bounds are exceeded. And say the truth is from your Lord, so let him who please believe, and let him who please disbelieve. Surely we have prepared for the iniquitous a fire, the curtains of which shall encompass them about, and if they cry for water, they shall be given water like molten brass, which will scold their faces, evil the drink and ill the resting place. Surely, as for those who believe and do good, we do not waste the reward of him who does a good work. These it is for whom are gardens of perpetuity beneath which rivers flow, 
ornaments shall be given to them therein of bracelets of gold and they shall wear green robes of fine silk and thick silk brocade interwoven with gold reclining therein on raised couches excellent the recompense and goodly the resting place and set forth to them a parable of two men for one of them we made two gardens of grape vines and we surrounded them both with palms and in the midst of them we made corn fields both these gardens yielded their fruits and failed not aught thereof and we caused a river to gush forth in their midst and he possessed much wealth so he said to his companion while he disputed with him i have greater wealth than you and am mitred in followers and he entered his garden while he was unjust to himself he said i do not think that this will ever perish and i do not think the hour will come and even if i am returned to my lord i will most certainly find a returning place better than this his companion said to him while disputing with him do you disbelieve in him who created you from dust then from a small seed then he made you a perfect man but as for me he allah is my lord and i do not associate any one with my lord and wherefore did you not say when you entered your garden it is as allah has pleased there is no power save in allah if you consider me to be inferior to you in wealth and children then maybe my lord will give me what is better than your garden and send on it a thunderbolt from heaven so that it shall become even ground without plant or its waters should sink down into the ground so that you are unable to find it and his wealth was destroyed so he began to wring his hands for what he had spent on it while it lay having fallen down upon its roofs and he said ah oh, me with that i had not associated any one with my lord and he had no host to help him besides allah nor could he defend himself here is protection only allah's the true one he is best in the giving of reward and best in requiting and set forth to them parable of the life of this world like water which we send down from the cloud so the herbage of the earth becomes tangled on account of it then it becomes dry broken into pieces which the winds scatter and allah is the holder of power over all things wealth and children are an adornment of the life of this world and the ever abiding the good works are better with your lord in reward and better in expectation and the day on which we will cause the mountains to pass away and you will see the earth a leveled plain and we will gather them and leave not any one of them behind and they shall be brought before your lord standing in ranks now certainly you have come to us as we created you at first nay you thought that we had not appointed to you a time of the fulfillment of the promise and the book shall be placed then you will see the guilty fearing from what is in it and they will say ah woe to us 
What a book is this? It does not omit a small one nor a great one, but numbers them all. And what they had done, they shall find present there. And your Lord does not deal unjustly with anyone. And when we said to the angels, make obeisance to Adam, they made obeisance, but Iblis did it not. He was of the jinn, so he transgressed the commandment of his Lord. What would you then take him and his offspring for friends rather than me? And they are your enemies. Evil is this change for the unjust. I did not make them witnesses of the creation of the heavens and the earth nor of the creation of their own souls, nor could I take those who lead others astray for aiders. And on the day when he shall say, call on those whom you considered to be my associates, so they shall call on them, but they shall not answer them, and we will cause a separation between them. And the guilty shall see the fire. Then they shall know that they are going to fall into it. And they shall not find a place to which to turn away from it. And certainly we have explained in this Quran every kind of example. And man is most of all given to contention. And nothing prevents men from believing when the guidance comes to them and from asking forgiveness of their Lord, except that what happened to the ancients should overtake them or that the chastisement should come face to face with them. And we do not send messengers but as givers of good news and warning. And those who disbelieve make a false contention that they may render null thereby the truth and they take my communications and that with which they are warned for a mockery. And who is more unjust than he who is reminded of the communications of his Lord? Then he turns away from them and forgets what his two hands have sent before. Surely we have placed veils over their hearts, lest they should understand it, and a heaviness in their ears, and if you call them to the guidance, they will not ever follow the right course in that case. And your Lord is forgiving, the Lord of mercy, were he to punish them for what they earned, he would certainly have hastened the chastisement for them. But for them there is an appointed time from which they shall not find a refuge. And as for these towns, we destroyed them when they acted unjustly, and we have appointed a time for their destruction. And when Musa said to his servant, I will not cease until I reach the junction of the two rivers, or I will go on for years. So when they had reached the junction of the two rivers, they forgot their fish, and it took its way into the sea, going away. But when they had gone farther, he said to his servant, Bring to us our morning meal. Certainly we have met with fatigue from this our journey. He said, Did you see when we took refuge on the rock? Then I forgot the fish, and nothing made me forget to speak of it but the shaitan, and it took its way into the river. What a wonder! He said, this is what we sought for. So they returned, retracing their footsteps. 
Then they found one from among our servants whom we had granted mercy from us and whom we had taught knowledge from ourselves. Musa said to him, Shall I follow you on condition that you should teach me right knowledge of what you have been taught? He said, Surely you cannot have patience with me. And how can you have patience in that of which you have not got a comprehensive knowledge? He said, If Allah pleases, you will find me patient, and I shall not disobey you in any matter. He said, If you would follow me, then do not question me about anything until I myself speak to you about it. So they went their way until when they embarked in the boat, he made a hole in it. Musa said, Have you made a hole in it to drown its inmates? Certainly you have done a grievous thing. He said, Did I not say that you will not be able to have patience with me? He said, Blame me not for what I forgot and do not constrain me to a difficult thing in my affair. So they went on until, when they met a boy, he slew him. Musa said, Have you slain an innocent person, otherwise than for manslaughter? Certainly you have done an evil thing. He said, did I not say that you will not be able to have patience with me? He said, If I ask you about anything after this, keep me not in your company. Indeed, you shall have then found an excuse in my case. So they went on until when they came to the people of a town. They asked them for food but they refused to entertain them as guests. Then they found in it a wall which was on the point of falling, so he put it into a right state. Musa said, If you had pleased, you might certainly have taken a recompense for it. He said, This shall be separation between me and you. Now I will inform you of the significance of that with which you could not have patience. As for the boat, it belonged to some poor men who worked on the river, and I wished that I should damage it. And there was behind them a king who seized every boat by force. And as for the boy, his parents were believers, and we feared lest he should make disobedience and ingratitude to come upon them. So we desired that their Lord might give them in his place one better than him in purity and nearer to having compassion. And as for the wall, it belonged to two orphan boys in the city, and there was beneath it a treasure belonging to them. And their father was a righteous man. So your Lord desired that they should attain their maturity and take out their treasure, a mercy from your Lord. And I did not do it of my own accord. This is the significance of that with which you could not have patience. And they ask you about Dhil Karnain. Say, I will recite to you an account of him. Surely we established him in the land and granted him means of access to everything. So he followed a course. Until when he reached the place where the sun set, he found it going down into a black sea, and found by it a people. We said, O oh, Zilkarnain, either give them a chastisement or do them a benefit. 
he said, as to him who is unjust, we will chastise him. Then shall he be returned to his Lord, and he will chastise him with an exemplary chastisement. And as for him who believes and does good, he shall have goodly reward, and we will speak to him an easy word of our command. Then he followed another course until when he reached the land of the rising of the sun he found it rising on a people to whom we had given no shelter from it even so and we had a full knowledge of what he had then he followed another course until when he reached a place between the two mountains he found on that side of them a people who could hardly understand a word. They said, O oh, Zilkarnain, surely Yagog and Magog make mischief in the land. Shall we then pay you a tribute on condition that you should raise a barrier between us and them? He said, that in which my lord has established me is better therefore you only help me with workers i will make a fortified barrier between you and them bring me blocks of iron until when he had filled up the space between the two mountain sides he said blow until when he had made it as fire he said bring me molten brass which i may pour over it so they were not able to scale it nor could they make a hole in it he said this is a mercy from my lord but when the promise of my lord comes to pass he will make it level with the ground and the promise of my lord is ever true and on that day we will leave a part of them in conflict with another part and the trumpet will be blown so we will gather them all together and we will bring forth hell exposed to view on that day before the unbelievers they whose eyes were under a cover from my reminder and they could not even hear what do then those who disbelieve think that they can take my servants to be guardians besides me surely we have prepared hell for the entertainment of the unbelievers say shall we inform you of the greatest losers in their deeds these are they whose labor is lost in this world's life and they think that they are well versed in skill of the work of hands these are they who disbelieve in the communications of their lord and his meeting so their deeds become null and therefore we will not set up a balance for them on the day of resurrection thus it is that their recompense is hell because they disbelieved and held my communications and my messengers in mockery surely as for those who believe and do good deeds their place of entertainment shall be the gardens of paradise abiding therein they shall not desire removal from them say if the sea were ink for the words of my lord the sea would surely be consumed before the words of my lord are exhausted though we were to bring the like of that sea to add thereto say i am only a mortal like you it is revealed to me that your god is one allah therefore whoever hopes to meet his lord he should do good deeds and not join anyone in the service of his lord 
End of Sura 18Sura 19 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Sura 19, Mary Maryam, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Kaf ha ya ain sad. A mention of the mercy of your Lord to his servant Zechariah, when he called upon his Lord in a low voice. He said, My Lord, surely my bones are weakened, and my head flares with hoariness, and my Lord, I have never been unsuccessful in my prayer to thee. And surely I fear my cousins after me, and my wife is barren. Therefore grant me from thyself an heir, who should inherit me and inherit from the children of Ya'qub, and make him my lord, one in whom thou art well pleased. O Zechariah, Surely we give you good news of a boy whose name shall be Yahya. We have not made before anyone his equal. He said, O oh my Lord, when shall I have a son? And my wife is barren, and I myself have reached indeed the extreme degree of old age. He said, So shall it be. Your Lord says it is easy to me, and indeed I created you before, when you were nothing. He said, My Lord, give me a sign. He said, Your sign is that you will not be able to speak to the people three nights while in sound health. So he went forth to his people from his place of worship. Then he made known to them that they should glorify Allah morning and evening. O Yahya, take hold of the book with strength, and we granted him wisdom while yet a child, and tenderness from us and purity, and he was one who guarded against evil and dutiful to his parents, and he was not insolent, disobedient. And peace on him on the day he was born, and on the day he dies, and on the day he is raised to life. And mention Maryam in the book when she drew aside from her family to an eastern place. So she took a veil to screen herself from them. Then we sent to her our spirit, and there appeared to her a well-made man. She said, Surely I fly for refuge from you to the beneficent Allah, if you are one guarding against evil. He said, I am only a messenger of your Lord, that I will give you a pure boy. She said, When shall I have a boy, and no mortal has yet touched me, nor have I been unchaste? He said, Even so, your Lord says, It is easy to me, and that we may make him a sign to men, and a mercy from us, and it is a matter which has been decreed. So she conceived him, then withdrew herself with him to a remote place, and the throes of childbirth compelled her to betake herself to the trunk of a palm tree. She said, Oh! Would that I had died before this, and had been a thing quite forgotten.
then the child called out to her from beneath her grieve not surely your lord has made a stream to flow beneath you and shake towards you the trunk of the palm tree it will drop on you fresh ripe dates so eat and drink and refresh the eye then if you see any mortal say surely i have vowed a fast to the beneficent allah so i shall not speak to any man today and she came to her people with him carrying him with her they said o maryam surely you have done a strange thing o sister of harun your father was not a bad man nor was your mother an unchaste woman but she pointed to him they said how should we speak to one who was a child in the cradle he said surely i am a servant of allah he has given me the book and made me a prophet and he has made me blessed wherever i may be and he has enjoined on me prayer and poor rate so long as i live and dutiful to my mother and he has not made me insolent and blessed and peace on me on the day i was born and on the day i die and on the day i am raised to life such is isa son of maryam this is the saying of truth about which they dispute it beseems not allah that he should take to himself a son glory be to him when he has decreed a matter he only says to it be and it is and surely allah is my lord and your lord therefore serve him this is the right path but parties from among them disagreed with each other so woe to those who disbelieve because of presence on a great day how clearly shall they hear and how clearly shall they see on the day when they come to us but the unjust this day are in manifest error and warn them of the day of intense regret when the matter shall have been decided and they are now in negligence and they do not believe surely we inherit the earth and all those who are on it and to us they shall be returned and mention ibrahim in the book surely he was a truthful man a prophet when he said to his father o my father why do you worship what neither hears nor sees nor does it avail you in the least o my father truly the knowledge has come to me which has not come to you therefore follow me i will guide you on a right path o my father serve not the shaitan surely the shaitan is disobedient to the beneficent allah o my father surely i fear that a punishment from the beneficent allah should afflict you so that you should be a friend of the shaitan he said do you dislike my gods o ibrahim if you do not desist i will certainly revile you and leave me for a time he said peace be on you i will pray to my lord to forgive you surely he is ever affectionate to me and i will withdraw from you and what you call on besides allah 
and I will call upon my Lord. Maybe I shall not remain unblessed in calling upon my Lord. So when he withdrew from them and what they worshipped besides Allah, we gave to him Ishaq and Yaqub, and each one of them we made a prophet. And we granted to them of our mercy, and we left behind them a truthful mention of eminence for them. And mention Musa in the book. Surely he was one purified, and he was a messenger, a prophet. And we called to him from the blessed side of the mountain, and we made him draw nigh, holding communication with us. And we gave to him out of our mercy, his brother Harun, a prophet, and mention Ismail in the book. Surely he was truthful in his promise, and he was a messenger, a prophet. And he enjoined on his family prayer and almsgiving, and was one in whom his Lord was well pleased. And mention Idris in the book. Surely he was a truthful man, a prophet. And we raised him high in heaven. These are they on whom Allah bestowed favors from among the prophets of the seed of Adam and of those whom we carried with Nuh and of the seed of Ibrahim and Israel and of those whom we guided and chose. When the communications of the beneficent Allah were recited to them, they fell down making obeisance and weeping. But there came after them an evil generation who neglected prayers and followed sensual desires, so they will meet perdition, except such as repent and believe and do good. These shall enter the garden and they shall not be dealt with unjustly in any way. The gardens of perpetuity, which the beneficent Allah has promised to his servants while unseen, surely his promise shall come to pass. They shall not hear therein any vain discourse, but only peace, and they shall have their sustenance therein morning and evening. This is the garden which we cause those of our servants to inherit who guard against evil. And we do not descend but by the command of your Lord. To him belongs whatever is before us and whatever is behind us and whatever is between these and your Lord is not forgetful. The Lord of the heavens and the earth, and what is between them. So serve him and be patient in his service. Do you know anyone equal to him? And says man, What? When I am dead, shall I truly be brought forth alive? Does not man remember that we created him before when he was nothing? So by your Lord we will most certainly gather them together and the shaitans, then shall we certainly cause them to be present round hell on their knees. Then we will most certainly draw forth from every sect of them him who is most exorbitantly rebellious against the beneficent Allah. Again, we do certainly know best those who deserve most to be burned therein, and there is not one of you but shall come to it. This is an unavoidable decree of your Lord, and we will deliver those who guarded against evil, and we will leave the unjust therein on their knees. 
And when our clear communications are recited to them, those who disbelieve say to those who believe, which of the two parties is best in abiding and best in assembly? And how many of the generations have we destroyed before them who were better in respect of goods and outward appearance? Say, as for him who remains in error, the beneficent Allah will surely prolong his length of days until they see what they were threatened with, either the punishment or the hour, then they shall know who is in more evil plight and weaker in forces. And Allah increases in guidance those who go aright, and ever abiding good works are with your Lord, best in recompense and best in yielding fruit. Have you then seen him who disbelieves in our communications and says, I shall certainly be given wealth and children? Has he gained knowledge of the unseen or made a covenant with the beneficent Allah? By no means we write down what he says and we will lengthen to him the length of the chastisement. And we will inherit of him what he says, and he shall come to us alone. And they have taken gods besides Allah, that they should be to them a source of strength. By no means they shall soon deny their worshipping them, and they shall be adversaries to them. Do you not see that we have sent the shaitans against the unbelievers, inciting them by incitement? Therefore be not in haste against them. We only number out to them a number of days. The day on which we will gather those who guard against evil, to the beneficent Allah to receive honors. And we will drive the guilty to hell thirsty. They shall not control intercession, save he who has made a covenant with the beneficent Allah. And they say the beneficent Allah has taken to himself a son. Certainly you have made an abominable assertion. The heavens may almost be rent thereat, and the earth cleave asunder, and the mountains fall down in pieces, that they ascribe a son to the beneficent Allah, and it is not worthy of the beneficent Allah that he should take to himself a son. There is no one in the heavens and the earth but will come to the beneficent Allah as a servant. Certainly he has a comprehensive knowledge of them and he has numbered them a comprehensive numbering. And every one of them will come to him on the day of resurrection alone. Surely as for those who believe and do good deeds for them will Allah bring about love. So we have only made it easy in your tongue that you may give good news thereby to those who guard against evil and warn thereby a vehemently contentious people. And how many a generation have we destroyed before them? Do you see any one of them or hear a sound of them? End of Surah 19 Surah 20 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker this LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 20, Taha, revealed at Mecca. 
in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. We have not revealed the Quran to you that you may be unsuccessful. Nay, it is a reminder to him who fears, a revelation from him who created the earth and the high heavens. The beneficent Allah is firm in power. His is what is in the heavens and what is in the earth and what is between them too and what is beneath the ground. And if you utter the saying aloud, then surely he knows the secret and what is yet more hidden. Allah, there is no God but he. His are the very best names. And has the story of Musa come to you? When he saw fire, he said to his family, Stop, for surely I see a fire. Haply I may bring to you therefrom a life cool, or find a guidance at the fire. So when he came to it, a voice was uttered, O Musa, surely I am your Lord. Therefore, put off your shoes. Surely you are in the sacred valley, Toa. And I have chosen you, so listen to what is revealed. Surely I am Allah. There is no God but I. Therefore, serve me and keep up prayer for my remembrance. Surely the hour is coming. I am about to make it manifest so that every soul may be rewarded as it strives. Therefore let not him who believes not in it and follows his low desires turn you away from it so that you should perish. And what is this in your right hand? O Musa, he said, this is my staff. I recline on it and I beat the leaves with it to make them fall upon my sheep and I have other uses for it. He said, cast it down, O Musa. So he cast it down and lo, it was a serpent running. He said, take hold of it and fear not. We will restore it to its former state. And press your hand to your side, it shall come out white without evil, another sign, that we may show you of our greater signs. Go to Pharaoh, surely he has exceeded all limits. He said, O oh my Lord, expand my breast for me, and make my affair easy to me and loose the knot from my tongue, that they may understand my word, and give to me an aider from my family, Harun my brother. Strengthen my back by him, and associate him with me in my affair, so that we should glorify thee much, and remember thee oft. Surely thou art seeing us. He said, You are indeed granted your petition, O Musa, and certainly we bestowed on you a favor at another time, when we revealed to your mother what was revealed, saying, Put him into a chest, then cast it down into the river, then the river shall throw him on the shore. There shall take him up one who is an enemy to me and enemy to him, and I cast down upon you love from me, and that you might be brought up before my eyes. When your sister went and said, Shall I direct you to one who will take charge of him? So we brought you back to your mother, that her eye might be cooled and she should not grieve, and you killed a man, then we delivered you from the grief, and we tried you with a severe trying, 
Then you stayed for years among the people of Majan. Then you came hither as ordained, O Musa. And I have chosen you for myself. Go you and your brother with my communications and be not remiss in remembering me. Go both to Pharaoh. Surely he has become inordinate. Then speak to him a gentle word. Haply he may mind or fear. Both said, O our Lord, surely we fear that he may hasten to do evil to us, or that he may become inordinate. He said, Fear not, surely I am with you both. I do hear and see. So go you both to him and say, Surely we are two messengers of your Lord. Therefore send the children of Israel with us and do not torment them. Indeed, we have brought to you a communication from your Lord, and peace is on him who follows the guidance. Surely it has been revealed to us that the chastisement will surely come upon him who rejects and turns back. Pharaoh said, And who is your Lord, O Musa? He said, Our Lord is he who gave to everything its creation, then guided it to its goal. He said, Then what is the state of the former generations? He said, The knowledge thereof is with my Lord in a book. My Lord errs not, nor does he forget. Who made the earth for you an expanse and made for you the rain path and sent down water from the cloud? Then thereby we have brought forth many species of various herbs. Eat and pasture your cattle. Most surely there are signs in this for those endowed with understanding. From it we created you, and into it we shall send you back, and from it will we raise you a second time. And truly we showed him our signs, all of them. But he rejected and refused. Said he, Have you come to us that you should turn us out of our land by your magic, O Musa? so we too will produce before you magic like it. Therefore make between us and you an appointment which we should not break, neither we nor you, in a central place. Musa said, Your appointment is the day of the festival, and let the people be gathered together in the early forenoon. So Pharaoh turned his back and settled his plan, then came. Musa said to them, Woe to you, do not forge a lie against Allah, lest he destroy you by a punishment, and he who forges a lie indeed fails to attain his desire. So they disputed with one another about their affair and kept the discourse a secret. They said, These are most surely two magicians who wish to turn you out from your land by their magic and to take away your best traditions. Therefore settle your plan, then come standing in ranks, and he will prosper indeed this day who overcomes. They said, O Musa, will you cast or shall we be the first who cast down? He said, Nay, cast down. Then lo, their cords and their rods, it was imaged to him on account of their magic as if they were running. So Musa conceived in his mind a fear. We said, Fear not, surely you shall be the uppermost and cast down what is in your right hand, it shall devour what they have wrought. 
they have wrote only the plan of a magician and the magician shall not be successful wheresoever he may come from. And the magicians were cast down making obeisance. They said, We believe in the Lord of Harun and Musa. Pharaoh said, You believe in him before I give you leave. Most surely he is the chief of you who taught you enchantment. Therefore, I will certainly cut off your hands and your feet on opposite sides, and I will certainly crucify you on the trunks of the palm trees, and certainly you will come to know which of us is the more severe and the more abiding in chastising. They said, we do not prefer you to what has come to us, of clear arguments and to he who made us therefore decide what you are going to decide you can only decide about this world's life surely we believe in our lord that he may forgive us our sins and the magic to which you compelled us and allah is better and more abiding Whoever comes to his Lord being guilty, for him is surely hell. He shall not die therein, nor shall he live. And whoever comes to him, a believer, and he has done good deeds, indeed, these it is who shall have the high ranks. The gardens of perpetuity, beneath which rivers flow, to abide therein. And this is the reward of him who has purified himself. And certainly we revealed to Musa, saying, Travel by night with my servants, then make for them a dry path in the sea, not fearing to be overtaken, nor being afraid. And Pharaoh followed them with his armies, so there came upon them of the sea that which came upon them. And Pharaoh led astray his people, and he did not guide them aright. O children of Israel, indeed we delivered you from your enemy, and we made a covenant with you on the blessed side of the mountain, and we sent to you the manna and the quails. Eat of the good things we have given you for sustenance, and be not inordinate with respect to them, lest my wrath should be due to you, and to whomsoever my wrath is due, be shall perish indeed. And most surely I am most forgiving to him who repents and believes and does good then continues to follow the right direction. And what caused you to hasten from your people, O Musa? He said, They are here on my track, and I hasten unto thee, my Lord, that thou mayest be pleased. He said, So surely we have tried your people after you, and the Samaray has led them astray. So Musa returned to his people wrathful, sorrowing, said he, O my people, did not your Lord promise you a goodly promise? Did then the time seem long to you, or did you wish that displeasure from your Lord should be due to you, so that you broke your promise to me? They said, we did not break our promise to you of our own accord, but we were made to bear the burdens of the ornaments of the people. Then we made a casting of them, and thus did the Samaray suggest. So he brought forth for them a calf, a mere body which had a mooing sound. So they said, this is your God and the God of Musa, but he forgot. What? Could they not see that it did not return to them a reply, and that it did not control any harm or benefit for them? 
And certainly Harun had said to them before, O my people, you are only tried by it, and surely your Lord is the beneficent Allah. Therefore follow me and obey my order. They said, we will by no means cease to keep to its worship until Musa returns to us. Musa said, O Harun, what prevented you when you saw them going astray? So that you did not follow me, did you then disobey my order? He said, O son of my mother, seize me not by my beard nor by my head, Surely I was afraid lest you should say you have caused a division among the children of Israel and not waited for my word. He said, What was then your object, O Samaray? He said, I saw Jibreel what they did not see. So I took a handful of the dust from the footsteps of the messenger. Then I threw it in the casting, thus did my soul command to me. He said, Begun then, surely for you it will be in this life to say, Touch me not, and surely there is a threat for you, which shall not be made to fail to you. And look at your God to whose worship you kept so long we will certainly burn it. Then we will certainly scatter it a wide scattering in the sea. Your God is only Allah, there is no God but He. He comprehends all things in His knowledge. Thus do we relate to you some of the news of what has gone before, and indeed we have given to you a reminder from ourselves. Whoever turns aside from it, he shall surely bear a burden on the day of resurrection. Abiding in this state, and evil will it be for them to bear on the day of resurrection. On the day when the trumpet shall be blown, and we will gather the guilty blue-eyed on that day, they shall consult together secretly, you did Tari, but ten centuries. We know best what they say when the fairest of them in course would say, You tarried but a day. And they ask you about the mountains, say, My Lord will carry them away from the roots. Then leave it a plain, smooth level. You shall not see therein any crookedness or unevenness. On that day they shall follow the inviter. There is no crookedness in him, and the voices shall be low before the beneficent Allah, so that you shall not hear aught but a soft sound. On that day shall no intercession avail except of him, whom the beneficent Allah allows and whose word he is pleased with. He knows what is before them and what is behind them, while they do not comprehend it in knowledge. And the faces shall be humbled before the living, the self-subsistent Allah, and he who bears iniquity is indeed a failure. And whoever does good works and he is a believer, he shall have no fear of injustice, nor of the withholding of his due. And thus have we sent it down an Arabic Quran, and have distinctly set forth therein of threats that they may guard against evil, or that it may produce a reminder for them. Supremely exalted is therefore Allah, the King, the Truth, and do not make haste with the Qur'an before its revelation is made complete to you, and say, O my Lord, increase me in knowledge. And certainly we gave a commandment to Adam before, but he forgot, 
and we did not find in him any determination. And when we said to the angels, make obeisance to Adam, they made obeisance. But Iblis did it not, he refused. So we said, O Adam, this is an enemy to you and to your wife. Therefore, let him not drive you both forth from the garden so that you should be unhappy. Surely it is ordained for you that you shall not be hungry therein nor bare of clothing, and that you shall not be thirsty therein nor shall you feel the heat of the sun. But the shaitan made an evil suggestion to him. He said, O Adam, shall I guide you to the tree of immortality and a kingdom which decays not? Then they both ate of it, so their evil inclinations became manifest to them, and they both began to cover themselves with leaves of the garden. And Adam disobeyed his Lord, so his life became evil to him. Then his Lord chose him, so he turned to him and guided him. He said, Get forth, you two, therefrom, all of you, one of you is enemy to another, so there will surely come to you guidance from me. Then whoever follows my guidance, he shall not go astray nor be unhappy. And whoever turns away from my reminder, his shall be a straitened life, and we will raise him on the day of resurrection blind. He shall say, My Lord, why hast thou raised me blind, and I was a seeing one indeed? He will say, Even so, our communications came to you, but you neglected them. Even thus shall you be forsaken this day. And thus do we recompense him who is extravagant and does not believe in the communications of his Lord. And certainly the chastisement of the hereafter is severer and more lasting. Does it not then direct them aright how many of the generations in whose dwelling places they go about? We destroyed before them. Most surely there are signs in this for those endowed with understanding. And had there not been a word that had already gone forth from your Lord and an appointed term, it would surely have been made to cleave to them. Bear then patiently what they say, and glorify your Lord by the praising of him before the rising of the sun and before its setting. And during hours of the night, do also glorify him, and during parts of the day that you may be well pleased. And do not stretch your eyes after that with which we have provided different classes of them, of the splendor of this world's life, that we may thereby try them, and the sustenance given by your Lord is better and more abiding. And enjoin prayer on your followers, and steadily adhere to it. We do not ask you for subsistence, we do give you subsistence. And the good end is for guarding against evil. And they say, why does he not bring to us a sign from his Lord? Has not there come to them a clear evidence of what is in the previous books? And had we destroyed them with chastisement before this, they would certainly have said, O our Lord, why didst thou not send to us a messenger? For then we should have followed thy communications before that we met disgrace and shame. Say, every one of us is awaiting, therefore do await, so you will come to know 
who is the follower of the even path and who goes aright. End of Surah 20